W, on my way to you, good at what I do, I'm OMW, OMW.
Oh, oh okay. actually, it's my parking You're... alarm. Because I, I only have two hours. Oh, hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the show. Uh, <laughs> sorry, we just had a, we had a weird thing going on, but it's, it's totally fine. Don't worry, Jeremy. Is here yes. from Cyber Power. Sam is How's here. Going? Sam is here. She is. She. Uh, she is. <laughs> she's totally fine. She just had a, an alarm go off on her phone, and so she was like, "What's going on?" And so she'll be back in just a second. But it is so good to see you. Welcome to Mod Workshop. We are here with Cyber Power because this isn't yes. like a. a I'm huge, all of Cyber Power, by the way. Yeah, he's all of Cyber Power. I don't know if you know this, but Jeremy builds every system. Yes. All. A million Handcraft, plus systems yep. they ship mm -hmm. every day. He builds them all. Yes, I'm, uh, I, I build a system in about ten seconds. Yeah, it's so. he's got like that that thing that Hermione has where you can like pause time <laughs> yeah. and like then I build a system. Speed build. Um, it's uh, it's uh, pretty cool. But um, this is a little bit different than most of our other mod workshops because yes. what we're building today for Sam, who is here. By the way, Sam will be back. Don't worry. Uh, Sam, who is here, um, is um, uh, actually Sam's here now. Oh, you can come. Sorry, look at this! Yeah. Look at this dramatic entrance we even get from Sam. Here we go. This is Sam. Sorry. Everybody, Sorry. introduce yourself, Sam. I'm Sam, and I, uh, <laughs> my parking was up at the wrong time. <laughs> oh, so funny. Which was like, you know, honestly, I loved. I've never seen somebody move so fast. You were like, you were like, oh my gosh, the alarm! And then it, it's like, as soon as we went live, you just saw this like brown streak just just jutting off of the stage <laughs> to, to get this taken yeah, care of. So, yeah. which was actually pretty funny. Um, so anyway, we're here with two people, but mm -hmm. you're just Jeremy's only here, I'm for, just a here bit. for a little bit. Just here yes. for a little bit. Mm -hmm. So just calm down. Yes, we're we're though you and I at some point in time we were supposed to do a cable management off. Remember? Yes, yes, yes. We we did plan that the last time I was here when we actually did the system built together. But uh, yeah, definitely uh, next time we do something. I think that's we what we'll do. do. We'll make sure there's two we'll systems. Have, yes, we'll do two exactly. systems. Exactly. They have to be identical. <laughs> have to be identical. Right? And there's we'll no do a cheating. No cheating. No. And it's and honestly, it would be all in good fun because again, oh, yeah, we, sure. we just we, sure. uh, there's no wrong way to build PCs exactly. except for what that except for from that guy from PC Mag who said life is too short. No, PC Gamer uh -huh. said life is too short. Don't cable manage. Wow. That guy. He's toxic. Bad for the community. No, Bad for the community. Blacklisted. Like, yeah, that's what he said. He was like, he was like, their life's too short. Just shove it all in. And I was like, no, <laughs> that is not okay. Chaotic. He probably that has is, a messy room. He does have probably does have a messy room. That's where we're going from there. <laughs> Cheeto um, dust on his desk. Uh, but um, anyway, Sam, for those people who don't know you, because I mean, we have folks from Intel, folks from my channel, all that sort of stuff. Why don't you tell us a little bit about how you got into streaming and what brought you here? I mean, okay. not don't say a car, even though it's a great dad joke. <laughs> car did bring me here. It's actually the one where the alarm went off. Yes. Oh, man. That's getting moved right now. Oh, that, that's getting moved so. right now. Um, I will say, okay, so dad, you know, I, I, I do dad jokes. I love, I love dad jokes. What do sheep do on a hot summer day? What do sheep do, do on a hot summer bathe? day? That's that's, what that's, I was that's, that's, say. They bathe. That's what They bathe? Yeah. Yes, so my, they my bathe. dad was like, my dad, we were, so we're at Starbucks and the Starbucks had this like dad joke of the week. And it was like he was okay. he, so he was like sunbathe. No, it's a barbecue. <laughs> I feel like they could all be correct. They could yeah, be. They, they could, could be. be. Anything they with a be. BA that has to yeah, do with anything with that summer. Summer. Sounds like laffy work. taffy jokes. I know they are. They're they're very much. That's, <laughs> I think they're they're dad jokes as well. And I, I'm sorry, dude, we talked about dad jokes in your car, and I totally interrupted your intro. Well, but they, you're tell the folks, I interrupted my intro. Uh, that is true. Yeah, you just so ran off good. stage. We're all good. Yeah, we're all good. But uh, yeah, so I'm Sam. I've a streamer over here on Twitch, and I got into streaming almost eight years ago. Oh wow! Okay. So yeah, you've been doing it a while. Kind of a mm -hmm. dinosaur on this platform. What? So <laughs> wow! Just, just over here living on Twitch. <laughs> um, but yeah, so what got me into gaming? I was real little, and I had a lot of brothers, and we played a lot of video games. Okay. And then I got here by watching my husband watch somebody solo a Destiny raid. And I was like, what the heck is that platform? And so uh, he was like, oh, it's Twitch. So I got on it and was like scrolling through different games. And I was like, I can do this. I can do this. So I did. I took my medical college books. I stacked my old Xbox Connect on them. Oh, Because that wow. was my camera. Oh, that's yeah. right. And then I used my uh, TV with a snap. Do you remember when Xbox used snap? You could snap two oh, applications. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you mm -hmm. do know I worked at Xbox yeah. for 20 years. Yeah. I didn't. No, I was an uh, I'm an Xbox game developer. Well, there you go. Yes. What happened to Snap? It was great. I know there was, I don't <laughs> know. I, I can't I wish I, I wish I could take credit, but that's it's so funny to hear you say like sorry, I was having I was just having a moment, some nostalgia moment. Uh -huh. like, so you yeah. had so you were basically you Snap. It was my chat. And they had the integrate at that point in time, about eight years ago we had the integrate the direct integration with Twitch at the time, yeah? Yeah. yeah? yeah, yeah, yeah. So I had my Snap as my chat, but the only issue with snapping things on Xbox is you get no game audio. So oh. I could not hear anything, but my community could hear it. 
So it was really great when Taking doing raids and you need to like hear the lights go off and I'm mm. just like, which one y'all? <laughs> Tell me where to go. <laughs> so yeah, but basically that's how I got in and I've been here since. Can't get rid of me. Wow, that's awesome. Okay, so eight years. That's that's a long time as that's a streamer. A long time. Yeah, that's <laughs> awesome. Um, and so what games, uh, if people were gonna come watch you now, what are some of the games that people might see you play? Mm, currently a lot of Final Fantasy XIV. Okay. Uh, I'm going through the entire story for my first time ever. Oh, is it long? Uh, it's long, well, because it's five expansions. Holy but moly. But it's a lot of good story. Like there's, okay. there's, they've really dug into story. Which I like, and the community's pretty sick. Yeah, I played. So. I so I like. I know a lot. There was a lot of interest when Asmongold joined at that one point yeah, in time, and there was like and it a, broke it, everything. It broke everything. Thank you. And then <laughs> yeah, he's like yeah. And if you're watching right now, which he's not, yeah, but if totally you are, watching. He's a big you, fan. Yeah, he's a big fan. <laughs> uh, and so, uh, but um, do, were you were you playing before then? So I was, but I was more so dabbling. I wasn't streaming it yet. Okay. Uh, and it's because I couldn't get into it much further. But I started streaming it, and then the community was like, no, you got to push through, because if you know, the first expansion is, is hard. Yeah. <laughs> it's, just, it's, it's long. <laughs> but yeah, and then that's whenever everything died at the same time, so okay. great. <laughs> okay. Well, okay, so Jeremy, why don't you talk, for people who don't know who you are. Oh. Because you guys don't people, know who I am? You know, oh, wow. I've been here so many times. Come on wow. now. Can't recognize the hair? <laughs> Come on. It's taller than normal. Yes, it is, actually. <laughs> but, uh... uh camera over here. Hello everyone, I'm Jeremy, I work for CyberPower PC, I handle our social media and our influencer management, um, and that's me, I work in our marketing department. By the way, you can tell he's a professional because unlike me who's just looking at all the cameras at the same time, yeah. like, he's like, oh, camera over here. I gotta here. look at them. He's like looking at them in terms of switching. Looking at my phone. I know, you're just, I'm just, I talk to, I talk to each one of you. So this is what it's like to have a professional here on the studio <laughs> and on I'm the show. Not a professional. Yeah. Not so at all. why don't we talk a little bit about the PC that we are building for Sam. Yes. And, and Sam, your name, unique, S-E-U-M, <laughs> even though now it's pronounced Sam. So mm -hmm. uh, like now we know that we're yes, saying Yes, now it. we know. But, mm -hmm. but let's talk a little bit because it's, it's, uh, it, this is, this is something that's kind of newish coming from from you guys yeah so this build is well unfortunately we don't have the case but uh, so I mean if you guys know anything about the height y60 that is the case that we're gonna be using in one of our brand new Amazon SKUs okay um, and these components that we have here that we're building for Sam uh, are one of seven SKUs that okay. are gonna be going up on Amazon this right here is like our so we, we typically do a good, better, best. This is one of our best SKUs. Obviously one of the best for the streamer. Which you like so. to hear, right? Yes. <laughs> so it's one of our, it's one of the top end ones that we're gonna be having on our Amazon uh, website. Uh, no date confirmed yet. We are waiting for mm -hmm. the case, of course. But yeah, so you're getting one of the first ones. So that's I'm awesome. Um, but yeah, so it'll be on Amazon. Make sure you guys follow us on our social media so that way you guys are up to date on when that goes live. And so, and, and one thing that is different, right? We talked about that, no height Y60, but don't mm -hmm. worry, you're getting a dang good case because we're okay. building in the Lee and Lee 011 Dynamic mm -hmm. Evo, which I just got finished doing a review on. It's an absolutely beautiful case. You can actually make it fit from like, so you, you know how you're like, when you put it in there, the Evo, it's like you can have it on like one side of your desk. Yes. Right? But this one you can configure it to rotates. actually put it on the other side yeah, of your yeah, desk. Yeah, yeah, So that That's way you're always constantly looking blown. at the components. Yeah. 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 So you, so innovation. Innovation. Innovation in the day. And then you also, we also have that top down uh, GPU method for installation. We're not going to be doing anything like that today, but this would be very typical of someone who's to buy a cyber power PC. We're going to configure it very much like you would configure a Liam Lee yes, 011. Yes, yes, yes. So we had some conversations before. We're like, hey, how do you do it? And all mm -hmm. that sort of stuff. So we'll. Yeah. Well, you guys will be able to do it. I'll be, I'll be, I'll be out of the way. I'll be stepping out. We're gonna be letting mean? Sam build, so it's gonna be a good time. And it's it's funny because like afterwards, this system will actually go to you guys at CyberPower. Yes. You'll and we'll then you'll our... take it all apart, rebuild it because it's all gonna be wrong. <laughs> and then uh, we'll, well ship I mean, it off. We, the... I, you know, I completely trust you. Right? I trust you because I'm the one who's gonna have to bring it back to the office and you know run all the tests and make sure everything's okay with it. So I trust you. I know you're gonna do a great job, and it's gonna be a good time. Is, is there like a final report that comes down when you're done? With a PC? What do you mean? Oh, like, like a full? Yeah, we yeah. have a QC checklist. Yeah, so that's what's gonna happen is they're gonna send me the QC checklist. We're gonna put it on TikTok, <laughs> and I'm gonna be like, see, here's CyberPower signed off on. Yeah, yeah. yeah there we go. That's I mean, like, I that's, if you really want one that, of those, I, I can send you a picture. I, I, I think that would be pretty awesome. Uh, chat, what do you guys think about me actually getting like an, a, a CyberPower approved build afterwards? I think that would actually be pretty cool. But um, super, super cool. Let's walk through the parts individually, though. Jeremy, I'm gonna let you do the honors, and, and you can okay. walk through all the parts. And then uh, if you have questions, Sam. Of anything, I don't. I don't think you do because your husband's actually like, pretty much like a piece. He loves. He watches he a lot of them. our stuff already. So, um, okay. So, Jeremy. 
Yes. Take us through it. So we have an i7-12700KF, uh, an Asus Prime Z690P motherboard, a gigabyte GeForce RTX 3070 gaming overclock with 8 gigs of VRAM. Uh, WD blah, 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 blah. I almost said black. Ooh. I almost said WD yeah, black. Yeah, that's my favorite it, it's, part. It's very, it's very hard uh, to differentiate. It changes They're color so, yeah, if you say yeah. it that way. They're blah, the blah, blah, blah. same. <laughs> WD Blue SN570, uh, Seagate Iron Wolf Pro, which is a 10 tar terabyte drive, I believe. Yep. Uh, Corsair Dominar Platinum RGB DDR5, 16 gigs. It is a single stick, uh, That's because that's how the SKU comes. Um, and a Lian Lee 011 Evo case. Uh, with a cool master mass liquid ML240R RGB CPU cooler and then a Corsair ARM 850X modular power supply. Okay, so I did just get, I just heard from the from the voice of God yeah. in this SKU though, we are actually going to put both sticks in. So okay. we actually do have oh, two so, sticks. Oh, so we hooked it up. So, oh, so, so, so that's yeah, awesome. you got hooked up, so they're gonna. We talked about that earlier, right? Yeah, yeah. we did. So apparently, that's awesome. but in this one, you'll actually have 32 gigs. But if yeah. you were to get the but SKU But if you were to purchase this sorry, specific on SKU on Amazon, yeah. yeah, yeah I mean, I'm sure they'll, they'll be, because this is a partnered uh, SKU yeah. with yeah. Intel and CyberPower, of course. Um, but yeah, if you were to get the SKU, it's gonna be very different uh, in terms of what model components you're gonna get. So you, you know you might get, you know, it won't be an, a gigabyte, it could be an Asus type of graphics card. So in terms of the model or the branding of the components could be different. So. Yeah, and that and that's dependent in general. Like you guys are like yeah. when you purchase a CyberPower PC, there you guys are like, hey, here mm -hmm. is here's all of the components you're gonna get yes, and it'll exactly. be like br like brand and type. Yes. But the thing is is for you guys, and this is one of the things that I, I always like to to hit specifically when we talk about purchasing pre-built is that Every one of those components goes through rigorous testing to make sure that they all work I mean, work just like together. we were talking about, we have a cute, quick, we have a whole QC checklist, and then we have to, you know, we have power requirements that we have to meet. So we have R and D running, you know, power supplies and all that all the time. So we have rigorous testing on components as well as the full complete build system. And then the other benefit, Sam, is yeah. that you not only do you get. Uh, the PC, which is like cyber, but we do confirm that you actually get cyber power, the, the, the warranty and support that actually comes with yes. it, which unlike everybody else who builds here, the warranty <laughs> and support is basically Roby Tech, yes. which I mean, don't get me wrong, we're like, we've built a lot of systems, yeah. we haven't had- I'm sure you're a great tech support. Thank you. And I'm just, most of it's like, hey, uh, I don't know, I just built, I'm just kidding, no, mm. that's not true. <laughs> but yeah, you're gonna get the, you're gonna get the service and support and all that sort of stuff. And so, so. Uh, she's getting all the hookups mm -hmm. uh, when it comes to building this PC, which is actually pretty cool. So um, should be super awesome and really, really excited about this. Now, uh, we're gonna let you go. You yes, have important I'm gonna things be, to do. Yes, I'll, I think, uh, I'll be watching from the sidelines, you know, making sure you're uh, adhering to the cyber power PC guidelines, okay? <laughs> So, I'm gonna, I'm like, he's, I, he's signed a contract, a, by the way, okay, guys. So, so. Eddie, I, I don't know if Eddie's watching. Eddie, I think what we need to do is I'm going to fly down to okay. your guys' thing, and yeah. I'm going to go through your training. Yeah. And then we're going to build okay, a couple be, of cyber power. We're going to build a couple of cyber power. That I'm would be, be a good I'm one. I'm going to be sitting there yeah. with the whistle, drill sergeant, you know, come on, Roby, put it together. Yeah, let's that's, go. That, let's move do it. it move okay, it, so it. that's going to happen. We're going to hook that up. Eddie, if yeah. you're watching, it regardless, I think that would be a good episode, but we'll have that. But we're going to let you go. Yes, sir. Go get your dim sum or whatever it was that you were going to order, and then we'll chat with you a little bit. Later. So enjoy the build and congratulations. Enjoy Thanks. the new system. And wow, he's got a lot of confidence. I'm this not. is going to go together. <laughs> and if it doesn't, you fake it till you that's make right, it. That's right. That's right. You fake you it till you make it. Okay. Now it's the now it's the Sam and Roby show. We got we already yes. have cyber power, folks. Now we just get a we just <laughs> get a build. Power. We're we're changing all the components. Remember that list we made? Lies. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. No, we're gonna have a, we're gonna have a really good time. So we let's talk a little bit about your experience PC building. It's not yeah. it's not in depth, but you've seen like a a fully just parted PC and watched them yes. come together. Now your husband builds quite a few PCs, yeah? Yeah, he's done it for friends and stuff. He's like taken mine apart and rebuilt it for new parts and stuff as well, which is always fun because he's like, Sam, do you want to help? Like do you want to do this? Because he, you know, he wants yeah. to share his joy with me. And anytime I do it, I'm just like, I'm going to break. And he's like, actually, yeah, he's like, <laughs> he's like, Never mind. let me do this. Actually. Well, so it'll, it'll be a little bit different on this one. So for this, the way that we're going to work is you and I, we're going to build the majority of the PC. So we'll get all the way to the AIO. <laughs> You're going to do most of the work. So right. I will say, what's your husband's name? Uh, Eric. Okay, so Eric, she will be completely capable of jumping in. Like, I'm just saying, like, she has no excuse after this. Just to not be a part of this. So there we There's go. There's going to be a PC waiting on our table by the time I get home and fully apart. And he's going to say, 
Go. I'm gonna be like, and, and, and so <laughs> and then like, all of it. I'm gonna get to the end of my streams and be like, hey, now we're gonna be throwing it over to Sam, no. who's now a PC builder as well. <laughs> She's gonna be Sam, Sam Tech. It's it's an, it's announced. By the or, way, that's him. Uh, oh, that's oh, there he is. oh, there he goes. No yeah, excuses. No excuses. There it is. So, uh, so uh, yeah, there you go. Well, I'm br we're bringing families together. Oh, that's no. what we do. We're br we're we're making quality time. Uh, here on Mod Workshop. <laughs> um, but yeah, we're going to have you do the majority of the building. Okay. Um, and then what happens is, uh, so for those of you who have never been here for a Mod Workshop, uh, so we'll build most of it together. Once we get the AIO kind of mounted and it gets to cable management, well, then we let you go do and entertain everybody. Because though my audience absolutely loves to watch me cable manage, your audience is like, I would rather just gouge my eyes out <laughs> because this is so boring. Uh, but for me, it's like cathartic, and I'm sure I'm sure Eric absolutely agrees. Uh, unless he's, gonna he's like watching the, your portion. Yeah, there we go. He's going to be watching my portion. <laughs> and like, oh. uh, so with this new format, we actually will be picture in picture, which is actually really cool. So you'll actually see me doing the build the whole time, and then you will see Sam entertaining us with some Final Fantasy, Open some Final bags. Fantasy action. Now, yeah. raid. That's what I heard, right? Yeah, yeah. I think we're going to do a little near raid, just just little shenanigans. Yeah, yeah. You yeah know? Seventeen hours we're supposed to get done. I, I don't know how this is going to happen. Yeah, I will play it seventeen times. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Done. I will gather every how glam long, I can. How long are the raids in Final Fantasy? It depends okay. on the raid. Okay. Near raids are a little bit longer, in okay. my opinion, which is why I picked one. Okay. <laughs> so what so what what was what would be an average? If you're gonna average for what you would how long it would take you to play? Uh I'd probably say half an hour. Oh, okay, okay. So that, yeah, so there's yeah. it's an okay time commitment. It's yeah. not like it's not like doing like World of Warcraft molten core raids. I don't did you ever, did you ever I do never those? those? No, you never played WoW. Okay, no, so it was I like was a Diablo person. Okay, okay. Well, <laughs> that's a great game too. Yeah. yeah. So, um, yeah. So it's like it's more it's more akin to like a rift, like a rift in Diablo. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm talking about like D3 yeah. kind yeah. of rifts. Yeah. 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 That's pretty rad. Okay, cool. Okay, well, you ready to start building? He's ready as I'll ever be. You are ready. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be a lot of fun. Up. Okay, here we They're go. Not. First, first and foremost. We're gonna grab the parts that you need for this. So here's your motherboard. I don't know why they spread the parts all over the place. I just would like to. Uh, can I? Can uh, Can I just get a formal complaint against Troy, who just put the ports like everywhere? <laughs> He's like, yeah, let's put them over here on the We're in LA. On I was like, hey, can you go down to Burbank and pick up our motherboard? Um, <laughs> so we got we got all the parts here. Um, we got one thing is we got a couple. Uh, screwdrivers and all that sort of stuff. I think we're I think we're good to go here. Okay. Okay. So what you're gonna do is have you open the box. And look, we get a razor <gasps> That's blade. pretty. Okay. All right, there's a sticker. We yep. have to break the seal. Here it is. You ready? Well, I have to like lift it up, sorry. That's okay. Why are you a poly? Oh. Can you do that again? It goes on the sharp side. You want to I know. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I just want to, I want to be a rebel. Okay, now, Eric, I'm starting to get a little worried. Um, okay, so go ahead and take it out of the box, uh, and then you're going to remove it from the uh, static bag. Do I take this part out like, first? You yeah, yeah it, it just kind of flips open. Yeah, and there you oh. go. Just go and pull it over. So that's your Wi-Fi stuff. I'll take all that okay. stuff out while you're kind of taking it out and then getting it prepared. So have you ever seen people take it and dump it upside down? So I so we do, I do with the RAM, yes. I've never not. seen it done that oh. way. But I'll I'll say like it's like waffles and you're just like and put it on the table. So yeah. yeah I mean, oh, these things are these things are pretty hard to break, to be honest. I mean, it, it takes a lot. I'm not saying that that should be a challenge for today because <laughs> I think you actually want this new system. Um, yes. But uh, yeah, going for that. Okay, so go ahead and okay, take and it out. All the, go ahead and pull it off and then take it out of the bag. Ah. There you go. It's like nice little crispy crinkles. Oh, I know. And it's funny because like even if I try and put it back in there like that, it never looks that good. I'm like, <laughs> I don't know how they made it look so crispy. I mean, how oh, like, paint yeah, fresh and crinkly. Oh. Uh, so one of the questions nice. that somebody had asked, um, just uh, what I was seeing, like based pop through chat, where did the name Sam come from? So it came from high school. Oh, okay. Um, it came from marching band. I was not in marching band. I was in choir, but all of my friends were in marching band. And if you've been in marching band, you would know that you do eight counts. And whenever they got to the number seven, they would say Sam for reasons I don't know, just high schoolers. And since I was their friend Sam, I became Sam. So. Oh, that, okay. Yeah. And then it just kind of stuck because that I could get that username. <laughs> That's, that was my so. favorite part. It was like, so why is it then you're like, because Sam is never available. Yeah, no, I'll like, never get S-A-M. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's just not, not going to be a thing. No. 
Okay, so by the way, guys, code one is Sam. Now I'm gonna, it's gonna come up. I'm gonna see if it's spelled the way, okay, good. I was like a little worried. It's like, that would be pretty funny. It's like code one is Sam. It's not spelled the right way. That but that is you, that's you. Have you ever been a code mm -hmm. before? Congratulations, you have now been a code. Wow. So here, I don't know, I, I, I get excited about it. I was like, I love seeing you. So you are code. So again, for those of you who are watching, the way this works is that there is a Gleam giveaway. We're gonna be putting links in all the chats for that stuff. You go and put that code in to win one of the giveaways that we're doing. So we're giving away Core i7-12700Ks. Uh, we're giving away Core i5-12600K. And we're giving away that V1 Tech Wall Art. Uh, you can see the swag kits that come with this over there on the right-hand side. Uh, they come with Pelican case. They're, I actually don't think the Pelican case. I think it's just the blanket, chippy, um, and and everything else there, which is actually really, really cool. So some really, really awesome prizes that you can win while watching the show. And then there's Intel right there saying, hey, look, there's all the stuff for the giveaway. So go we're in. posting that stuff in and go win. Uh, don't put it in the chat. You don't need to put it in the chat. You just put it into the Gleam. So that, that is where it is. Okay, Sweet. cool. So we're gonna go ahead and set this out like this. And then next up uh, is your is that CPU. You put paste on? Yes, yes. Because I've seen that a lot. Oh, yeah. The paste? <laughs> I've seen the paste. You've seen the paste. The, yes, this is the thing we're going to put the, the paste on. It's the most interesting part to me. It's, I, so I'm, I'm like, they call me, like, I do it like Bob Ross. Like, I, I'll spray. Actually, why don't we, today, we'll do it. Perfect. I, let me see if we, yes, okay, we have everything to take the stuff off of the thing. So we'll do the Roby Tech way of doing thermal paste, and we'll have you apply right. it today. Okay, so what you're going to do now is you're going to push this, and then kind of, it comes out to the side like that. More like a dog cage. Yep, I guess. That I did not know. Yeah, like whenever you've got to like push it down so that they can't get mine out. Has like, mine has like the... Yeah, I mean, okay. that's okay. what I meant, but okay. it's similar. Okay, and then go ahead and lift this up. <laughs> Sorry, what'd you say? So go ahead and lift this up oh, right here. Part. Yep. Okay. And there you go. Can I pull it out? Yeah, just keep lifting, just keep lifting. Okay, cool, just like that. And then you're just gonna leave it right there. Okay, now I'm gonna hand you... So this is your CPU okay. and your 12700 KF. Um, so you're going to grab it from the sides like this. You're going to lift it up, and you're going to set it right into the slot, just like that. Sides like this. Yep, sides like that, and you're just going to oh. set it right inside the slot. Just like this? Just like that, yep. And just set it right in there, oh. and then just try and Is line it. Is it magnetic at all? No. No, oh, it's just really heavy. There you go. Did I get it? Just like it. You got it. And now what you're going to do, so putting your, using this finger, close this, and then push it all the way down. So just keep pushing. Use this finger, because this is going to pop. So here, if you use that. Just keep pushing it down? Yeah, keep pushing it. Oh, I feel like I'm going to break it. No, just keep pushing it, and then you're going to use that. Oops, see, then it pops off. <laughs> it's always fun. I just like to watch the pop. And then uh, <laughs> you're going to reverse, so you're going to close that and then pull that and put that back down. Under. Do you watch, like, pimple popper videos? Do you like no, that kind of pop? No, my wife loves them. Oh, my gosh, this is tough. Yeah, so you're going to really push, yeah. <laughs> Just like that. Because I am a popaholic in that sense. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. yeah. So my wife loves those. I and like, what I've it is about women. I think we just like think no, seeing things like cleansed out. So my friend Jez, I mean, my friend, my friend Jez also is a huge pimple pop. So it's not just, great. it's just like people like find it so therapeutic to watch that. I don't know. Uh, chat, are you guys, where are you guys at on pimple popping videos? Does anybody watch pimple popping videos? Can we get a, uh, no, no, so far, nobody so far, but we'll, we'll probably get them. So uh, we'll probably, we, we, will, we will see people for sure. Uh, oh, I'm gonna yeah. see, do we have, do we have thermal paste? We used to have thermal paste. Oh yes, okay. <laughs> no longer, sorry, that, that part's canceled. We have thermal paste, which is good. So this oh, is that course. it's in a syringe? Yeah, so we, it's in a syringe. So it is like medical, okay, we're and having a medical And then the other thing too, time. that I just happened to go to Micro Center today and get, which I'm really excited about, is thermal paste applicators. Wow. So look at it. I know Tom's gonna be really excited. The, these spatulas, which I got very excited to find out that you can actually buy these. So they're from Thermal Grizzly. And so we're gonna actually have you apply the thermal paste today, which I think is gonna be super fun. So there's our thermal paste applicator. Eric, it's my first time. It's your first, yes. Are you ready? Okay, so the way that this, wow, this has actually been used. I didn't know we'd actually used this before. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna put like a pea size not too much, but just kind of a pea size, uh, like dot in the middle. Okay. Okay. I'm a little scared. No, don't no worry. Can you ever put too much? Yes, but it's it's you know, you're not going to ruin anything by putting too much. And the way that I do it, we will, it won't Come be a on, big deal. Come on, applicator. Is it coming out? It's not going through. Yeah, let me, let me it might it. be a little. Might oh, be there a goes little. a little bit actually. Oh, okay. I guess oh, it's yeah, just okay. going slow. It's going slow. Yeah, just give it a. She, don't be too a afraid. Slow. There you go. All right, there, there it goes. Perfect, that's perfect, okay. Uh, okay. 
Here we go. Oh my gosh, yeah. not the string. Just go ahead and wipe, just go ahead and wipe it, it on goes. there. Okay, perfect. Wow, that was, that was good. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab a little towel over here. Luckily, we got all these towels. We don't get to use this stuff very often. So this is, this is new. I don't think a lot of people got to see this on the show, which is cool. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take this and you're gonna evenly spread it all the way over the IHS. You wanna make sure you have an even spread all the way across. Does that make sense? Oh my gosh, you're like making a sandwich. Yep, but you wow. wanna make sure a whole IHS is covered. It's gonna take a little bit of time and give it a good amount of pressure. They go edge to edge. Edge to edge. And the main reason we do this, and especially with these newer gen chips, is because they actually do have tech that's over the entire length. And so our way of making sure that your cooling is gonna be all the way is by spreading it this way. Interesting. It takes a little. It does. It's a little. Uh, it just takes a little bit of time. Coagulated. Yep. <laughs> and what I find to work best here, let me show you something. A little yeah. technique here. Go what I find to work best is use your finger on it, because ah. you actually end up getting like it as it heats up, it spreads a little bit better. So. See, I'm learning things. This is like, and the thing is, is this may not be the best spreading thermal paste, which can be a thing too. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. So we'll Looks just good. try and go from there. This is gonna take. Yep, it's just gonna take some work. So you wouldn't advise putting more on? No, because eventually, like, if you just keep working it, eventually you'll actually get it to spread. Oh, I see. So it just takes some, and then we'll keep spinning it around. See, in my brain, like when making a sandwich, when the peanut butter won't go to the edge, I just yep. put more peanut butter on the yep, edge. Yep, and that is, and we might, we might <laughs> do some of that because it's just like the some of the thermal paste. So we'll give it a little bit more gotcha. as it's been drying. We'll give it a good, and then the, the best thing about it is if we put too much on, which isn't yeah, going to be a big deal. Part. There we go. And I also think we got some older thermal paste, which is making this a little bit harder to spread. Does thermal paste expire? No, but it's like the because the, the like that one's been used. That one's been used. Like some of that stuff that we're getting on the edge could be. So, and the other thing too is like as we compress it, like it'll it'll fill in the cracks. So we just want to make sure that we get most of this over here. It just takes a little bit of time. Do you ever this take is, pictures of like your perfect spreads? Oh yeah. <laughs> People watch it, but the other thing too is like the there are certain thermal pastes, and we we're again we're we're kind of throwing caution to the wind here, and then we're gonna do some spinning here, so we kind of fill it up. This could take a while, guys. Yeah, just get the corners. There we go. Let me get, add some more up there. Wow, this is like it's like sticking to it. <laughs> yep. This, this thermal paste is not doing me any favors. Hey, they're happy accidents. You they said are. we're Bob Rossing it. Yep, we are. We are happy accidenting this for sure. <laughs> Just a lot of happy accidents. We're going to get this done now. By the way, guys, Code 2 is coming up as I'm sitting here and spreading thermal paste slowly. Uh, is CyberPower, which is the company that we are partnering with on this build, which is... It's a little bit different than what we typically do with a, um, with a build like this. Um, and uh, so code two is CyberPower. Remember, just put that into the chat, or sorry, the Gleam giveaway, and then go from there. Okay, so let's take this, clean all this off, and then do another little application. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. We're just got to, <laughs> we're working with the thermal paste, and the thermal paste, I'm finally getting kind of the older stuff off, so it's starting to spread in the right places. We're just gonna do some extra applications in certain places just to make sure we can get the rest of the evenness here. So if you put too much on, does it just not work right? No, no. Or is it's, it just so goopy? What, what we're doing is by spreading it, we're taking a lot off too, is it'll compress and if there's too much, it'll just kind of seep off of the edge, but we don't have that problem here. We do not have too much thermal paste. There we go, see how now we're getting a whole idea. What would you recommend to somebody who accidentally put too much on? Uh, clean that off, and you just like want a completely. nice thin, yeah, you want a nice thin layer, not too much. But now we've got, see, now I've got like that nice new thermal paste, so it's now spreading the way it should. Just takes a little bit of patience, and the other thing too is don't get discouraged. There we go. We're getting there. Sorry, I, I, I jumped, off, jumped off script here a little bit, guys, and... Masterpieces take a bit of time. They do. They take a little bit of time. And honestly, I am grateful it's not being rushed. You'd rather have the system be right. Oopsie. The Does amount of time, <laughs> it's like taking my husband hours to put something back together. Oh, but yeah. But that's because he's paying good attention to everything. Yep. 
We're slowly getting it. We just have this one corner of the IHS, and then we'll be, we have a little bit more gloop over here than we need. So I'm also making sure that as I spread this, that we're getting even and not too much so when it spreads. It's looking real nice. Yep, that bottom part looks really yeah, good. Yeah, it does. There we go. Come on, spread up. There it goes. There, see, now we finally got, it's becoming malleable. It's at the corner. Yep. Ooh, shoot, that didn't help. <laughs> this stuff is not my favorite. So the one that I use, I have a specific thermal paste that I really like, it's Noctua, and that one's just really good for spreading. And so some of it's just the viscosity, and so you sometimes you just have struggles, but I'm gonna get this right and it's gonna be great. Okay, and the little gaps, like I'm not as worried about little gaps. I just wanna make sure most of it, because when we put pressure from the plate, it'll fill the rest. Is it dangerous to use your finger? Uh, I don't think dangerous is the right word. Um, it's, it's not just, the best it's application. Just, just, it's just a lot of, you just end up with a lot of excess. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and cut the sides off real quick here, and then use a little bit to get the little gap here and then we'll get the rest off and then I, I always cut the sides for sure just to make sure you end up with a clean application there we go and I can just fill those little bits in it's really quiet in here we're all very like, focused it's like very focused right now what we're doing we're waiting with bated breath. Because <laughs> we've gotten a lot off of it too. So this is like, if you can see how much thermal paste I've actually taken off. Oh heck. So it's like, yeah. So it's just to get that little bit left. I'm not gonna put a ton here. It's like I'm adding paint to this thermal paste. Little thermal paint. <laughs> just to get it done. There we go. Are there different colors of thermal paste at all? There's blue. <gasps> which is done by thermal, or Cryonaut and Thermal Grizzly. There we go. Okay, we should be good with this. I'm just making sure there's enough of a glob in the middle so when we get pressure on it, it'll fill out the rest. Probably not my prettiest guys, but getting that little bit more of the IHS. There we go. There we go. Okay, we've got a good cover now. And I'm getting some on the sides. It's fine. We'll clean that off with uh, isopropyl alcohol. Okay, good. There we go. Okay, so we got what we need. Grab a little isopropyl alcohol. This is what helps us break it down. So if you were going to clean it all off, this is what you'd use. We're just going to clean off the, the parts there so we just have it nice and clean. You don't have to do this, but I'm just anal retentive. I mean, it's part of your craft, and you want your exactly. craft to be as perfect as it can be. There we go. So now we've got a completely covered IHS, which was a lot more work than it should have been, but <laughs> we're good. Okay, cool. So now we've got a full covered IHS, and that is, the good thing is, is like with this one, you're for sure know that you're going to have a even coverage of thermal paste, and you can show your husband that you did it sort of. Look, I did it all by myself. There is no help at all. <laughs> I'm the only one in the studio right here with this. Um, I will say, if you're gonna, <laughs> if you're, if you're watching this and you're saying, "Hey, Roby, I do want to do this with my thermal paste. Like, I would like to do the same application." Uh, Noctua NH, I think it's, I forgot the the exact model. Uh, my mods will put it into the chat. That is one that definitely does a much better job of just spreading nicely, um, and then you won't have to work as hard as we did um, to essentially get it done. So, okay. Well, that was a lot more work than it should have been. But That's thank, you for, uh, thank you for thank you for being patient. Let's get your M.2 in. So this is your hard drive. Cool. So what you're going to do is you're going to remove that screw and that screw. I think this will be OK. Our, um, I'm sorry, you said this one? So that one, yep. Cool. Is that screwdriver too small? It, no, no okay. it's right. It's it right. OK, OK, cool. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and while you're doing that, I'm going to open up the box to get this done. Mm -hmm. There it is. 
You you used that the wrong way. No, well, I know you. <laughs> yeah, but the thing that I was so impressive about the way that you did it is it just cut like butter, and I was like, how did like it was just like magical. It should. It, you don't have to take it all the way out. It should be captive. So you can just go ahead and start removing the other one. Captive, it just means that it won't come out. Have you ever heard that term before? I have not. So this, this keeps it from actually coming all the way out. So you don't lose oh. the screw. Oh, wait, that's nice. Yeah, yeah. so sometimes it's like one of those selling points like people will have a compo like with higher end components. Something will end up being captive, and it should just be good. Maybe can't tell. There, it there it is. Goes. Yeah, so the screws don't have to come all the way out. They have like a gap on them. Mm -hmm. I'll show you, see? So now the screw will just stay attached. Oh. Okay, so this is your M.2 drive. I don't know if you've ever seen one of these, but this is your hard drive. So one of two that you're gonna have in your system. So this is your WD. See, that's what I was talking about. You just pop it out like waffles. <laughs> like an Ego. It's like an Ego, a very expensive Ego waffle. Okay, um, okay, so what you're gonna do here, see how there's a little slot here in the PCB? This is called a printed circuit board. See how there's a little slot right there? Mm -hmm. So there's a little slot right there. What you're gonna do is you're just basically gonna slot that right in just like that. Ooh, actually we're gonna to have to add something. So let me go find that. I already broke it. No, no, you didn't. It's just <laughs> uh, uh, not every AMD, uh, not every uh, motherboard requires these from this company. So it's just something new. All good. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna actually have you do is take this little screw right here, and you see where it says 2280? Mm -hmm. You're gonna screw that into that little hole. Do you not worry about the, oh, the other two? Nope, the, this, this is the length of the, so 2280 millimeters is how long that hard drive is, so you're putting a screw because that's how long the hard drive is. So that's, this is so you can secure that drive down, that NVMe drive down. Okay, so now what you're gonna do is so make sure it's, yeah, perfect. Now you're just gonna slide that in, just like that, like I told you, and it'll, you kind of give it a good press, it'll click, and then it'll act like a diving board if it's all the way in. Okay. Keep pushing. There you go, and then let go. See how it's like a diving Ooh, board? That's what you meant. <laughs> yeah. So, I thought I broke it. I was like, no, no, you're totally fine. And I keep grabbing this little, this little, uh, this little screwdriver here. Okay, so here what we're gonna do. Do you ever use yeah. the magnetic ones? Uh, this should be a magnetic. What is it? Yeah, usually when they're dark tip like this, I don't know if that's true. I've just assumed that usually means that they're magnetic. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold that down and then you're gonna screw this, put that little screw in. These are tiny screws. There you I go. Did it, I did. Just give it a, yep, and then tighten it until it basically just stops. You don't wanna over tighten. Perfect, okay, awesome, great. Now, what we're gonna do is you're gonna put, you remember that cover you took off? Go ahead and peel this off. Ooh, Whoa, yes. Oh, I love, I like how excited steaming. you got about that. You're like, oh, we get to do the peel. Are you ready? Yeah, here we go. There it is. Oh, that's oh, a I nice like how you, I like peel. how you, like you actually like showed it to the camera so yeah. people could enjoy the peel, uh, the peel together. Okay. That so, was for y'all. And now you're just gonna put it right back where you, you took it. This way? Yep. Right back on and, and over those two holes. Ooh, look at that, lining up. <laughs> She's doing it professionally. Trying. Okay, and here's your little screwdriver. Oh, oh, oh. It's like we call it the duck butt method. There it goes. I don't know why, but why? Because like you, you like you gotta, you like gotta, like you know, as you're like playing out, especially if like you're trying to get like a good. So we just, I don't know why we. That's what we just the decided to call it. Butt. the duck butt method. You're like, okay, time to duck butt it. Okay, there it is. Yeah, I get down with that. That's a fun term. Yeah, people remember that. Yeah, she did a good job. It was a nice peel, I agree. To infinity. And beyond? That's to infinity garage. So, yeah. Uh, did I get that in? I think, yeah, it should just... Oh, I did. Yeah, did you get them okay. both in? And they just should just stop. This one's still going. Oh, oh there it goes. Still going. Okay, so you got that in. Okay, next up, guys, and this is, uh, this is the fun one. People really enjoy this. All but like my uh, my European counterparts. Uh, this is the the RAM clicks, and I think this is the dual one. Okay, okay. yes. So, you, you okay? Yeah, <laughs> misstepped. <laughs> okay, so what we're gonna do here? Pop this open, just like that. Except for if man, you, you did it the other did, way. I know. Apparently, you, I don't know. You've got some <laughs> sort of like trick or uh, mind power. That makes this work. I coerced it. Earlier I was talking to it, actually. 
So like this one, open you. unlike the one that you'd get from CyberPower, this one we're actually going to give you 32 gigs. So we'll just pop those out. Oof. Give you the instructions. Throw the garbage over there. Okay. So these are the Corsair Dominator RAM. These are 5,600 megahertz. So very, very fast. I know uh, your husband was saying, hey, why not DDR4? But these are, these are very, very nice, uh, high quality and uh, uh, RAM dim. So you should not have any good. problems. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to do one. Uh, people love the sound of the clicks. This is like a very visceral moment in PC building. But they ASMR as well. Yeah. yeah. So uh, what we're going to do here is you're just going to see how there's gray. So we're going to be putting them in the gray slots. You want the, the direction, the label out. You're just going to set it in like this. And you're just going to give it a big, nice, solid. Oh, it's like a like a like a Super Nintendo. Or yeah, like a, like, yeah, there you go. There you go. I, you know, your references are on point. Okay, so you're just Thank gonna you. put the put it's the same the, way. Yeah, go and play. Way. Yeah, just like that. Perfect. And you're just gonna kind of set it in. Oh, you're not quite oh. lined up there. Perfect. And then you're just gonna give it a solid push. Okay. Oh, okay. That was good. That was good. It was actually yeah. in. It was a meh. Uh. It was a meh. It was meh. But again, for your first time, I mean, a lot of people, you'd be surprised how much pressure you have to put for that. And so there is that yeah. whole, like, just training and all that sort of stuff. I'll click it that. next time I build a PC. Yeah, exactly. Eric, you heard that? Yeah, we're going we're gonna to get, we're going to, we're going to see it on TikTok. You can just go, what, what I'll do, like, hours before my, my uh, stream is I'll sit there and work out my thumb muscles. You know, just doing your little thumb workouts. They're, like, beefy. Yep, They've yep, got arms got, on yeah, their yeah. arms. My thumbs are so strong. Like, I can lift <laughs> this. Oh, look at that. See, that's how strong my yeah, thumbs are. I would have never been able to do that. <laughs> This thing weighs 80 pounds, by the way, guys. I'm just kidding. Yeah, it does. <clears throat> um, okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put the bracket on for your cooler. So this is what cool. cools your CPU. Um, now, uh, just so folks know, because I know that people are from my channel, uh, this does not have the LGA 1700 bracket. So when we do send this over to CyberPower, uh, they will be putting the correct bracket on your uh, on your cooler. Okay. So that way you get the right cooling potential. So this is more than powerful enough to cool off an LGA 7, uh, a 12700K, um, but it doesn't have it doesn't have the new bracket. So we're going to put the LGA 1200 on uh, in this case, but then we'll they'll give us the new bracket. Uh, later on. So there's lots of little parts we got to put together. I forgot we had to do this with this one. So uh, it's like adult Lego right now. Do you, do you <laughs> are you a big uh, Lego fan? No? Um, I mean, I like them and I've built them in my adult life as well. Okay. My okay. son enjoys them a lot more. Okay. So yeah, we're just building some adult Lego right now. By the way, guys, next code is up. Uh, code three and the code is core i7, which is the CPU we are actually putting inside of uh, Sam's PC. Ooh. I just have to say, your name is actually very easy to remember. That's it is. actually very cool. That's actually something I really like about You know I how like people have it. to be like, online I'm known as the Edgelord. Yeah, or something like But my like, name's actually like Alex. And then after a while you're like, <laughs> after a while you're like, oh, hey, what, how do going? I call you by? Yeah, like, it's do like, I call it's you Sam. Edgelord? You call me Sam. <laughs> yeah, and she's like, yeah, just call me Sam. My name is Sam. I made life so easy. Yeah, thank you for that. I really appreciate yeah, 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 that. Of you, get, you, get, you get extra kudos for that stuff. So, <laughs> code three, yes, is Core i7. I don't know what people think. Like, all in all, like, if you, I, and, and this would be a great question for chat. Like, question, uh, chat, when you see, like, if you're at TwitchCon or any of those things and you go up and you see some streamer you know, are you like, hey, mm -hmm. what's up? What's up, Jungle Lord 2227? You know what I mean? Or do you, not are the like, numbers. Oh, yeah, not. <laughs> <laughs> 2227. You couldn't get 27? <laughs> you gotta, yeah, you couldn't. Well, I always say that. I was like, I was like, oh, yeah, so you're blah, 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 number 32. Is there like 31 other ones? And you're like, well, actually, the 32 was my, you know, my it's high my school. my favorite number. My, my high school, my high school football number. And you're like, oh, okay. I was born on December yeah, 32nd. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, whatever it is. <laughs> I'm just curious, like, in terms of, like, I wonder if that makes it hard for people to be like, I don't remember his last number. I don't remember what no. number he was. <laughs> Did you just call me Jungle Lord? Two, 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 two. Yeah. Do you know that the Jungle Lord two, 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 one is my, yeah, I am two, 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 one. That's my cousin. <laughs> that's, that's, that's my biggest competitor. How dare you, sir? The Jungle Lords are very, very competitive <laughs> in this space. We are, yeah, uh, we both play Tekken. Uh, really? Tag <laughs> tournament? Did yeah. you know they have like hidden bowling in there? That's my favorite. In Tekken? Yeah, Tekken, no, tag, did, Tekken tag tournament. I did not know that. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to find the, uh, okay. Maybe that's we an, have that's it an old here. game. <laughs> I did not know that. The, I didn't know that. Yeah, I did not know you can Tekken. unlock a bowling mode. Oh, that's funny. I have not. Have you played a lot of Tekken on stream? Are you a big fight uh, like 
have you? Growing up. Okay. Growing yeah. Up. No. Yeah. Like Smash and all that. I haven't really streamed it, but it's it's good like home stuff. Okay. Um, qu uh, question for you, like, so when you, like, you said that you grew up playing a lot of games, what mm -hmm. were, like, the games that you guys, what, like, what were, like, your jams back then? Um, well, I come from a family with six siblings. Wow, so okay, so that's a big family. It was a lot of multiplayer games. Okay. A lot of Smash Brothers, Mario Karts, um, and then there were, of course, options where we got to watch others play different games like you know luigi's mansion that was one you couldn't really play and then we had one computer so we'd have to set in time who could play diablo 2 at this time that was always fun did you always did you feel like you had to fight a lot to get your time yeah okay yeah it wasn't, <laughs> they, they were not they were well, not. i had older siblings and it just gaming for girls wasn't as much of a thing yet Okay, so, so what I'm going to have you do is, so I, I showed you kind of how to do this. So what you're going to do, and this is, this is to build out the how your, basically mm -hmm. your cooler is going to mount. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this and kind of pop it in here. I was trying to figure it out, so I was like trying to see. Like, you're good. Try. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to take this, pop this in here, and then this goes over just like that. And then this little silver part snaps into it. Does that make sense? You can it see will. what I've done with the other one. Okay, yes. Okay. Because right, I want you to build as much as, a, yeah. as you can, but I was like, I was like, man, how does this one go? And I was hoping there was a book, but I can't find the book in here. So, so. I keep it back this way? Yeah, so if you flip it over, okay. go ahead and flip it over. You see how there's like, yeah, see, yep, exactly. Just like that. And then you're mm -hmm. going to pop that on. Just covers it over. Okay. And then flip it back over. And then this, you're going to push until it clicks. Oh. Yeah, so like to get, it's like a pinch. Mm, hello? Yeah. I there we go. Yeah. Okay, now, next step is what you want to do is you want to basically pop those inside of that. Does it matter which way? Uh, no, it should it should only line up one way, and then you might have to, oh, never mind. Okay, let me, uh, yeah, sorry. I think it's good. Should just kind of pop there it in goes. there. There, push it. Yeah, and then just like that, yeah, then we're good. We're done. Cool. It doesn't, it, it doesn't really, I guess they didn't give it us should. any. It should. It should actually, sometimes they give you sticky stuff for it, but in this case they did not, so we will just not put sticky stuff on it. Hey, they gave us thermal paste too. Isn't that very nice of them? One if that one spreads better. Okay. It might have. It might have. We'll never know. Okay, so we are good there. The motherboard is completely put together, so you're good. Unfortunately, this one does not stick, so usually we hope to have it stick, but this one does not. I wonder if there are poles or... Let me see if there's other stuff that goes on top of this. Sometimes there is, sometimes there isn't. Yep, yep. Okay, so it looks like we have little standoff poles. Okay, so what we're going to do now... I'm going to have you take these. Okay and they slip onto each one of them. Now that, that, that needs to be sharpened. Okay, <laughs> so these just are gonna pop onto each one of the poles. So and they these don't are screw, they just fall? Yeah, yeah it should just, and it should oh. be kind of a nice push. No? No, no. Try it the other way. Oh, say. does it not cover at all? I don't no, know. Does it doesn't go on there at all? No. Maybe I'm wrong. Well, actually, there it goes. Okay, there you go. Perfect. Yeah, yeah that, it felt like that's what, usually that's what goes on there. I was like, there's usually something that clamps it together. There it goes. There yeah, go. it's just angles. Angles. Good Geometry. Angles. Math. What? <laughs> you didn't tell me this was What was math. your favorite subject in, uh, in, in school? English. English? Yes. Oh. I was uh, an AP <laughs> English kid. You weren't always kid. an AP English kid? I was, yeah. Okay. I mean, you know, most people usually say lunch or <laughs> gym or things like that, which... If it's an option, theater was my jam. Oh, really? But if I had to pick from one of the ca more <clears throat> casual subjects, English. A casual? The core ones? Yeah, yeah you know, the, the ones you have you to do. You actually had to take? Gross. So did you do a lot of theater stuff in school? I did. Oh, what, what are some of the shows you were in? Uh, I did, uh, I was, I worked, not worked, I performed at this place called the Deaf Action Center, and we would okay. actually do sign language oh, for wow. an entire show production. So I did Cats, I've done Wizard of Oz, yeah, like things like that. So are you, are you fluent in ASL? And not as much anymore, but I can get by in conversation. Do you remember, so my, it's funny because my wife also like knows sign language, but mm -hmm. do you remember when they had like that one person, I think it was like translating for the president who had no idea. Yes. And it was like, they were just like completely, yes. you're know, like, and did you, did you go back and watch but, and be like, yeah, that really but is But have gibberish. you seen the current one that was, no. uh, I believe it was Coachella? 
and they were signing for a, a rapper, I believe. I don't know the name. If you know it, say yeah. it. Uh, it. It's so fast, and she was like getting it, and he like oh, went he even over to dancing. Her. Yeah, yeah, like he went over to her and was like rapping it and just watching her hands. It was so cool. <laughs> that is a like, talent. I can imagine how like you sore your hands probably are afterward. Yeah, that, that's that's better than the other one where the other person was like, there's probably people being like, this person is not saying anything at no. all. No, hire so, the other girl. She's yeah, great. She's great. She's good <laughs> enough. Like, I heard, yeah, they, they were basically, uh, um, they were, uh, they were basically. Uh, I heard he danced with her because, like, he at first. Oh, he I don't was, know. Like, yeah, at first Probably. he thought he was. She was dancing. So he was like, "No, no, no. She's like, she's actually signing you." So he's like, "Oh, um, okay." So this is the uh, Lee and Lee Owen one uh, or O eleven Dynamic Evo. Um, so uh, some big changes that come with this case. But what we're going to do here now is we're actually going to strip the case down so we can just make it easier to work in. So what I'm going to have you do is go and remove these three screws at the top. Okay. Uh, they, does it matter which one? Be th they should just be thumb. Ah. They're usually, they try to be... Oh, case nice. manufacturers try to make them toolless, and then it shouldn't come out. They should be captive. Okay. So hopefully it doesn't pop When it stops, yeah, does that mean? Yeah, when it stops, okay. yeah, then you're good. That one might come out, because remember, I don't know how I just lost it. Yeah, yeah. All would, of these? Yeah, you're going to remove all of... No, just... Sorry, just these, these ones at okay. the top. I'm going to grab... Also, I saw lid? somebody ask. Yes, I've done show choir. <laughs> Oh, really? Yeah. Grab our, whoa, okay, whoa. Through and through theater kid. <laughs> okay. Performs. Okay, so we're gonna get that out. We're just gonna not lose these. Okay, so you got them all. Okay, so what you're gonna do is pull on this. And which? Just towards you. There you go, cool. You just hand them to me. We're gonna kind of set cool. the parts of uh, stuff off to the side. Okay, this one also just kind of pull towards you. Same way this one? Yep, just kind of pulls toward you. Find the lip. Yep. There it is. There we go. This is your, your you remember asking, you were like, hey, can you add more uh, IO? Mm -hmm. Yes, you can actually add an IO up here. So That's you could impressive. actually have IO at the top as well. Oof. Okay. Now, let's go and take off the front panel. So there is a screw here. So let's grab. This is going to be fun for you. Okay. <gasps> Whoa. <laughs> the world's tallest Why? Excalibur screw because it's funny. Um, right here. <laughs> you sure for this? <laughs> here, I'll put it. I'll put it. No, side. no, no. I've, oh, you got I've it? You made got the it. challenge. She's, she's, like, she's like, no, this is this challenge. Right. I've, <laughs> I've accepted said challenge. All right, see, there it is. There you go. I even wore my taller shoes today too. Are you feeling really good? Yeah, we're like, I was, I was really smart to to do that. Okay. 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 Ooh. Okay. Well, we'll get that afterwards. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. It's right there in the middle. Oh, oh. I don't know if it's magnetic. This one I don't think is magnetic. Oh, it is. It's lightly magnetic. There we go. Okay. <laughs> we will not lose that. Okay, so now what you're going to do is go ahead and pull towards me. Towards Should that. I do two? Just, just push. Two? Yeah, there ah. you go. It just pops right off. So it makes it really easy. Okay, cool. And then... Assuming other side as well? Yeah, other side as well. That one I saw come off, so it shouldn't, it shouldn't have a screw. That, yeah, just push. Oh, that, does oh, it have no, a screw? Maybe yeah, it does. No, maybe it does. Oh, I was thinking when you said oh, other does. side, I thought you meant that side. Oh, no. Did you want this side? Yes, yes, please. Cool. Aha, round two, you round said. Round two. I, gotta... I like how you're just, you're just going for it. Absolutely. Yeah, that's awesome. Ugh. There Come on, go. there it goes. You had to do the righty tighty, lefty loosey. Lefty loosey. Yep. I, mean, I think that's Whoop. probably one of the most uh, said phrases on the show. It's so it's like Because people don't do it all the time. They're like, oh, yeah, I'm using a screwdriver. And uh, OK, so there's that one. OK, mm. now you can take off the back panel. I'm going to. I like the additional sound effects. I bet it's great for audio. Go ahead and pull just that, just this, just yeah, this one? just that one. Yep. It should just come right off. Just give it a good pull. There it is. Okay. Okay. So there's all of our panels. Next up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and remove. So I'm gonna flip this down. Oh. So this is the 011 Evo. I'm gonna have you remove this and this. And it's just, it's just to remove so we have access to everything. Is it? If you might, can, if it doesn't yeah, work, it's like you have to hard use to this. turn. Plus, it's just fun watching you use a really long screwdriver. Well, I mean, at this point, it's at a more manageable yeah, level. It's not as, I, next time, we'll have to be like, can we put it up here? So you're just like, I think I'm, I'm in the right screw place. <laughs> have you ever tried to just watch somebody who never does PC stuff do this? Mm hmm. And Just, I've actually called people, like they found out who, like sometimes, like my favorite one is, so Jordan, uh, Jordan Lane, who's, oh. she's actually a music, on. that one might be captive actually. 
It may not come out. Maybe. So just give it a pull. Yeah, I think it is because I've turned it both there ways. There we go. Okay, so that's that. Now we just got to find where the screws are, where all your hardware is. Cool. Um, I think it might be in here. I don't see it. No, it's not in there. Um, <laughs> it's an Easter egg hunt. Yeah, it's an Easter egg hunt. Uh, it might be in the box. It usually is in the box. And the box is over here. Okay. Oh, there it is. <laughs> we found it. Yes, there is. Unlike the normal Evo, this one comes with like a lot of stuff. Cool. This is all the extra stuff. Okay. Um, so we do have hard drives. So we can actually, why don't we go ahead and put that in? So what I'm going to have you do, oops, sorry. Mm, you're all good. Uh, you're going to go ahead and pop that, take that off. So I need to do the, yes. It should, yeah, this one's easy. Whoa. Ooh. Calm down. I'm, I'm an aggressive. <laughs> you're aggressive, aggressive with that, uh, with that. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to pull the, these clip out, and then you just pull them. That makes sense? Mm. Give it a solid tug. Oh, man. <laughs> it's bringing me back to my piano days of learning my reach. Yeah, that one's, that one's, like, that was, okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to mount your hard drive into that okay. here in a second. Trying to figure out how you're supposed to do that. Is this just okay? So this is a new thing, so I got to figure out what they do. So we might have to take the sides off of this. Okay, cool. So what I'm going to have you do is let me get this out of the way. Goodbye. Bye. Okay, and then go ahead and unscrew the three screws on the side. And I'm going to grab your 10 terabyte hard drive. You might have to use the big one. Yeah. Oh, I, here. Actually, here. This one's just hard to hold. Oh. I'm I'm only gonna let you use that for this because the other one's super. <laughs> I see what it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's just more fun for the audience, right, guys? I wouldn't mind it if this was more sturdy. It, like I have to hold it. Here, I can I can actually hold it for you. Okay, here we go then. Okay. You ready? Oh yeah, ready? Okay, here we go. Ha ha. Ah, there we go. Teamwork makes the dream Ooh. work. I, I wonder if that actually we might be okay. You don't have to take it all the way out. Okay, perfect. That's that's actually okay. Um, so when you first started streaming and you talked about what were the games that you actually played? Uh, the Sims is what I stop there. wanted to play, but since I was streaming on my Xbox, it was just Destiny. Okay. And that's pretty much it. And then I got into GTA 5, well before RP. <laughs> um, Same thing. And that was my main for the longest time. And that's the game that actually got me partnered. Wow, okay. And then I never touched it again. So you were like, I'm partnered, I'm done. You There's just a lot of time. toxicity and I don't cultivate that kind of community. Okay. So leaving it behind was very important for my streaming health. Uh, and then I you know, got more into The Sims and things that were more relaxing Perfect. for me as well. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, so literally, I'm gonna pop this in and then we're gonna re-screw them back in. Okay, so that should be. Yeah, that's lined up. Let me just screw that one in. Okay. Go the other way. <laughs> so after GTA, what was next? The Sims. Okay. And I then mean, after and, the Sims and, the, and Destiny. Destiny was always like a big part of my stream. But yeah. And then, so did you do Sims for like seven years or? I mean, yeah. It oh, was my wow. most streamed okay. game. Uh, and then Animal Crossing came into play during the pandemic, and that was my... Uh, for some reason, we got none of those into the actual... I'm so proud of us. <laughs> I, was like, I was like holding it. I'm like, oh, yeah, this is going to be good to go, and it didn't... I was like, that's really smooth. All right, let's go. I wonder if they want us to do this the other way. Like, I'm trying to... Mm. Oh, they. I think it looks like they probably want us to do the clip method. Okay, that's fine. What is uh, that? We're going to have you go ahead and... Let's go ahead and put this back on. Uh, <clears throat> It's, this is the thing, like, I, some, one of the always the fun things with every case manufacturer is you have to figure out, sometimes they'll have their way of doing it. Is it going through? I don't think it's in. It, there yeah. it is, okay. Nope. <coughs> there you go. <coughs> yeah. So you're like, oh, okay, um, you want it to do, you want us to mount it this way. <laughs> some of them use, like, plastic plugs. Um, and uh, so we're going to see, sometimes it's like, I have to be like, oh, which of four methods do you want me to do? And so this looked like they just wanted you to screw this, these into the side, but that is not true. These are just the rails. So 
We now have shown you how to take off and put back on the rails. Honestly, I'm going to be an expert. <laughs> You're an at expert, screwdrivers expert and... rail installer. Okay. <laughs> Um, and then when did, so Final Fantasy was, were you doing, were you doing Sims before Final Fantasy? Was that kind of your um, primary one or? So just as with every game, you get tired over okay. time. So I just needed a break. And so I decided to get into more story base. Okay. And I did Kingdom Hearts for my first time. Oh, wow. Okay. Because I tried it 20 years ago, gave up once I got to Traverse Town wow. and never picked it back up again. And then I did. And so I did the whole playthrough of all of the games. Uh, this summer or last summer and then I was like well I want to continue really cool stories and people kept telling me to do Final Fantasy 14 again it's which really... I was on like that pause of I can't get past ARR but I did it and it's one of the most beautiful stories so now I'm quite addicted to the game the community is very enthralling and so have you, as you've moved from like all these different games, you've mm -hmm. kind of gained new community members who... Yeah, have... yeah. Like you'll see people come and go, of course, because it's not, you know, an interest to them and that's right. okay. But it is really nice because then I get to meet and make new friends along the way as well. And I really like that in my streaming journey. And then have you done a bunch of, have you done TwitchCon before and those... Yeah. Were... Okay. Yeah, so... I've been to all of them except for the first one. Okay. Um... And did you, and have you met... Fans or, or, mm -hmm. or community members at TwitchCon? Family. Is, is that what it's called? Yeah, we're oh, like that's a, a good family, name. I like that. Yeah, it's just family. How very punny. Yeah, I love it. But yeah, no, I've, I've met a lot of them. A lot of my gremlins. Gremlins? Uh, that's great. Yes, they know who they are. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, they and know. You, and you guys don't cause mayhem, right? Like, it's, there's no, it's good gremlins. Allegedly. Oh, allegedly. <laughs> okay, now, now I'm worried. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what we're going to have here, if, I, if, I, if I'm correct in this method, what I'm going to actually have you do is go ahead and screw these right here into these four holes. Okay. <laughs> is that with the screwdriver? Yep, you can do either one. Okay. I'm going to let you. I'm going to let you choose. <gasps> Dealer's choice in this case. Oh no, not the we, pressure. Because we spent so oh. much time doing. Oh, here it is. Yeah, just right. Yeah. Okay, guys. Code. Whoa. Okay. Code four. May twenty second. <laughs> Do you know what that means? May 22nd? Yeah. What happens on May 22nd? I have no idea. <laughs> Do you know what that is? That's my stream anniversary. Oh, that's the day that you started streaming. Well, I didn't know that. I, I mean, you... I didn't know. Is that? Yeah, that's the answer. Yeah, it's all about, these are usually all about you. Is it really? Yes, yes. So, that, oh. so that's, yeah, these are usually all that's about you. I was like, oh, that's an interesting date. I, I relate to that date. <laughs> So when you were like, when, when, my favorite part is like, so they tell me the code is this, and you're like, oh, what's that for? I'm like, uh, I don't know. I don't know what's so good about that date. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know this. Now you do. Now you're aware of what, what people are doing. Is it just, it's still going, okay. So yeah, that one went for a minute. Let me double check this one, because it's only goes on. No, oh, yeah, okay. okay. So they should go for a minute, because they're going to they're gonna grip into this, so I'm not gotcha. surprised. Which is like, I, I wish I would have known this before when, when we went down that whole, like, let's take off the bracket route, but hey, it's good times. <laughs> this is where the fun is. I'm great. I'm ready to see more codes. Yeah, then. exactly. <laughs> yeah, now you're, you're like, what else does this have what to do? What's going with? on here? Yeah, that's pretty funny. May twenty second. Did how many? How many of uh, how many of your family gremlins? I mean, that, by the way, that's <laughs> kind of close. Like May twenty second's like right around the corner. It is. So what? What are you gonna do? What do we have? Some big surprises? Some big? No. Oh wow. Okay. It's kind of. You're like, Life's no. a lot. It's hard for me to plan things. <laughs> <laughs> I'll probably play video games. You're like, that's... Some have heard. <laughs> oh, I hope you guys are okay with that. Okay, so what you're going to do now is you're just going to slip this in like this, and then the... Okay. No. Oh, oh, maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh, maybe it should just push through. Uh, should... No. No, this is not going the way that I thought it was. Do we do it on the other side? This we're is always we're fun. pretty good at this. Yeah, I'm usually I I'm usually am, but this is uh, not going the way I expected it. So we're <laughs> going to try it the other way, and do it with the thing mounted. Usually these just slip right in, which is what they're usually for. Ah. But this one, I think you have like it'll to, pop through. Yeah, it pops through. But this one, I think you have to mount it the other way first. Okay. And these are these are to keep the the hard drive from vibrating, is what they're for. Luckily, oh, now that, I'm like, learning, rattling noise that yeah, you can hear? Yeah, or because these are physical, these have physical, uh, like, they have physical, they're physical drives. Uh -huh. So that means that there's platters, and those platters read data. So you don't want these to shake, so gotcha. which, which is not be good. So now what we're going to do is we're going to essentially... So do it the other way. Do it the other way. I'm just going to I'm going to see if this Could you have done it this way in the beginning, or...? Oh, yeah. I guess I just didn't know this is the way that they wanted to do oh, it. Yeah. And I was like, so some of this is just, hey, from my experience of building... 
a thousand plus PCs. Here's what I think do we're going to do. <laughs> and then we come to find out, nope, that's not what they actually want to do. Now, so if this is right, yeah, see, and then now it locks in. But because we've only done two, so I'm going to have you put in the other two, and then we're good. There you go. Yay! So you put the other two in, and then we'll get this mounted. <clears throat> Yes, use the big. T I like how you. <laughs> she she embraces she embraces the uh, the yes. artistry of what we're doing from here. Just great. So there's a little shtick on my stream. Okay, what's the shtick? Like when people subscribe, I have a wand. So oh, okay. this is very reminiscent oh. of a wand. So what do you and, do with the wand? Well, you say thank you, and then you are now extra magical. So wow. it feels very wand like. So if you have a lot of subs, like a thousand in like a day, you'd be like, your, your arm gets very tired. So I used to go through and do it individually. Uh, and then... Then you just, were like, nope, that's not going to work. It, 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 it's not that I don't want to. It's just I like playing my video games as well. Yeah. So I'll just be like, thank you so-and-so for this. And then or if it's like, like gifted subs, I'll say, thank you for this amount. So it's like a group one. You're like, get it all. Okay, so there we go. Now we actually have this done. That took way longer than it That's was okay. supposed to, but it's in. Okay, so we've got that now. We're going to grab your case, and get, let, you get to have the joy of sliding it in, which is, this is always the fun part. Okay, there we go. So now what you're going to do is you're going to take this. It's going to slide it right into just like that. And it's going to be kind of strong, but yeah, just okay. give it a good push. Can I push it from here? Yep. Okay. Yeah, it's all... There you go. Is it's it? locked in. Should be. Thanks. Nice. Looks like it is. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't broken it yet. No, everything is good. Okay, so that is in, and then what we're going to do now is you can put this back on. Okay. So it just slides back over it, and that'll and lock it in there. And this is, oops. Just like that. Perfect. Hang on. Yeah, it's not the not not the most. Oh, ooh. No, Calm down there, Tiger. Stop it. It's so aggressive. Where is that? Is it going in? I'm trying to find it. Okay. Is it not all the way in? It looks like it's all the way in. No, it's clicked. No. Yeah, it's clicked. It's a me thing. Okay. <laughs> I'm the problem. Okay. Uh, yeah, let me give it a is go. Is it? Let me see what's going on here. Let's just give it a, you just gotta be a push. There you go. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Okay, guys, well, uh, we have gotten the motherboard built. We've gotten the hard drive in now. That was a lot longer than it should have been. But we are actually going to take a quick eight-minute break, guys, and then we are going to go do some audio stuff, and then we will return and actually start cooking on this bad boy. Uh, and don't worry, we got some Final Fantasy coming up, some rating, uh, some cable management, all the things that you enjoy. So just stay tuned for more of this hotness very, very soon. See you guys in just a bit. You know, when you're doing the same thing over and over and over, you can't sit around and wait for a spark. But you gotta find things that are gonna make you constantly inspired and have that passion. You also gotta be responsible for your own creative vision and you have to create that spark yourself. It's such a fun challenge to try to get that vision, what's in your head, onto the final projects. My name is Ron Lee Christensen of uh, Blue Horse Studios. I'm a custom graphics shop here in Vancouver, Washington. Been working with the PC industry and gaming industry for the past uh, 15 years. Excited to be a part of everything that happens uh, within the industry. I started in PC modding about 15 years ago. I was looking to upgrade my own personal PC because I needed something powerful enough to run like Photoshop and some of my graphics programs. At the time, I didn't really know anything about PCs, how they were built, and I didn't really know anything about what I was doing. And I think I fried my first PC <laughs> while I was building it. So it kind of forced me to go out and learn. A little spark went off, I'm like, well, I can customize this PC. I can actually paint this. So we're gonna start uh, working on these little inlays, but we wanna really give this a really cool metallic finish. So we're gonna use a little bit of this graphite powder here. 
And what that's gonna do is kind of give us like a metal surface look. And then once we're done with that, uh, we're gonna take a little bit of gold paint and kind of just go over the top of that and just to give that embossed kind of relief look. So we got about 40 of these that we need to make. And once we're done, it's gonna look exactly like this one. Being a painter and sculptor, I was looking for another way to express myself. I just got tired of working on a 2D surface and, and incorporating the love for PCs and now artwork and kind of putting those two together. I thought it would be like a really cool idea and, and a fun venture for me to express myself. And then I'm like, what if I document this and just put it like on YouTube, show all my mistakes and all my successes and just capture everything and I started my first PC mod, which was Scratch Build. And then slowly I started to get sponsorships. The first was MMBC Tech, and then Thermal Take, and Cooler Master, and then Nvidia, and Intel, of course. All right, here at the shop, we do work on a lot of projects that are on strict NDA, and we can't really reveal the full build to you guys until those NDAs are released. But I got a couple projects behind me that I've completed, and they're still in our shop that I'd love to share with you guys. First is our alien build, all aliens theme. I'm a huge aliens fan, and if you guys don't know, this was on CPU magazine cover, I believe, in 2016. And then the other one behind me here is the Half-Life Black Mesa. This one I won my first uh, mod contest on at PDX Land. All this sculpture and stuff is all handcrafted. These are two of my first builds that are still in the shop and that I'll probably never part with. When I started my first project, I never thought it would come all the way around to where it is now. And it's been such an exciting journey. So these files here, um, we just uh, 3D printed them on our SLA printer. We got several of them here that we need to get painted up. Great thing about SLA printers is that they do print quite a bit quicker than the FDM printers. And the detail is a lot better as well. You don't really get those layer lines. All right, we're gonna start working on a little bit more on the base here. I got a lot of rocks and uh, kind of cobblestone that I still need to create on this base. But I really like styrofoam because it has all this great little detail and you just roll it right on top of the clay. And it gives you all those porous kind of indents that stone naturally has. And voila, we got a little stone path going. I love working with studios that allow you the creative freedom and trust you to just do what you do. They're hiring you for a reason and trust that you're, your creative process. I love to be able to have that creative freedom. The Intel projects that we, we've been doing on a regular basis, the Fall, the Fall Guys was a really fun project for Intel. And we teamed up with Tristan Eaton to create these awesome Marvel projects and a couple other ones that are gonna be coming up as well. Like those relationships for me and projects like that is, is definitely why we do it. This is my wife, Debbie. She helps me a lot here at, uh, at the studio. She's my pepper pots. Uh, so um, anything that I need that's, you know, that's on a tight deadline, like a mock-up created, mm -hmm. she helps me with. She does all the heavy lifting for the shop. Mm -hmm. uh, we met in Computex at Taipei, actually. I'm there for work and he did uh, an airbrush demo. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And got picked up from the audience to try to do some airbrush. We switched contacts and start talking. Traveled back and forth to Indonesia to see her for four years and finally realized this is the one for me and proposed <laughs> to her in Thailand and got married in Indonesia. And, and then now I'm here. Yeah, six years later. Just right then... before COVID. Things that my wife and I love to do is just to get to the outdoors, take the dog to the park, and take it on a hiking trail. You're working in a busy schedule. It's really important to keep a healthy frame of mind. And my wife and I both love to travel. We love, you know, exploring the world and seeing things. And as being an artist, one of my great inspirations that I get is from being in nature and traveling and experiencing different cultures and different ways of how people live and trying new foods and experiences constantly getting inspiration and passion from other things. These last two years with the restrictions of COVID, it's been really hard to actually travel or really do anything. So we haven't been able to go to any shows because the shows have been pretty much all canceled. But now that they're starting to come back, really getting excited to be able to take projects back to shows. 
The best part about the PC mods is not the projects themselves, it's the actual community. Working with the other guys and girls in the community, working with the vendors, hearing like their creative ideas for projects that they're thinking about. When I'm working with other creative people like that, just really get my juices going. And to be able to like take those projects that you've worked on for a few months or a few weeks or whatever, and, and sharing them with the community or sharing them at an event, you know, when you don't have those connections, you know, or that's half of <laughs> half the fun of, of doing these projects. We put our heart and soul into the builds. It's, it, there's no words to describe that feeling when you see somebody so happy about something that you created for them. I don't know, I get a little teary right now thinking about it because that's why we do this, that's why I do it, is because I, it, I just love to see the happiness and joy in the people's eyes that we create these projects for. I'm just really, truly honored to be part of this whole process. are back and it's okay through. we're talking about so it's funny because we were talking about you guys are watching that was with ron christensen ron christensen from blue horse studios um which we've shown a lot of his work here and so we were talking about the creator challenge which you were actually a part of for mm -hmm. some of it yeah yeah my brother uh had a surgery oh, okay. on the next day so i was like I gotta, gotta throw y'all. I, got, I, gotta, I, gotta, I gotta go. I gotta go take care. So, I gotta go do family thing at this point in time. So I so. couldn't go at all, but that's okay because my brother's fine now. Yeah. Well, that's all that matters, right? Like that's mm -hmm. the more important thing. Whoa. Okay. We just got screws everywhere. Okay. So now we've got the hard drive in. We've got now it's time to get the motherboard in. Sweet. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna add this I/O shield, which people forget all the time, because some, most of the ones nowadays are integrated I/O shields which means these are just built in, but this okay. one we gotta snap in. So we're gonna open it up a little plastic here. And then what you're gonna do is, you're gonna take this and you're gonna pop it in right here. And you're gonna give it a good push until it, you'll hear it snap in. Okay. So you're just gonna kinda line it up. You're gonna have to give it like yeah, pressure I'm in each corner. Yeah, trying to make sure. Yeah, you're, it's, it's also not helping that it's the, the thing is as high as it is. I know. <laughs> the angle. I got. I got one. You got one. <laughs> we'll get there eventually. It's. I'm not getting that corner for some reason. Yeah, let me give it a, let I don't me know if it. I I'm, wiggled it the wrong way. Let me see here. Sometimes I'm like surprised at how these actually go in. Sometimes too. There, there you go. go. That one is. That one was like genuinely. Like I would be worried if I didn't know how much pressure that I would bend it. So I wouldn't. I don't <laughs> know if I'd, I'd be like uh. Okay, so what you're gonna do is go ahead and uh, we're gonna, I'll show you how to kind of hold the, the motherboard here. Okay. So you're gonna grab it from like, like this. And you're just gonna kind of set it in and then see how there's these, these right here. They're gonna kind of line up with okay. those holes in there. And then what's gonna happen is, is right here, there's a little peg mm -hmm. and that peg goes into that hole. All righty. Okay, so it's just kind of like lining up, you know, lining up a shot, here essentially. Here we go. Oh gosh. Uh, there you go. I'm like, I don't know where I can and can't grab on oh, this. Oh, you're fine. Yeah. Okay. You're, you don't have to worry. I think a lot of people worry more than they should. And they just got to kind of give it a push. Uh, and I'll check on there here. It is. Oh, snap. There it is. Perfect. Good job. First try. That was, yeah, that was great. Okay. So now there's a bunch of screws that go in. They go in here, here. Oh, weird. There's those, they got rid of one. Um, Actually, oh. this, this one has less screws than normal. Oh, this board is almost a little bit shorter. That's kind of interesting. So is it a um, problem? No, 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 no. Oh, it just cool. doesn't. It just it's just not as it's just not a full uh, ATX slot. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take these, and you're going to put these in here, 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 and then up here and up there. Make sense? Yes. 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 <laughs> Okay, and then just kind of spin it slow, just because you want to, if it goes in easily after that, then you're good to go. Then you just go until it stops. Cool. Perfect. Okay, here you go, next screw. Boop. Oh, wow, there you go. There we go. Look at oh, you thinking oh, with oh. the tinker. Oop, oop. Okay, well. You know, the just, teamwork didn't happen yeah, as well. That was like way back it. there. Okay, let me grab more. Oh, there's actually more down here. <laughs> Who's losing their screws? Oh yeah, we lose them all the time. <laughs> It's, 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 it's just how things go. Oh, yeah. Well, there's, there's, apparently, we found a found screw we weren't looking for, but there you go. Just for y'all, in case anybody needed it. Yeah, there we go. Now we have, now we have an extra fan screw. 
for that for oh, those this for that is not one. lined up is it what's what is it which way is it not lined up uh this one can oh, i get that in there i could probably get it in there just get a little Might have to, does it just need more which way does it need to go uh here i'll let you see okay cool uh, yeah so a little bit down. just a little bit there you go there we go perfect okay cool there we go now the whole pc won't work it's fine <laughs> I broke it. Yeah. So, um, what are some of your favorite streaming memories? Like, since you I mean eight years is a is a good long career as a streamer, what are some of your favorite moments that you've kind of had uh, over the course of your career? Uh, getting Twitch ambassador. Okay. What is? Yeah. What is a Twitch ambassador? That's a good question. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thanks, Twitch. <laughs> you, so you don't actually know what a Twitch ambassador does? Uh, we're, we're basically like faces of the platform, uh, examples, things like that, but it's not much different than oh, okay. a partner. Um, so, I mean, that was pretty cool, though, because it is, it is a little different. I get to do some opportunities because of it, so I'm grateful for that. Okay. Um, getting partnered was fun. Okay. So what is so what are some of the things you've got to do as a Twitch ambassador? Um, trying to, there's one under India. I can't okay, say. so don't so don't uh, tell us that one. Uh, something coming up, and then I've I was able to go to the Game Awards oh. this year because they invited me out as an ambassador, which was really cool. Oh, that is cool. Um, so I'll probably never be able to go again, but did I'll you get take to meet, that. Did you get to meet Jeff? Uh, I've met Jeff before, actually. Okay. Yeah. He's a good dude. Yeah, he is. Yeah, but... we did. It's funny. I did some stuff when we did Rise Son of Rome. We did some stuff oh, for cool. GameStop. Um, and so I went down to GameStop, and then he was. I was on GameStop TV with Jeff Keeley, and so that's. It was, it was just one of those things where it's just like we got to. He's a, he's a super cool dude. Yeah, um, and pretty much everyone in the industry really yeah. is much more chill than people anticipate. Have you got to do any stuff like early access game stuff or things mm -hmm. like that that you that you've got to give feedback for? Yeah. So, with uh, actually, I was able to do that for a game or a game show. Okay. Uh, whenever The Sims did their Sparked, it was me and two other friends who were flown out to basically test everything and give them Feedback. advice before they even yeah made it live. So that was really really neat. And then of course I've done a lot of alphas and betas and play tests of different games. But what's been some of your what's what's like what 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 do you think your the one that you've enjoyed the most was the Sims one. Um, I mean, that opportunity was really cool and all of the like game changer stuff that you're able to do to play early. But I would probably say Maple Story 2. Oh, wow. OK. Um, that one was really fun finding like all of the translation errors. <laughs> I liked that because <laughs> I thought it was fun. So almost like the, yeah, the localization work, essentially. Mm -hmm. you see, let me take a look at the. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think you're good. I think you're good there. I'm going to see if we can get these other screw holes out. These other, yeah, here we go. So we're going to remove these because you don't need them and no reason to keep them. So these are just your other standoffs. There we go. Cool. There we go. A little bit more. Then I'll have you nice. take out the top ones. And so forth. That's good. Oh, cool. Well, that just popped out. Let's not get that this oh it's doing its thing. Oh. Okay, I need to grab hold on. We're gonna use this right here. Nope. We're gonna use this one is missing. Oh, maybe no, it's right here. Okay. This is the secret. There we go. <laughs> really strong magnet. Found it. Really strong magnet. Okay, and then uh, let's go ahead and have you. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take this and you're just gonna go and put that over that little nut up there. It's called a standoff up here, and then you're just going to kind of take that off. Take it off? Yep. And just twist it, and then, yeah, it'll, it'll, it'll unscrew. Otherwise, oh. Just, just oh, I'm going the wrong way. Yep. There you go. Nope. There you go. It should yeah. just kind of yeah, come right out. Now. There it is. Woohoo. Okay. So we've got all of that now. So next up, what we're going to do now is we're actually going to go ahead and hook up all of your front panel connectors onto the motherboard. So your motherboard's built, your motherboard's in, your hard drive's in, all that sort of stuff. So now what we're going to do is we're going to route all your cables okay. so you can plug those into your motherboard. 
Cool. Sounds good. Is this like the part where people really love cable management? No, that's that's coming when we that's that's when we hook up all the fans and hook all the stuff, and then I'm literally uh. in the back just making it look pretty. <laughs> so it's just like I'm just sitting here making it. That's look the nice. grunt work. Yeah, that's all the grunt work. Uh, this is just the this is all like people like this because it's just seeing where all the connections go. So we're just gonna loosen this all up. Okay, code five, by the way, guys, and we'll I'll be interested to see what Endwalker. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> the pain. <laughs> Why? Okay, okay. So what? So what's the story behind that one? So Inwalker is actually the most recent expansion of Final Fantasy. Okay. Fourteen. Oh, that's and right. And the story is very painful. <laughs> uh, at least where I'm at, which I'm getting toward the end. I'm finally almost caught up. Okay. But yeah, if you know, you know. If you know, you know. Man, y'all are going for some like punches. That's the thing. Uh, 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 oh, so it's like a, it's like it's a little bit of a gut punch, huh? <laughs> yes. I, to be honest, pretty much all of Final Fantasy XIV is a gut punch. <laughs> if you like to cry, play it. Okay. Okay, <laughs> that's fair. That's fair. Beautiful story. If you haven't cried in forever, play it. There you go. Get it out. Get it out. Mm -hmm. This is that's this is your this is your moment. Okay. So we have our. Okay. This is, okay, that's cool. That's your front panel. Okay, here's your HD audio cable. So we're gonna route that right there. And then you've got your USB-C and your USB 3.2. Those are gonna go through these little slots right here. Sweet. And there you go. And then what we're gonna go ahead and grab real quick is your hard drive cable. So might as well just route that one and get that one done too. So what you're gonna do here, you're gonna grab this cable. Okay, so there's a little L. See the little L? Y yes. And then up here, see there's a little L right there. So you wanna just Wait, face show me again? See how it's like an L? Oh, I see. I thought you were showing me the little prongs. Nope. I was like, what are you talking see about? See a little L. <laughs> okay, yeah, I see and it. And then there's a little L right there. And so this is gonna pop right onto that. Okay. Okay. This way, you said? Yep, just like that. And you'll hear a, you'll hear a satisfying click when you plug it on. Nope, feel it. Well, maybe you will. No. No, I guess no click. You'll not hear a satisfying click when you connect it on. Is it just not? Hmm, should be. It feels loose. Oh, yeah. No, it's good. Yeah, because this is oh. like, uh, that would click in. So, yeah, that was in. Okay. Huh. Good job. Okay, and then this Here, is going to the, route. There you go. There's your click. This is, yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> You're like, I'll add. Well, sound, sound, effects. Will be, sound effects will be added in post, guys. Don't worry about it. If yeah, this, this, isn't is, live, this isn't worry. live. Don't worry. This isn't live. Don't worry. Yeah. Sound effects will be added in post. So you might be hearing post. Uh, yeah. You might be hearing sound effects. I'm just kidding. There is no, this is live. I'm just kidding. People are like, wait, what? Blowing their minds right now. Okay. Um, so here's what we're going to add. Here's what we're going to do. So uh, this one, see how there's a little, there's a little, uh, yes. like nub. I think it was the word I was looking for. And there's a little slot right here. Mm -hmm. You're going to want to go at a 90 degree angle and pop that in there. Now okay. make sure you want to just stay absolutely straight coming down because it's easy to bend pens on that one. Oh my gosh, when it gets dark. Yeah. Just give it a good push. Oh, come on. You're definitely lined up. There, there we goes. go. Perfect. Okay, so this is your USB 3.2, and then this one is just going to go right in there. Okay. Perfect. Well, that had a little click. Yeah, that one's, that one's, that one's, that one's. That, that was one's. more like a feel click, like I yeah. felt it. <laughs> okay, and then this one, you see how you have the L, and then there's an L right there. So you're just going to put it in just like that. What's the difference between all of them? So this is your set. These are your heart. This is the SATA connection directly from it your. Clicked. Yeah, that one. That that's was what a I was. Click. That was the sound I was looking for. Now you get the fun. This is actually uh, cheating, which is great. Um, most of the time, these cheating actually, is great. You heard it here first. In this, in this case, <laughs> and so most people who understand front panels, these are usually individual, and you have to put them individually on the spot. But your case, they put them all together, which is actually very nice. And so this is going to go right over the far side, so starting right here, and you're going to put it in right there. How do you know that? Just memory. Memories. There you go. Okay, so now your power, that basically is your power button, your reset button, all that sort of stuff. So now you can turn on your PC. That's what you just plugged in. <gasps> okay, so now this is, I'm going to see where this plugs in. Uh, there is not one there. So it must be, I'm gonna, oh, they're over there. Okay, so we'll, we'll move that one. Okay, so this is your HD audio. Mm -hmm. Now see how there's a, there's a pin that's filled in? Yes. 
and then how there's a pin missing. So yes. you just want to line it. So this is just going to go with the with the with the audio up. You're going to plug that into that. that I feel spot. like this is something that could be like a Mario Party mini game. Oh, there, the or you could pin. play, or you could play, um, or there's uh, PC. Oh, uh, what is it called? Uh, PC Build Simulator. There's you do a all the stuff in PC simulator? Build Simulator. Oh, it's so fun. I cannot tell if I. Am. She just. Yeah, I think it I got like it. It's in. Yeah, it, it goes in pretty easily. Okay. okay. Oh, oh no, it wasn't in. But now it's in. It's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> For we're, sure. all, we're all we're all okay. Everything's good. Okay, so now all of your front panels. I'm going to grab one more cable that okay. we thought was in the right place, but it wasn't. So it's this one, and this is going to go way up here. <clears throat> okay, so this is your RGB. <gasps> That's then, how it goes fast. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You've added extra frames. So this is going to go, <laughs> see how there's two and a one? And that's going to yeah. plug onto that one right there. This can be a little tricky. You're probably going to nail it because I said it's going to be a little bit tricky, but uh, most because every time I say that, then people are like, oh, yeah, see, that's what I meant. As soon as you did it. Most of the time people are like, when I'll do it, I'll be like, why is this not going on? Okay, so beginner's luck. Yeah, that's, <laughs> I'll, I'll take it. I'll take I'll take beginner's luck for that every time. Okay, so <laughs> your at this point in time now all of your stuff is hooked up. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put together your AIO, um, which is your cooler that's going to cool your CPU. So what we're going to do now is we're going to put all these screws off to the side, lift this up, and then the cool thing about this case is you can take the mount off the top here. I'm just trying to see here. Okay, it's right there. Okay. So we're gonna unscrew this and this screw. You wanna do it? Yep, do it. <laughs> I love it. I love that you engage. Sorry, which ones? This and this. Just these two? Yep, just those two. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta get that first turn going. <laughs> <laughs> I like the additional sound effects. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. There's one. Thank you. No, no, no. Thank you. Into the, into the, uh, into the, the holder. And the second one. I hope, chat, what do you guys think of this whole thing of, uh, for especially uh, your audience in terms of watching you build a PC? Yeah. I'm, I'm curious. Like, now that you guys have seen it, I mean, like, you've watched quite a bit of a PC get built. What do you built. think of it? <laughs> <laughs> There's only one right answer. <laughs> so, somebody was saying, tough, tough, tough to, uh, what is it, tough? Too snuff, okay. What does uh, that mean? Does, does she have any computer building experience? No, she, this is her, uh, she's watched her husband do a little bit, but this is really yeah. the most you've done from a PC build. Yes. What do you think so far I, after you've done it? I can see the delight in it. It actually is quite nice seeing something that you are putting your hands on come together. Do you think it will mean more knowing that you've built most of this? Yeah. Yeah, this is like you, this is your thing, right? Yeah. And now if he like if Eric comes in and tries to touch you, he'll be like, no. Yes. He'll usually explain to me why, and I'll be like, yeah, 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 go ahead, take it, because <laughs> he also cleans it out. <laughs> oh yeah, that's that's an important role. Do you guys have do you guys have cats or dogs? Okay. We have four cats. Oh yeah, <laughs> that's always that's always good so. for PCs. He's excited for me to leave. It'll be a good clean for my current <laughs> PC. Because I don't like to... Is this, like, taboo? I don't like to turn off my PC because no, I have that's, bots that's, running. That's not, that's uh, that's okay. So he's always like, Sam, can you make sure you turn everything off so that I can clean that it? That sounds... <laughs> some people are, like, I think it's just a personal... Like, in, actually, in terms of efficiency and things like mm -hmm. that, um, it's, uh, it's actually probably better to leave it on. Um, but... I've seen both arguments, and I've never understood either. I just leave it on. Yeah. <laughs> it works for me. Do what you do what you want to do what makes you happy. <laughs> there you go. Um, we're not going to use these fans. So they actually gave us fans. We're going to be using the the uh, cyber power fans. Okay. So we're going to go grab them. Two of them. Here we go. Wow. Ooh, actually, we actually want three. And those are the ones that go fast. Yes, they go fast because they got RGB. Nice. Yeah. Only only fast fans, y'all. Okay. So we got our cyber power fans here. And we're going to take out the rest okay. of this. I'm just making sure we have everything out. Okay, cool. Lots of stuff. Okay, so uh, in terms of, so the way that CyberPower does this, and I did ask beforehand, is that they do theirs via exhaust. So they're going to exhaust the top. Good thing is we applied thermal paste, so we don't have to wait. Notice there's no thermal paste installed, which is actually um, usually um, something that uh, most um, does it ever come with it? Yes, most of them oh. do actually. So that's actually a little bit different. Does thermal paste dry out? 
Not really. Um, it's, uh, it, I mean, if you probably if you left it on for a long period of time, like if you left it, but in the amount of time that we're going to sit, no, you're not going to have that, any issue. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we are going to mount your fans like this. And so we're going to make, I'm trying to make sure, I think this is the way I want to do it. So you're going to put, we're going to put fans like this onto your PC. So just like that. And then I got to find your fan screws. There they are. Luckily, I just, you know, it's funny, you, you, now that you, you were mentioning this, you're like, how do you know all this stuff? It's like funny when I look at this, like when I first built a PC, you'd look at this, you'd be like, where does any of this stuff go? And now yeah. I've just gotten so used to. It's impressive. But it, you can tell that somebody knows their craft and they love it. When they can take 10 hours to mount a hard drive. Yeah, like if you wanted to talk about D&D, &D, I could tell you everything. Really? Are you guys, do you guys do a lot of, do you do stream live D&D &D stuff? Yes, I do a lot of D&D. &D. Oh, that's cool. Um, what's funny is I never got into it until 2020 during the pandemic. And then I hit the ground running. Did now, you actually know that Code 6 was d and I mean... It, uh, things were mentioned, but I didn't know it was that code. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's pretty impressive that you like brought that up and like code six was actually D&D. &E. So yeah, you're just going to go ahead and tighten those down. Uh, or you uh, or you should probably go to Vegas right now because apparently you've got that ESPN <laughs> going on right now. <laughs> and just, yeah, when it stops, you're good. <clears throat> but yeah, okay. I love it. So uh, how often do you guys play? So uh, I actually have a D and D podcast. Oh wow! Okay. Um, comes out every Monday. Okay. So. What is, what is in the D and D podcast? So that one is actually really good for beginners. Okay. Um, because it's an amnesia campaign, so our GM gave us all blank character sheets. Okay. Uh, and so we are learning about our characters along with the audience, which has been quite lovely for explanatory reasons. Okay. And they're roughly about an hour long, so it's easily digestible, because not everybody can sit through a three, four hour session. What? Um, oh, no, I'm I doomed. mean, I can, <laughs> but not everybody else can. So, yeah, so I do that, and then I have two campaigns on Thursdays, one on Saturdays. Oh, okay. Wow. So you actually do, you actually do get happy. to play. Yeah, you actually do get to play quite often, mm -hmm. which is actually really that's really cool. Yeah. Um, and then uh, there was a, there was actually a question in terms of uh, your campaigns. So you actually have an, a normal GM. Do you guys do you ever DM campaigns or? I I DM'd my first campaign last summer for my DMs. Okay. Because it, they're usually called forever DMs where they're never the players, and so I wrote my own. Oh. For them so that they could play. And, and did they it enjoy really, it? You yeah. Think? Yeah. Okay. They ask me all the time when the second one's happening. When they're like, oh, now that, now you're like, now, well, you're like, look, you still need a DM, okay? <laughs> I mean, I, like, I still got to get my fix. <laughs> okay. So, what we're going to do now is we're going to screw this onto here. So, we've got some screws. Now, I just got to find those screws, which are right here. Um, I remember my first time playing. It was I was it was actually I, I had just gotten a job at Microsoft and I got invited to play, and I was a, like I was a little timid about it, but I, it was something I was That's always normal. wanting to look. I wanted to look into. I wanted to play. It is intimidating. There's and, a lot. And uh, so I met some really cool people, um, but they seemed like they were really into it. So I was like I was a little worried. I was like, oh man, this is going to be intense. Mm -hmm. And then I showed up and they were all dressed up. And I was like, yeah, I can't. This can't be my first. Like, I'm sorry. Like, this can't, this can't be my first one. You mean you didn't come in full body no, like, paint? I, and no, I was, I was like, I was like, no, no. I like at that point in time was like at the time when that meme for lightning bolt was like really popular. <gasps> lightning, lightning bolt. bolt. Lightning bolt. <laughs> and I was like, you know, LARPers when you looked at the nerd hierarchy chart where like you're like, I don't, I don't know if I can do this. So not LARPers. And then uh, but um uh, didn't end up playing with them. And then finally they were like, they're like, oh well, we have this friend, his name was Lance. Uh, he's like he looks like he called them more casual, and so he was my first. That was my uh, that was my first time doing it. It was a, it was a lot of fun. I actually really enjoyed it. And then afterwards, immediately started DMing my own, where we That's actually impressive. went and found we went and found like the Lions of Voltron, 
and like all of them were like, and then there was a big fight with Voltron and a dragon at the very end. So I like put all this stuff together, and, and it was it was it was really fun. So, so do you prefer DMing? I actually like both. I didn't mind. I I, I like both of them. So there's a guy. He uh, he. Uh, it's called Arcane D and D on Twitch, and so he's invited yeah, me to do a. Oh yeah. So he has me um, come and show on. And so like last time I was a bard and I was singing and all sorts of stuff that I would not normally be comfortable doing, but it was a lot of fun. So. I mean, when you're in character. Whatever, do whatever you want. Ham. Yeah, so it was fun. It was a, I, I enjoy it. I, it was one of those things that it would be fun to do more of on stream. Yeah. Like if you could find, but like the thing is, is like between all of the stuff that we get to do, it's like a lot of times like I got, I got, ain't nobody got time for that. It's like a really. I always make time for D&D. <laughs> it's fun because like my husband or they'll be like, well, you, what are we going to do this weekend? I'm like, oh, actually I'm starting a new uh, D&D session. Um, so they're like, all right. You're like, okay. Here's another one. And my poor husband, he's always trying to keep up. He's like, which story is this? You're like, which, which game are we in now? Or I'll come into the living room crying, and he's like, did you die? And I'm like, yes. <laughs> but then they brought me back. Oh. I've never, like, every DM I've ever played with has never made it hard. Like, I, I never felt like it was, like, so, like, yeah. I'd almost, like, I think if stuff was on the line, I, I think that's, I'd, like, I'd be, I'd, I think I might really struggle with it. That's my Thursday night DM. He he's like terrifies me. Oh, no. But he's incredible. It, it feels so real, and so it makes you think uh, about things that could actually happen. Like, one time, um, the first time I died, <laughs> first time, uh, was because we defeated this, like, uh, uh, a beast and whenever it died it actually had the ability to explode oh. and since i'm a fighter i was in close contact close proximity and it killed me instantly and did they bring but, you back and he was like no well, by divine blind. intervention and it's a gamble oh, okay. so you can't always come back i've just very much gotten lucky lucky twice now see the thing is is like and how long do the campaigns typically run they long they run a Depends. while Okay. You can have a long form, which is just one that doesn't have an end, just until, you know, oops, it feels like it'll be good. And then you have ones that are episodic, and they'll, you know, have seasons in between them. Um, yeah, or you have, like, one shots or three shots. The part that would be hard is, like, if you were playing something like, okay, let me see if those are look like they're going to hold okay. Um, I'm just making sure to see if they gave us. They did not. I do not see them. They're, it, it's fine. I just like it was if we had washers, I would have liked to have done washers. Um, okay, so let's add our third. Okay, so we're going to have to probably scoot this down to get our third one in. So if you want to loosen these a little bit, we'll push yep. this a little bit more further down. Let's give them a little bit of loose, yeah. It doesn't have to be much. Just these two? Uh, all, th all of them. Okay. Because we're just going to slide it down. Because we want to make sure we get all of this, the the fans on and hopefully we have lots of room to do this so I have to do a test fit but I think we will I think like I think there's actually quite a bit of edge there there we go okay so let's see how much room we have to get to get this in here looks like right there okay so I'm gonna get you here let's use that good. remember that that random screw you found yeah did you lose it yeah I don't, oh, there it is. <laughs> okay so go ahead and put one of those screws in Right there at the top, and we're gonna just put it right at the edge. Okay, there you go. And do you want me to go ahead and? Yep, go ahead okay. and screw it in. Yep. Okay, so getting that. There we go. Now that we've my got wrist that is in. cracking. You can hear my arthritis. <laughs> <laughs> that's 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 long-term streamer streamer pain right there. Actually, it's because I broke my finger oh. and had to have surgery. Uh, from playing musical so chairs. Not, what? Yeah. Where, uh, and that, by, by the way, guys, that is the next code, musical chairs. I'm just kidding. No. It actually isn't the next code, but that would have been super impressive if that was the next code. <laughs> all right, scroll these back Yeah, in. go ahead and scroll okay. those back. All, all those back. Yeah, go yeah back. no, and then because I was trying to rebuild wrist strength and I started doing cycling, um, like stationary bike cycling, yep. and I ended up breaking my wrist. Oh, no. Because I hadn't built up enough strength yet. Oh, wow. So. So you're like that movie Unbreakable? <laughs> yes. But very breakable. But very, well, that was the movie. Yeah. Like, the, like one of the guys, like, wasn't it like his, his power was like, even though he was like invincible, the other guy like could break a bone. Yeah. There's like a disease, uh, like a, uh, like a real. Well, it's calcium deficiency as well, oh, nice. which I have. Thanks to my dad. Love you, dad. 
Um, so that's always been great. Okay, so I'm very they, accident prone. Okay, there they are. See, they gave us more Sweet. fan screws, which is what we need here. Okay, so let's open this pack. And now we have another fourth one, but there we go. So now we can finish putting these in. There you go. I'm and these four? Yep, yeah, we're just going to put them into these four. Is that one going to? Yeah, it'll be fine. Okay. It'll hold it. You've got the other two, but yeah, if we clip that, just uh, even helping that little edge, you should be okay. Yeah, it's good. These, these are tough screws to kind of, oops, hold on. Oh, did I? I should go ahead and loose that. Loosen yeah, yeah, that. Yeah. yeah, I put the screw. I put. I just realized the cables are on the wrong side. You're all good. Yep, we're going to fix it. Okay, keep going. Oh, do you want me to get it fully out? Yeah, get it fully okay. out. I got to ro rotate that fan all the way around. Okay. And now <laughs> we're going to put it this way, which is the right way. With all the other with with all the other cables down here. Okay, cool. Let's do this. There we go. And this is this should show you something. Even with somebody who's built literally a thousand plus PCs, it's just if you you don't you never have to worry about like you're you're gonna make mistakes. Like you just just gotta take it slow, take your time, and Let's see. Yeah. Uh, I'll give it a little bit more room. There you go. And just be patient. But you've been you've been killing it. So all in all, do you think this is harder or easier than you expected? Um. I think having, of course, somebody explaining everything, it's better. I'm somebody who learns by seeing. Just doing. And, and yeah, and hands-on. You can tell me words all day, and I will like, start dissociating. Um, it's like that, you know that meme where the lady's thinking is all math? Like, oh, running, yeah. that's me whenever you're just talking about something. I'm like, no, you have to show me. So what was your favorite part of English? I mean, given, the ch given your... Given your, uh, your uh, how much you love D&D. Did you do a lot of creative writing? Yes. Okay. So is that something you just really enjoyed about English was telling stories? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I've always written stories. I've always been a big daydreamer. So I okay. would always just sit there and think of stories and I would want to get them out. So that was always really fun for me. Do you still write? Um, not as much. You're just too busy because, playing D&D. You know. I mean, I do write my backstories and okay. I make them pretty lengthy. Which is not everybody's favorite, but I enjoy delving into a character. <laughs> they're like, they're like, okay, so uh, we thankfully my DMs love it. We have, so. Sam, we have Sam coming over. Uh, by the way, we uh, most of you guys, we're going to introduce most of you in the first fifteen minutes. Uh, Sam's introduction <laughs> is going to be three sessions, uh, and uh, it will some of it will be done with sound interpretive far dance. Off. <laughs> not the interpretive dance. It's just like it's like uh, okay. So, uh, what's your favorite character you played in D and D then? Um, he's a 10 year old boy named Cider. Oh, okay. And he's a current character. Okay. But I love him because he is somebody who's not afraid of death. Oh. Um, because he, he's been around it his whole life so far. So he's just kind of entertained the idea that it'll happen at any point. It happens to everyone. Um, yeah, so he's he is absolute chaos. You've been a lot of it's been a lot of fun to play him. Yeah, because he's a kid, so he also doesn't have like that super moral standing just yet, which I think is kind of fun to play that kind of character. So where yeah. did you get the idea? Did was did it come from somewhere else? You were just like, you know what, I'm gonna play a ten year old kid. Yeah, I just I was trying to figure out what voices I can do, and that's one that I was like, oh, I gotta so play a little boy. So you had so do you do voices for all of yours? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Do you feel like have you had to re have you had to do repeat voices? Um, I mean, my podcast one is my voice. Okay. <laughs> but only because it was an amnesia campaign. Right, didn't right. know who I was, and I asked my DM, and he was like, "Just your voice works for this character." And okay. I was like, "Okay." So I guess that's repeat. But yeah. a lot of them are pretty, as different as I can make them. So is there like when you when you um. Like, you guys, I mean, every time that we've kind of played, like, we've done character creation mm -hmm. just right there. You, you you guys usually take them home and, like, figure it out before you... Yeah, they'll usually... Well, it also depends on what system you're using, because then you have to go through and figure out what kind of character you even can play. Because right. not all of it is 5e. Um, like, I'm doing one right now called Everyday Heroes. I've done the Witchcraft and Wizardry one. Uh, there's, like, Call of Cthulhu and things like that. So, and you have to follow the system rules, because then you'll figure out who you can be, right, which is right. really fun. Okay, so what we're doing here is we're just going to clump cables to just make it a little bit easier. So this is a little bit of cable management right here. This is the beginning of making it look nice. Now he, because he's got to do some stuff for improving your, 
your AIO when okay. it gets tested and stuff like that. We can't be too crazy on this one, which normally I'm very crazy on this one. Like super tight. Yeah, it's all about super tight and making it look really, really nice, but we'll get it to the point so it makes it easy to put on the case, etc. So but we're, this, this just makes it easy. And I've already daisy chained all of your RGB together. So you've got maximum frame rate, Sweet. which is what you really wanted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the most important part anyway. Big speed. Um, and then you, have you done any, so you do that, you talk about the podcast, have you done any on stream, like full on Dungeons and Dragons campaigns? Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. I do them from charity. Okay. okay. So we'll do charity campaigns for St. Jude and American Heart Association and people can donate to ruin our lives. Oh, but, oh yeah, yeah. But it's great because it's for the kids. It's for the kids. <laughs> And in that case, like most of the time, like have people died like prematurely sometimes? Uh, not entirely. Our DM for charity D and D is usually pretty kind because charities do watch right. a lot of times. So he's yeah. like, I don't want everybody to die on left and right. Just, yeah, it's like all of a sudden. Well, but... that was a great twelve minute stream when you guys killed us with thirty seven <laughs> dragons in the beginning. Dead. Everyone's dead. Everyone's dead. So we appreciate. Could just play liches, and you can't die. Oh yeah, that's true. That could be fun. So, um, what do do people like? Um, and it, so outside of charity, do you have? Uh, upcoming DM Dungeons and Dragon campaigns for Twitch uh, right now, or is that just not planned? Um, I mean, on May 26th, okay. we have launch of season two of one called Cantor Breakers, which okay. is my Thursday morning campaign. Okay. Uh, on twitch.tv slash Cantor Breakers. And that'll actually be on the front page of Twitch for our launch. Oh, which will okay. be really nice. Yeah. So you actually, so you actually don't just stream on your channel. You actually do. Mm -hmm. Do you do you spend a lot of time collaborating with other people? Yeah. Okay. What are who have been some of your favorite collabs? I mean, besides <laughs> Robotech, I mean, right now, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um. I mean, I really like all the D and D ones that I'm on. Okay. I, I think they're really really cool because it's a good camaraderie. Okay. So. Yeah. I really like the Arcane Focus one that we got to do was actually a lot, a lot of fun. So, and I got to do it with like Trisha Hirschberger and a bunch of oh, things. It was yeah. actually really fun. Yeah. So I like, I like, I like the ones like that because a lot of times I will say streamers make great characters because they're used to being outgoing and throwing mm -hmm. caution to the wind. Because we are a character. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. So we're just crazy in general. So it just makes it a little bit more fun. <laughs> okay. So there we go. We got our, we got that all squared away. Now we can mount this to your case. And then at that point in time, guys, it just becomes about you get to go play. <gasps> video games. Yeah, video games. Wow. Even though you've done all this creative and all this building, now it's <laughs> now Roby's just got to do all the kind of connectivity stuff to make this all work. Now we might, I'm hoping this all fits. It's supposed to, um, but we will find out right now. Oh, or did I? Oh, I actually did it. Oops. I really did do that, guys. I put it in backwards. Again, again. No, it's actually okay. It's actually, it's not that big of a deal. But we, yeah, we might, we might have to, we might have to switch the direction of where the fan is. But I can't believe I actually placed it backwards. But this is <laughs> going to let me, this is actually, ooh, no, I really did do this backwards all up. But I, this will actually let me test if this is going to work. Okay. Which is actually what I want to do right now, anyway. Okay, so from a length standpoint and everything, we're good. From a clearance standpoint, we're good. Okay, cool. So we just gotta flip the fans around. That's all we actually have to do. It's nothing else. Okay, so that actually will work, and it does fit. Easy peasy. Yep. Luckily, fan, fan switching is my... The, you, for a long time, I used to actually have this whole thing about backwards fans, because you try and, like, I quickly, and anytime you're doing a show like this, you're trying to quickly think in three-dimensional space. You're like, uh, how is this going to go in my head? So we're just going to do this really fast. Flip the switch, flip the fans around, get this mounted, and then we get to get to have some fun. This is fun. So what are, so tell us a little bit about this raid that you're going to go on. So the raid that you've chosen. Oh, I'm not good at it. Oh, okay. Which is why I want to play it, because I need to learn it. <laughs> and is this part of, is it part, like, are the raids in Final Fantasy part of the story progression, or mm -mm. is this specifically just about getting... No, they're there for good replayability, but you can get things from them, okay. and each expansion has, like, their own set of raids. Okay. So... These and are the, um, if you know the game Nier, Nier Autonoma, I think it's called. I yeah. actually haven't played it, yeah. but they had did a collab with Final Fantasy XIV. Oh, really? Yeah. And so there are three uh, Nier raids. 
Okay. And that yeah, makes sense. The okay. items you can get from them are really nice. <laughs> so your hope is, what are some of the stuff that you're hoping to get out of it? Uh, different outfits and minions. Okay. Because that's the stuff that everyone wants. <laughs> and the minions, are the minions, are the minions, uh, are they like the pets in World of Warcraft or yeah. do they actually help? Okay. Yeah, they're just like little pets that follow you around. Okay, which is what which everybody, is nice. of course everybody wants those. I remember when World of Warcraft actually ended up adding the battle, you could like battle the pets and stuff like that too, which is actually what? pretty crazy. Yeah, so you actually had like pet, it was like Pokemon at that point in time. Aww. So it was always fun. Um, okay, and so this one is one of those raids. Now, which expansion are you on now? The end, Endwalker. Oh, so this is it. Yeah. <laughs> when you're done, then then this is. Then, but then, then I get to be Final caught Fantasy's up. Final canceled. Which is kind of nice. No, not canceled. Replayability. Because <laughs> there's still lots of content, lots of content that you can still get through. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because they do have a lot of side quests and stuff, which is quite nice. Okay, we've now rotated the fans. Which well is done. Good. And then we're going to re-put these in. Luckily, we did that pretty quick. What are you talking about? This is the first time I've seen this done. Oh, well, okay. Well, there you go. Yeah, see? Nobody else saw anything Nobody else. else saw anything. This is the first time we've done this. Like, this is not a... Uh, we, 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 these were put in right. We're fixing this in post. This is not live. Somebody's like, wait, this is live. No, it's not live. I definitely didn't just see somebody write Final Fantasy 16. Everybody wants to, yeah, everybody says, fix it in post. It's all going to be, it's all going to look good when it's all done in post. <laughs> and then, uh, so I'm, I know, I just want to, I do want to share with everybody uh, something super excited. You're definitely going to want to tune in on May 22nd because Sam's got some incredibly big plans for her. her what uh, day her... is the 22nd? Is that a weekend or is it a weekday? Oh, see, do we see, know? Look at this. Look at, look at how she's, look at how she's like blowing it off. But you guys, it is going to well, be. Well, because I don't stream weekends. The biggest stream, the biggest stream you've <laughs> no. ever seen. Uh, it's like her coup d'etat. It's a Sunday. Oh, sorry. We're not celebrating. It's, it's canceled this year. <laughs> And no stream anniversary. It's a, yeah, no stream anniversary. Uh, no, it's going to be the biggest stream you've ever seen. Um, Subathon, uh, all the Twitch words, uh, all put into one. All the Twitch words. All the Twitch words. All the Kappas. Shroud's going to be there. Pokemane's going to be there. Ninja's going to be there. Dr. Lupo's. It's going to be crazy. Um, and uh, they're all going to be playing Final Fantasy. <laughs> Could you imagine? And, uh, That's and then, a stream I want to see. I don't need to be involved. I just want to see and that. And then they're going to play D&D &D together. Ben actually plays D&D. &D. Oh, yeah. I, I, I have heard that. But, I mean, it, like, I would like to see Pokemon play D&D. &D. Actually, I think she'd be pretty good at it. I think she'd be pretty I good. I think she'd be pretty good at it. I feel like most streamers would be pretty good. Yeah. There's some that I don't think would be because they're just not very nice. I don't know who touched. Unless they played that kind of character. Yeah, yeah, may, oh, yeah. Then they'd be like... Then it's good like, PvP action. That is. <laughs> is it okay to kill your own party? Yes, that's what happened to me for the second time I died. I was oh, killed really? by somebody. Yes. They were like, I am done with you. I don't want to no, play this game with you. No, he summoned a greater demon from hell. And, oh, uh, like you do. And I got, you know, destroyed because he wouldn't own up to it being his and pull it away. He was like, I don't know how that got here. I don't, I don't so understand. So we're all trying to kill this thing, but in the end. It killed you. Yeah, but it, he's also died twice now as well, so I think we're even. Oh, okay. Um, it's nice. Do you yeah. guys have like a tally board? Like, yes. <laughs> okay. Or at least he and I do because we keep changing. <laughs> That's my Thursday night campaigns. That's funny. That's with the scary DM. <laughs> okay. Now everything's in the right order. I somehow lost a screw. I, probably, I think I threw it back there again. Just kidding. I don't know where it's at. Okay. So now we're going to have you. What I'm going to have you do is see how there's a little hole right there? Have you pull all these cables through that hole. Through this? Yeah. See on the other side? You can reach through the other side of this. Oh, this. this. Yes. I was like, there's no way. <laughs> Just going to pull those through. Okay, cool. Oh, fine. And then what I'm going to do, put this right here like that. And I'm going to grab you those two screws that are in here. And then have you screw that back on. There you go. I think those are the right screws. We'll figure it out. I guess we'll find out. <laughs> There's somewhere in there. Uh, where at? Right here. Oh, these two. Yep. Is it only this side? Yep. Sh oh, yeah. It's only that side. Yeah. We're supposed to. I noticed that uh, Jeremy came up here to see how we're uh, how we're doing. Are we cyber power approved right now? Okay. He's saying he's saying he's giving the A-OK. -okay. 
It was curious because one of the things that, so Jeremy, I don't, I, I, he's off camera right now, but uh, where do you, do you do hoses on the left side or the right side? Depends. Okay. Okay. So he's. Depends. I don't know what that has to do with diapers, but okay. We'll go with, we'll go, we'll go. Depends on case. Oh, it depends on case. <laughs> <laughs> the, on that, we're not putting an exhaust right there. Oh, they probably can't hear me. Yeah. Uh, we're not putting a, like a, another 120 millimeter on the back side, so we can put the fans right where the fan would normally be. Yeah. Right there. But okay. If it's opposite, then we flip. Okay, so this one, but where we have it now is, is uh, okay, cyber power approved. Because remember, guys, I'm getting that QC checklist at the very end, and we want to make sure that we're good. Okay, so this is where it is, guys. We are, the build is, oh, let me get it over to you so you can actually see. So the build is good. We've got the AIO mounted. Uh, we're, we're doing, <laughs> we're doing peekaboo. Uh, what, so what we're going to do now is we're going to take a quick break and transition to do some gaming. Uh, and then uh, where, this is where you get a, we get to watch the near autonoma. Autonoma, mm -hmm. uh, it, I just said that completely wrong. I don't think I've ever said it right. Okay. As well, yeah. So. so we're the okay. We're just gonna knit with the NA. The NA. The NA. <laughs> The NA. <laughs> the NA. The North America. North American raid. Uh, yeah. Is it? Is it? Uh, yeah. Oh, near automata. Automata. There you automata. go. See. So even Jeremy saying... knows what that was, and he he doesn't even play games. Thank you. I feel terrible. I don't play games either. That's <laughs> yeah. probably why I didn't know. <laughs> That's why you didn't know. Yeah. So um, there we go. Near auto, a near automata. Uh, so we're gonna be you're gonna be checking that out in Final Fantasy, uh, and then we'll also be watching me uh, finish putting this PC together and going from there. So anyway, guys, short break, and we'll be back in just a bit. The series is tied two to two. We will go into a game five here in these grand finals at the International Ten. I'm joined by BSJ. I've spent the last 10 years always being told by doctors, hey, after this next procedure, everything's going to go back to normal. You're going to be normal. You're going to have a normal life. For this, I get tickets. I fly here. I'm going to finally be able to do one of my greatest passions, which is go to the International, go see Dota 2. It's ecstatic. My name is Dor Shabtai. Uh, I go by Kitty online, and I love Dota. I've been playing it for nearly half my life. I was born in Israel. 12 years later, my parents divorced. My mom took me and my sister to America, so we moved there. I lived in Arizona for about 14 years. And last year, on the uh, 1st of January, 2020, I did an Aliyah back to Israel. I'm living there now, by myself. When I was growing up, caring about your education was super important. So that was essentially my life. And I put a lot of effort into it. Got very good scholarships for school. I was studying to be a mechanical engineer. It was very stressful. I started to notice blood when I would go to the bathroom and it progressed. And that was essentially the beginning of 10 years of being fairly miserable and in pain. I've been playing Dota since Warcraft 3. At the moment, I'm a 6K MMR on the dot, over 18,000 hours in Dota. 18,000 hours is an obscene amount, and that is not necessarily by choice. I've spent a lot of time in the hospital bed, and when my family wasn't there, when my girlfriend at the time wasn't there, I had Dota, and that kept my mind off of the pain and focused on the game. My girlfriend at the time, Sarah, she got tickets to TI5. I mean, she's like, we're going to Seattle, and you're going to the International, and I was like, I'm, uh, uh, what? The experience itself was just amazing. I got to actually hang out with Universe's dad. I met him by complete chance. I was the finals where Universe got the $6 million Echo Slam on Earthshaker at uh, the Roche Pit fight. Here comes the Ice Blast, ready for the dunk! And from Universe, it's a disaster! CDC, they're going to get one for the face of the Earth. The pop from Aggressive, can jump out! The energy in the arena at the time was just mind-boggling and the experience as a whole was one of my most memorable. It was the first time in nearly half a decade that I got to feel like a normal person. Your life's not over, the world's not ending. You'll make it through this and you'll be able to experience more of this in the future. This year's probably 
the only TI that they'll be able to attend for a very long time. And it's not just happening in Bucharest, it's happening in Arena Nacionala. We're currently sitting 200 meters away from in my grandparents' home. I don't have the financial stability or capacity to travel and rent out a room in a hotel for a couple of days or weeks and pay for food and all that kind of stuff. This was easily the most fortunate of circumstances. And I posted a picture saying, the banners are up, it's happening. Literally 18 hours later, I wake up to find out that the event is canceled for the general public. And it just, it just crushed me. I'm just scrolling through Reddit, trying to see if there's any other similar reactions. But there was one that caught my eye. It was this event. Thank you very much, Sumi. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the grand finals of the International 10. Team Spirit up against PSG LGD Insania. It's a pleasure to have you by my side once again. My name is Ivan Pedner, but my handle is Chednar. I knew I was going to TI. I, I didn't hope for it, I knew I was going to it. And then suddenly the news hit me that it was cancelled. Yeah, so I was like, okay, I'm not going to give up yet. I decided to make the most out of the situation, make something positive out of it. I'm Jay, I'm the CEO of OG Esports. And I saw a kid saying, hey, we're putting this together, I'm thinking of doing this. And I messaged him and I said, dude, that's amazing. Yeah, we would love to help you and participate. And obviously we would like to come as well, you know? OG is my favorite team in Dota 2. When your favorite team contacts you and tells you, I love your idea, I love the initiative, I love the passion behind it. It's amazing. The song ends, Toronto, Tokyo, PKB up, jump over with the round and grabs back the answer. Arme disappears in a matter of seconds. GQ to fall as well. GG is called! And my goodness, what a buttery scene! Now, I love these for exactly what you're doing. You can hear them chant, you can hear small orcs and small teams with no orcs. Having people like this is amazing. For us, I think Dora was a grassroots community and it started because of it, because fans were very passionate. So shout out to everybody that continued to participate and that loves this game as much as we love it. And we ended up coming here about a week before the main stage game started and we got it working. Everyone's vaccinated, we're making sure that people show proof of vaccination. At this point we're just enjoying the finals. The grand finals are currently ongoing. I'm looking forward to getting back in there. Clap's gonna TP oh, out but no. it's not gonna happen. Collapse will go down Toronto and that Tokyo. fight doesn't work. Toronto Tokyo pulled back in, refraction gone. The chase down happens yet again. Mira hoping to salvage this, but it's not gonna happen one by one. All of spirit go by the wayside. They all fall again as GG Ooh. is called 23 to three. A statement from LGD. Thank you very much, Sumi. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for the deciding game five here at the TI10 Grand Finals. Team Spirit against PSG LGD. He's going to have to spend gold on the next region. They're going for him early on here with the three of them. Slide of Fist comes out as they look at the turn. Other than that, they get him. Jump forward with the rim, and he's looking for more. Trying to take it into the chains. On to both Y and Arme. They can taste the championship. They can taste the money with the backdoor protection. He's in. It's not the same from being in a crowd of thousands or tens of thousands. Here, you actually get to make connections with people. So I've met dozens of people that I'm sure that I will play with online very frequently and I will talk with for years to come. All these other people that are here that essentially I know by name now that I never would have run to these people had I been in the arena. And most people say, I went to TI. It's another story when you say, TI was canceled, we still made TI happen.
now that at least Nisrael things are slowly opening back up and physically I'm getting a bit better, I thought to myself, well, I'm going to be going around, I'll be going to school, and afterwards maybe I'll go over to friends' houses and, and play with them. I needed something portable because up until now I've literally been lugging around my PC. I looked around and I found the Triton 500 SE. I can run Dota anywhere. Maximum settings, no problems whatsoever. But it's also allowed me a chance to revisit some games that I used to play on my home PC. I reinstalled and I'm thoroughly enjoying all over again uh, Metro Exodus and Doom Eternal and all these kind of games that now I can actually utilize RTX on. Lighting effects and the textures and the reflections on water surfaces, it is just absolutely breathtaking. Well, you haven't been here since I think that we left to the United States, yeah, which was in 2005. It's a long time ago. I know. We have pictures somewhere up in the mountain. It was really snowy, and I have pictures of you. You are like all bundled up and barely moving. What's the movie with the, the kid? Christmas with the, Story. Yeah, Christmas Story, where the little one, kid is yeah, just... This is one of our traditions. Every year we watch the Christmas Story before yeah. Christmas. Without my family, there's no way that I, I would be here right now. And also, other, other than the physical aid, obviously, the, the mental and emotional support of them, just being around me and holding my hand. My mom, my dad, and my step-parents as well, my two brothers, my uh, little sister, and obviously my grandparents, of course. There's no one like family that you could do that with. And obviously all my Dota friends as well. You know, even outside of immediate family, these people have spent so much time with me over the last decade, these people that I've met thanks to this game. It was a culmination of all these things that essentially brought me to where I am today. I wouldn't be here without all of these things combined. I, for the first time in a long time, I feel like a normal, happy, fairly healthy person.
And we are back. Now it is now it is time to separate. We have we have been put into different rooms, and now we have to guess each other's thoughts. Just no, I'm just kidding. No, we're going to finish PC building, and she's going to be doing some Final Fantasy. Uh, so really excited about this. Uh, the near automata. Did I say it right that time? I just I, I played the game, but I've never played. I, I haven't like I don't remember how to say the name. So uh, we're going to be basically playing some of that, which should be super. Oh, oh, no, the Near Automata raid in Final Fantasy XIV. So that is what we're going to do. Sorry, I didn't want to. I didn't want to get you guys confused. I'm sorry. I was just. I was so proud of myself for maybe saying that wrong. Hey, somebody said thumbs up. Hey, so thank you very much for that. I'm glad that we are. So what you're going to see now, little technology is getting better, and so we will actually be able to converse. Um, during the build section too. So my mic will be live and we'll be able to talk at the same time. So it's actually only getting better. But let's real quick, for those people who haven't seen this, I'm gonna bring up the build and then let's talk about what's actually going on uh, with the PC and what the parts are. So first and foremost, we've got the Core i7-12700K. We've got an Asus Prime Z690-P. Uh, we've got the Gigabyte GeForce RTX 3070 gaming overclock. We've got that WD Blue SN 570 NVMe SSD. That's a one terabyte. We've got a 10 terabyte Seagate Iron Wolf Pro, uh, which, you know, I always ask this question. I need to ask Sam what she's going to put 10 terabytes of. I'm guessing it's probably uh, d and costume pictures. Uh, Corsair uh, Dominator Platinum, 32 gigs of DDR5. Uh, we've got the Lee & Lee o, uh, O11 Evo, uh, which is an absolutely awesome case. The Cooler Master Master Liquid ML240R RGB uh, AIO. And then of course, power supply is at Corsair RM850X uh, power supply. So uh, that is all of the parts that we have in here. And again, this is a SKU very similar to the one that you will be able to get from CyberPower uh, via the, in a height Y60, so not necessarily this case. Of course, um, obviously, uh, component, components can always change because again, it, it always depends on uh, what they have in stock, et cetera. But again, you're looking at a 12700K, uh, 12700KF, uh, you're looking at a 3070, uh, some Z690 motherboard, one terabyte NVMe drive, et cetera, but inside of that that uh, case from uh, height, uh, the Y60. But what we have now and what myself and Sam were able to complete is we've got the uh, AIO and uh, the AIO mounted and connected. We've got the motherboard all together. All the front panel connections are done. So what I'm really working on now, really what's left is I'm just going to put the other three fans in. We're going to be doing an intake on the side, exhaust out of the top. Uh, and then we're also going to be adding, uh, getting the PSU done, all the cable management stuff done. And then from there, uh, then we'll have uh, Sam come back. We'll throw in the GPU and power this, this, this beast on uh, and have it going for that. But let's do code seven, code seven. And I think that is, uh, say that one more time, link, link. What does that mean? That's her cat. <laughs> I heard that from the ether. There, oh. That is her cat. That is Sam's cat, Link. One of over 40 cats that they have. And you will be able to see all 40 <laughs> cats on her May the 22nd stream anniversary oh, stream. All 40. Uh, that is going to be happening. So you're going to want to tune into that. I also heard that um, Tina Fey is going to be attending and showing oh off her cats. Because Tina Fey also has a cat named Link. I don't actually know if that's true, but I'm just trying to really build up this May 22nd stream. It's going to be pretty epic. Um, <laughs> so, so much. <laughs> She's going to be so mad by the time we're done. She's like, what the <laughs> heck did you get me signed up for? Uh, remember, guys, we can win those Core i7-12700K uh, plus that 12th gen swag kit. We got that Core i5-12600K also with the 12th gen swag kit and that awesome V1 tech art, which those things are super cool. Uh, V1 makes some incredible stuff, and so we're really excited about that. Uh, and again, you're going to put that into the gleam.io uh, and uh, hopefully uh, many, all of you win. I know not all of you will, but I, I want to I wanna hope that you win. Even, even Intel is excited that Tina Fey is coming, Sam, uh, to your stream. I believe uh, it. Yeah, I, they sh as, 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 as they should be. Um, <laughs> uh, and then uh, also, uh, just as an FYI, what you're going to see is we're going to see, uh, you're, we're going to be split off now. So you're going to see Sam playing Final Fantasy XIV. Uh, she's going to be going through the details of this uh, stream anniversary stream at the same time uh, while also playing blindfolded through this raid. Um, oh and then uh, we're going to be going from there. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I've really built this thing up, Sam. They're really excited about what's about They're to happen be here. So disappointed. <laughs> They're going to be so disappointed. Oh, um, no. 
Okay, so we'll let you get started, and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna start building. But uh, I, I, already it looks awesome what you're doing. Lots of icons, and I don't know what any of those things mean. I'm just setting up some emotes. Oh, oh, is that that's super important, right? Because you need no. to be able to do no. <laughs> oh, it's not. It's for my own uh, pleasure. Okay, okay, that's fine. Uh, do you have pictures of the cats? Are we gonna show pictures of the cats on the stream today? Like all 40 of them? All 40, just Google like cats. <laughs> just Google we can pretend cats. that's them. <laughs> if you guys, so just if you just search for <laughs> Sam Cats, that all pictures are just there. She's put them up there uh, for your pleasure. Just look up Sam Cats. Um, yes. I'm worried that actually probably could be dangerous. Who knows what's <laughs> gonna come up if you did that search, but we'll go from there. Okay, so here it is. I'm gonna let you get to it and I'm gonna start installing fans mm -hmm. while you play for fans. It's like almost the same thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I think that that's exactly the same thing. So there's not much of a difference. But yeah, for those of you who are just uh, tuning in, wondering what the heck is happening. So as was just explained by Roby, um, he is going on ahead and making everything beautiful, doing all the good grunt work. And I'm sitting here putting emotes together on Final Fantasy 14 for no reason other than to use them at some point. <laughs> I like to do that. <laughs> Just to, I like how you said to use them at some point. Yeah, 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 yeah. There know, will be some use of them uh, in the future. Is for what sure, because there's probably not going to be much of a use right now. <laughs> but I, so I was not able to uh, transfer my HUD, which is like the layout and everything that you see right now. So I had to fix it all. <laughs> <laughs> You've had Including, to like you've had to start over from scratch. Basically, like this is not where my emotes go, and it's making me stressed. <laughs> <laughs> I like how like the part that's making you stressed is like the fact that the emotes aren't in the right place. You know, it's all about like fashion and just making sure that everything looks good. That's the fun part. That is that I I, I do agree <laughs> with that. That is definitely that is definitely super important for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, I'm I'm almost there, and then you can all enjoy other things bask in the glory of the build <laughs> yeah watch 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 what uh he's doing <laughs> don't, watch don't look what at he's me. doing <laughs> wow look, look at now all of a sudden you're getting all this pressure on me watch what he's doing all right that's all i'm gonna do right now okay so um yeah i wanted to do wait what character am i on i'm on okay. my right page. good job sam you're doing great i need so we're going to do a raid, which okay, I'm excited there. about. I just need to fix this. Um, so for the near raid, those of you who are in here, who all wants to join me? Oh, so you're actually going to invite people in. Yeah. Well, I mean, if they're already right here, too, I just, just need to know which of them wants to come along. Now this could be really sad if like nobody decides to join though, then this would be really disappointing. I mean, or it could be more chaotic because that way I have no friends to help, which is always a good time. Also, I realize that there are a bunch of names on screen. So do you play most of the time when you do, when you play Final Fantasy, do you play it with other people? Like yes. in your community? Okay. Yeah, I mostly play with my community. Uh, I find it more enjoyable. I think that it's quite delightful to be able to get closer with people and play a game that they all love. And they've always been super helpful um, in regards to answering questions that I may have. Because sometimes it can be stressful. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense, that makes sense. Yeah. So. I, I will say like, even if I've been learning new games, like there's always people who will come in, like when you're going to like, oh, you're, you have you never played this? First they say, you're terrible. And then you say, oh, I'm not, I've never played this. And then they're like, then they're very nice. Yeah. So. Yeah. Oh, let's do this. There we go. Okay. Now I have people set up. Okay, let's get in some Jin Yama matey. Or gem I mean. <laughs> so what's the what's it what's it what's the emote that's in your top slot? Um <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, hang on. Let me let me invite all of y'all. <laughs> Oh, I don't even know who I'm going in with. Am I going in with a red mage? I guess. Are Some... you are you max level? Are you in game at this point in time? Um, I am at in game, but this character is only at 87. Max is 90, uh, but most of mine in this list are 90 right now. I think I have five 90s, but there's a lot uh, that you have to grab. Okay, hang on. <laughs> I cannot reach out. 
Uh, Helena, did I already invite you? I did not. No, I did. I can read. <laughs> and then... Was that everyone? I see Mara here, but I didn't see Mara type in chat, so... Also, I've never used this mouse before, and it keeps, like, zooming out on its own. <laughs> Is that something that I can fix? I don't know how to fix that. Ooh, it's like scrolling. I hear them talking about it. They're over here saying, do we want this to be more entertaining and not tell her how to fix it, or? They're like, do we want to make sure that, I mean, you already set me up for being blindfolded. <laughs> so I guess this is the second best thing. <laughs> By the way, um, you know, while, while, uh, while you were doing this and talking about the mouse, uh, NBC called and said that they might televise oh your 522 <laughs> stream. Get out of town. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and there's going to be like apparently red carpet. I, I heard that uh, they might actually have like a whole red carpet thing. Mark Grober <laughs> might show up. Uh, you know, some really great so red carpet affairs. So um, and trying to work on somebody to do like your uh, you and uh, you and Eric's like uh, red carpet. Um, like who do you think? Oh like, yeah, Gucci? yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah. I'm just like, I think it's like, it's going to be the event of the century. We love that. Also, um, friends who can hear me in the back, is it possible we can change my Twitch channel side to Final Fantasy 14? Okay. Thank you very kindly. I think we should set it to Among Us. No, no. <laughs> People are like, I don't know, I don't know this map. <laughs> All right. I'm waiting to see if there's a way to help this scroll. Yeah, it's just like light. All right, does this have buttons on the side? Oh, beautiful. Actually, this is what I use. So, yeah, here. Haha, we've got the same mouse that I use. So it'll feel like home. I'll trade you. They, they get you, you set up kindly. so you're not having weirdness. Yeah, this mouse is really cool. It just like the wheel just moves on its own. Just a little sensitive. Yeah. Like your 10 year old D&D &D character. Uh, uh, we don't, we don't say that on there. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay, now, aha. Yes, beautifully. Awesome, feels gorgeous. What are they talking about? Okay, so Jen wants me, you want me to tank buster? I'll take every hit I can. Oh, did we decide, by the way, which one we're gonna do? Is this a full group? And all black at sync C sublet it is. So do they still have link shells in Final Fantasy? Yes. Okay. Because the last one I played was eleven. Which was like their original MMO and I died in the dunes a lot. <laughs> Have you ever played that one? Like if you oh, were like an old school Final Fantasy MMO fan. Three from Maximum Chaos. Bring on the towers. I've never done it as Red Mage. I'm ready for a good time. Okay, so you were asking about emotes. Uh, this, this one is one of my favorites. It's nighttime right now, so it is quite hard to see. Alas, it's a beautiful dance. Uh, it is this one. What the? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Isn't it very graceful? And that's, is that, is that like your, what, what do you, when do you use that? Oh, everybody's doing it. Uh, all the time. So, like I said, these are my gremlins. <laughs> so we'll go to like different parties because people can throw parties in the game, which is always quite wonderful. And we do this. Or, uh, you know, you can, you can just drink some tea. Oh, wait, I didn't even get out one of my favorites. Hmm. Where is it? Wait, no, where is it? They're still doing it. They're still they're still enjoying that emote. Absolutely. We have one specific friend who does this dance that just looks like an absolute dad dance. And it's kind of the best thing ever. 
I really like the Destiny emotes too, right? Like with yeah. the yeah, like the like I like the ramen one, and so they have some really hot ones too. They do. I like the chicken one. Yeah, the chicken one was always really fun. Ah, here it is. Hi. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Guys, we're just kidding. We're not actually going to do a raid. We're just going to look at emotes, which should be just as yeah, awesome. Yeah, yeah, I mean, to be fair, we are queued up. <laughs> we'll just have to see when it happens. <laughs> oh, so it queued, So you're queued up. It's kind of like, and now you're just waiting to Yeah, jump here, y'all want to see my house? Oh, sure. So this is my free company house, which is like a guild or something like that. And... This is the. And uh, I heard that oh, for your uh, stream anniversary stream, you're actually going to recreate <laughs> this in your streaming room. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't I actually can't wait for that? I think it's going to be a really good time. Oh, I can't it's jump. Not even to save happen. my life, which is fine. It's on a Sunday. <laughs> it's on a Sunday. <laughs> but yes, this is very nice, very nice. And then this is where we have little parties. We're actually putting together. Oh, a that's dad actually party. a really cool house. Thank you. We have a bar. We got like of a course. DJ set. So we're always here for a good time. Honestly, this is what I like to do on my weekends is hang out with friends because you can't get sick that way. That is true. Yep. <laughs> Not so far. video games. <laughs> but yeah, it's always a good time. Mm, thank you, James. Yes, I forgot about that. And now I had to reset up my whole HUD during that break. It's always fun when you have to go and like re, re reset everything mm -hmm. up. Look, see, it's a dad party. Oh wow! But everybody's doing the. Oh well, no. Okay, she's doing a different dance. Look at look at those dad dances. We love to see it. I'm pretty sure that your character got her outfit from the Gap. I just it looks like a Gap outfit. Absolutely. <laughs> It's a varsity outfit. Maybe, maybe, uh, maybe uh, Hollister. So, actually, this one, this dress is oh, that's, one of the yeah, glamours okay, from go. a near raid. Oh, so, that's cool. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, they look really nice, so people want them. I got very, very lucky. Now I need 20 more. <laughs> I need 20 more. And like, oh no, not this one. Wait, you are the very wrong one. Where's my summoner? Hmm. Well, while you're doing that, I'm having fun with wires. I'm very proud so of you. So many wires. <laughs> Just making sure that all of the cables end up being straight. But nothing's across. breaking, right? Right? <laughs> Just lie to me. Oh, why is my red mage? Weird. All right, well, we'll just keep it like this. But yeah. <laughs> oh, see, and then you've got little minions. <gasps> Do they Wait. still have the Taru Taru? What is that? The Taru? Yeah, have you ever, you ever heard the Taru Taru? They're like this. They were like the small race. Oh, oh, the Lollafells. Oh, okay. That's, so Taru they changed, is a lot. They changed the name. Apparently, Taru Taru is not okay anymore. <laughs> Unless you're talking about Tataru. See, this is a Lollafell. Oh yeah, that's yeah. They were called the Taru Taru, in, or I think they were the in uh, in uh, in oh. Final Fantasy XI. And that's what my character was. And it was a dragoon, which was awesome. So he had like the dragon was as big as he was. I love that. Yeah, I started out actually as a Lollafell, and then I wanted to try something else. And now we're here as a Makote. All right, I can't wait to see my friends carry me through. Oh, okay, so you're expecting a carry here. Oh, always. Okay. They're back. At least you're honest about it. You're like, heavy. yep, nope. <laughs> No. So how long is it? Oh, never mind. It's already going. Yeah. You're in. I'm in. I actually, hang on, headsets.
Okay. Now it's gonna be chaos. Is that how many people are in the raid? Uh, yeah. So That's far. a lot. Yeah, it's a 24 man. Oh man, okay. That's pretty huge. Yeah. And how many how many of those people are in your are in your guild? Um, the ones that are in my oh, in your party. party right now. Oh my gosh, I didn't fix my. <laughs> uh, sorry in advance, everyone. I'm gonna real quick try to maneuver some things. Oh no. Uh uh uh, we're having a great time. You're like, I'm never switching stream types. I don't remember what everything is right now. Okay, so is this the, how, how, uh, is this the, the, oh wow, there's already a boss. Yeah, I'm not prepared. <laughs> <laughs> I, my bar is not set up. <laughs> so good luck everybody else. So oh, if you're no. looking for pro level strategies, is this was the one? stream to tune into. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> I, I do like that you're in, like you're you're like you're embracing it. You're like this is just this is happening. I, there's nothing I can do, truly. Hey, if there's things in life you can't change, don't let it defeat you. Just roll with it. Yep, that is true. Good advice, actually. <laughs> Even if your friends might die. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> friends. It's just a video game. <laughs> That's a good thing. What sort of video game? How dare you? I can't. <laughs> oh no. I didn't think this through. You did? <laughs> just, just say the least. I like that. Like, I, I, this was not my, uh, my crowning achievement. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> oh, thank you. I'm too busy looking at my hotbar. Kaylee's got the Dorito. No! Yeah. Oh my gosh, man. <laughs> Sounds like things are going really well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the thing about this one, my community has said to do the third one for a reason, because uh, it's very chaotic. There's always a lot of moving parts at all times, and that's what we're going with right now. This is the thing. <laughs> While at the same time, I'm very much trying to figure out my hotbar. <laughs> <laughs> well, because I'm trying to like super it's challenges. quick read. You're, you're dealing with challenges right now. <laughs> you want it no other way. Oh wait, or is it this one? Oh no. Are you winning? Uh, no. Okay. Well, that's good. Are you winning, son? <laughs> doing my best. I'm trying to live right now and read. I mean, the good thing is, it's like there's there's a lot of other people, right? So. Yeah. So the good thing is, I didn't go in as a healer. <laughs> or. Uh, oh yeah. We'd be having a real bad time. I'm replaceable. <laughs> They're not. Ah, oh, you go here. It's always good when a good plan comes together. Okay, okay, I'm slowly figuring this out. What is this one? What is this one? 
<laughs> oh, I almost got <laughs> in a real bad spot. You were having way too much fun. That's a good sign. Yeah. It's slowly, but I'm getting there. It's going to be fine. Everything's going to be fine. The more I press buttons, <laughs> the more I figure it out. Because you have some uh, um, um, abilities that will trigger like a second one in a sequence. And so that's what I'm trying to pay attention oh, to. Oh, like the magic burst? Yeah, maybe. That's what they used to be called. You're like bringing back a lot of memories right now. Aw. Would you ever play this or another MMO again? Uh, I probably will play WoW with the, dra with the new Dragon expansion coming mm -hmm. out. Because I, I like, I like, who doesn't like dragons? Dargons. So, I think, that's, I think that'll be on my list, but I'm not sure if I, I don't know. They take a lot of time. I mean, they do. They take a lot of time. Wait, did somebody put a Dorito on me? Usually people will have this above their head so that they can follow them, but I think somebody oh. in my community put it on me so that they could know when to pull me. <laughs> That's funny. While I'm not paying attention. I meant to do that. You meant to do that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all fine. Everything's fine. See, meant to do that too. part about that is no one died. Not once. Especially not me. Okay, start getting. I need to push more buttons. figure out what these ones are. What's after you? Ah, it's you! Yeah! So... <laughs> sorry, it's been really difficult to talk about the raid because I'm trying to figure out my buttons. <laughs> but, 
For those of you that don't know what's going on, um, I don't either. So what I do is, <laughs> <laughs> is I, I follow everyone else. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, I just follow everybody else. Um, so like At least I was you're saying, honest. <laughs> normally, you'll have somebody with something over their head so that you follow them because they're more versed in these kinds of raids. Uh, and then there's me who is like being babysat right now. Imagine me in a backpack with a leash on it. Um, that's what's happening currently. <laughs> so yeah, but whenever things like this happen, so I need to get away from everybody else so that I don't hurt them. Or if we stack, it'll pretty much kill somebody. Um, thank God <laughs> I got away. <laughs> I still don't think my bar is correct, but it's not the worst anymore. So this part, you find the empty spot. Also, I don't know if y'all can hear the music, but the music in this raid is so good. Is it really good? It's so good. The music alone makes me want to go and pick this game up. I like the, uh, I, I, I will say like, they have some pretty talented composers for that franchise, right? Oh so yeah. It doesn't surprise me that you say that the music's really good. And you, apparently you can hear the music. And yeah. the best thing about it is that composer is gonna be at your anniversary stream and oh is actually writing gosh. the theme song. <laughs> Man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> All I want him to do is come and sing me Lahi. It's really hard to explain what that is. Actually, I can show you after this. You want to know Lahi? Yeah. I'll show you Lahi. Do you have to know what the, where the buttons are and what you're doing? No, no, no. Lahi, it's a song in an area. Um, and the composer actually, I think it was at like their fan fest one year, played the song on one of those, uh, I don't know what they're called. They're like clarinet looking and they like make squeaky noises. I don't know if anyone knows what I'm talking about. I have no idea. A, a sax saxophone looking thing. But anyway, he played it on that and he sang Lucky for us. And it was beautiful. You know, it was, I think it was white and it had like a face on it at the bottom. It's like a head with a pole sticking out of it. Sure, I don't know the name of it. <laughs> Your guess is as good as I meant to do that. Was it a recorder? Maybe. Yeah, it might have been a recorder. Oh, a, a homotone is what my chat said. Yes. Oh yeah, he played it on the equivalent of a, ro a rubber chicken. Oh, okay. Yeah. So if that makes more sense. <laughs> That's talent right there. Ah, so I'll show you Lahi. But I'm really excited to get through the story, which I won't be able to finish until next week. But oh, I so know you're pretty close, though. I mean, like I am. Yeah. So I've been playing this straight since uh, October, November-ish. Oh wow! Trying to get through all the expansions, so it's taken me this long, which is great. You know, it's really nice to have a game with so much longevity to it. But yeah, that's a lot of content. Yeah, <laughs> it is a lot of content, which is really nice. And then, even whenever I'm done, there's going to be so much more to still do. Like more. You feel like raids. this is going to be this is what you feel like this is going to be a game that's going to be in your rotation for a while. Yeah, I would say so. It's something that I'm not tired of. I'm not even close to being tired of it. Yeah, there's roughly 900 quests for main story quest alone. Wow. There's a lot of content. Oh, I'm getting bullied. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I wish I could tell you the mechanics of this, but all I know is that they need to die closely at the same time. Oh, I've seen that one before. Whoop. I remember that from uh, Twin Emperors in in uh, on Karat on uh, World of Warcraft. Oh, nice. And then there's also similar uh, the uh, actually no, I don't think Twin Imps. It was the it was the Seven Riders. It was the it was um uh. uh Oh my gosh, uh, start with an N in, uh, 
in WoW, and you had to kill all of them. But like, you had to get them close in health and then drop them at the same time, or yeah. very close at the same time. I always like it. I mean, like, when you like, do you do you do any research before you do a raid or? No. Okay. But my community is pretty well versed, so they yeah. usually like teach me along the way, which I very much enjoy. Because, uh, like I was saying earlier, I learn better by doing. Right. Um, so through trial and error, we'll figure it all out. Which Versus is really just enjoyable. reading something, you're like, yeah, that's all Greek. But then you like do it, and you're like, oh, I get it. Like that's the fail. Like yeah. you're standing in the fail. <laughs> and oh, thankfully, that's the the Final Fantasy community, or at least the ones that I have encountered have been very, very kind, and they're always really willing to teach newbies. Um, because, you know, it's like you or even my husband sharing what you love about PC building. They like sharing what they adore about it. And I think it's quite nice. And I believe Final Fantasy XIV Community won Community of the Year uh, from the Game Awards. So it was pretty nice. I'm glad to be a part of it. Yeah, for sure. If you, if you want your community, if you want your game to last a while, you don't want to have a community that doesn't want to have new players and help teach, right? Like I'm just saying, it yeah. seems like a kind of a key, key measure, key, key market for success. Oh, absolutely. Because I mean, then you don't feel welcome. Nobody wants to hang around where they don't feel welcome. So, <gasps> what? I got britches that I can need. Oh, well, I'm not used to this. Normally, I have a keypad where I can like use a zero to click on things. But not I, today. I don't have that today. We're giving you all of the best of the best. I'd expect nothing less, truly. And then Intel, when they announced the stream, literally said world's best gameplay. So oh, no. I think that'll be great. <laughs> Pro FF14 player. You know how many people would come in and be like, she sucks. Oh my gosh, the <laughs> worst, right? Absolutely the worst. Also, if you didn't know, this game is pretty critically acclaimed and it's free up until level 60. Uh, and you get the second expansion for free as well. So, I mean, it's kind of Hashtag win. not an ad. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> but it could be. <laughs> Call me Squeenix. <laughs> use, code, use code Sam at checkout. <laughs> <laughs> Please, didn't I notice me? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Is that a robot? That's a robot. Looks like, a, looks like Starscream from Transformers. What if it is? It could be. It's another one of those crossovers in Final Fantasy. I mean, there's plenty of crossovers in this game. <laughs> So right now, we're running in a circle <laughs> to avoid the AOEs. Oh but yeah, there you now go. now everything's good. Just stay out of the fail. That's essentially the short of it, right? He, yeah, he stay out of the orange and red areas. Usually those are danger colors. It's your danger colors. Oh my gosh, quit moving. <laughs> uh, the music's so good. You How's sometimes the... like just like huh? listen to the soundtrack on your own after yeah. you've had a hard day. There was one trial that I did um, over and over and over again just because I liked the music and because I didn't just want to go on YouTube and listen to it. I wanted to experience it. A plethora of times. <laughs> I like it. It's really nice. Do you have you a listen game? To, you listen to a lot of like video game soundtracks? Um, not quite. I'm somebody who is a creature of habit and I'm stuck in my 90s era. Okay. So <laughs> So it's mostly like Blind Melon? Uh, it's mostly like Fatboy Slim, Daft uh, Punk, Gorillas kind of thing, Cake. Ooh, Cake. He can't even sing, but it's still good. <laughs> Sugar Ray's a fun little bop. Oh, I saw him at the NVIDIA party. He actually saw played him in Big Brother. The NVIDIA party, yeah. Long, 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 long time ago. Like Xbox One era, long time ago. Oof. No, Xbox, the original Xbox. Somebody's saying Xbox, no, no, original OG Xbox, the first Xbox. That was just Xbox, right? Yeah, the Xbox. The Xbox. 
and it was like he played and there was you live mermaids there it was pretty crazy <laughs> just saying almost as good as the gameplay what is this that you're fighting now so, i feel like she shops at the gap as well once again i've never actually played near so i have no idea but uh, she's evil <laughs> that's what i can <laughs> tell you <laughs> she hurts i do like the mechanics in this raid it's I, in my opinion the hardest out of the three raids and that's always really good when you don't know what you when you don't have all your buttons right to play the hardest of the three. Oh, that's why i was like uh <laughs> i am a, not a good person to follow right now <laughs> okay so the mechanics right now is there's well are they right now yeah there's like blocks that you have to hide behind by the colors and i think you go to the opposite color so I have black over me now, which if I'm right, I might not be. Oh, I was right. Yay. It unlocks the other one. And then you can hide from the boss. There you go. And that's what's happening. Yeah. We think. Oh, that one killed me because I was walking around too late. <laughs> I meant to do that. I was just showing you what it's like to die. Yeah, yeah I appreciate it. You're teaching mechanics. That's, yeah, what, that's yeah. what this whole thing's about. So that's how you die. You don't yeah. want to do that. Um, because then you lose all the progress you just built up. Dang it. Got it. <laughs> Thank you for clarifying. I now yeah, feel for sure. I feel formally educated. I'm nothing if not a teacher. <laughs> all right, now it's time to get out of the box, or it's insta death. Okay, I believe Basically. the hardest part of this build has now been. Away, which was just like getting all your RGB squared away. Now there is a big explosion. See, Rena was also showing us how you die in the game. Um, everyone's really nice. Making sure all understand. Do, 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 do. I realize I forgot to turn off <laughs> like everybody's uh, really and a good and day. stuff. It's very bright. It's gonna be magic. It's gonna be magical. Done. We went in circles. Also, I, I really enjoy that her name is Red Girl. I don't know why it is. The person you're fighting? Yeah. She's wearing a red dress. I know, but like, Whoa. can she not have a name? Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's That's like kind of freaky. Like, <laughs> a little, little jump scare. I wonder how many you. people have like done like jump. You know what I mean? <laughs> Could you imagine if, if at that point she also screamed? Oh, that would not be good. That'd be horrifying. I'm pretty sure they probably at one point in time actually had that and then like somebody like wet their pants or something and they're like, yeah, that's not okay. So now we're basically throwing it back to what seems like Atari. Uh wow. <laughs> Yeah, the rate, like in terms of like, I know the music, but the, the graphical stuff is actually kind of interesting. This isn't, this isn't standard for what a raid would look like, yeah? Well, just for, just for this one. I guess it's just a part of the near stuff. Well, um, yeah, it looks a lot like the actual game that it's, yeah, the collaboration. So you have to change your color of your little thing so that you don't die. And we all lived. Okay. I want her hairstyle. <laughs> it's very nice. It's going well now? Everything's fine? Yeah. Your, your tone isn't giving me confidence. <laughs> 
Like, that's a word I could use. Ah, don't kill me. Oh, that is... So what are you working at? What, what's, what's the action here? Just stay out of the orange? I believe so. Uh, I learned yesterday that the orange is bad. Okay. So I'm okay. assuming that still stands true today. Oh, it looks like she's like playing you like a puppet. Yeah, so there's a part of like the, I think it's the ones in chains. I have no idea. Yeah, if you're in chains and you don't get further enough away, you'll be pulled into the orange and insta death. And then get killed. Yeah. Have you died in the raid already yet today? No, I've never died. What do you mean? Okay, I was just curious. I would never do such a thing. Okay, I'm sorry. Just <laughs> So, you have, so basically what you're telling everybody is on top of using code SAM on checkout, you also have to be a pro strats level player mm -hmm. to be able to play this game. Yes, exactly that actually. I'm going to get in trouble. <laughs> Makes sense. Makes sense. <laughs> so I can never play this game. It's a fun So game. what does it take, like, if for you to play with people in your community, is it just open to everybody, or can, or do you have, like, specific people, and then, like, they have to, like, take a test, no. and then they can uh, Yeah, play yeah, a full-on test, actually. Like, uh, <laughs> but, no, anybody. Um, so, with Final Fantasy, oh, yeah, that's fine. You sure are. Instant. Um, <laughs> we did great there. Oh, good. <laughs> Nobody died. <laughs> so with Final Fantasy XIV, you have data centers. And then within those data centers, you have worlds. So like me, I'm on Ether, which is one of the three data centers for North America. Okay. And I can only play with people within that data center. So even Got if it. I have friends on another NA data center, I can't play with them yet. Because there's evidently going to be an update where we can cross PC travel. But alas, that is not current. Um, and then your worlds within that are kind of like instances. Got it. So, anybody who's willing to be my friend, I'll play with. Because I think it's a good time. Oh, thank you. So there's no, like, it's not a high bar to get to play with you. No, as long as you're good people, that's good enough for me. Mainly because, I mean, I started out with no one in this game, so at least I can do is make sure everybody else feels included, too. Because I know games like this, it can be difficult to continue if you don't have a group of friends. and Or if you prefer solo play, it's an option, which is always lovely. So, yeah. She's almost down. How many? How many? Uh, how many mobs are in this? Or bosses are there in this this particular raid? Um, I think there's four or five. My community can correct me. And this is boss. No idea. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I, I lost count. <laughs> four bosses. Okay. So this is the whatever they say. <gasps> no, of course I'm not a healer right now. I wanted this outfit. Oh, so that's a healer outfit. Yeah. Oh, and that one. Oh, I'll greet them and pray to the gods. But Kaylee gets her healer dress, so. You rolled a one on a need? So whenever you need or greed things in the loot yep. system, you roll a random number. Yep. Uh, yeah, so... <laughs> Even on a need, our friend <laughs> rolled a one. <laughs> oh, that's a terrible. It's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. But thankfully, somebody else passed, so they were able to get they it. They were able to get it. Yeah. Congrats. That's called a kind community right there. <laughs> you already put it on. Okay, so this one, it's like we're going on an elevator. That looks have, like an elevator. Have you ever been to uh, Vegas oh. and then the like Pyramid Hotel? Oh, the Luxor. Yeah, how that one goes up sideways. Yeah. Every time I ride on this little elevator, it reminds me of that. Oh, I like the Luxor. 
cool. It's kind of a cool hotel. <laughs> I can't lie. I don't really like the elevator. It's very off-putting. Your equilibrium anticipates one thing, and it's very much not that. <laughs> Two of them. So I don't know if these are considered bosses or if these are just side things. I'm very alley. Oh, I see what you're saying. Like if this is just like a micro, like yeah, a but micro, I'm not sure. like a micro, uh, what is it called? Like an encounter? Yeah. Microtransaction? Yeah, it's a microtransaction. <laughs> Between bosses. Use code SAM at checkout. <laughs> not an ad. Oh no. You get angry emails? It's not working. <laughs> what is happening? It's like I tried to get it for a 15% discount. <laughs> Use code May 22nd on checkout. Oh no. Use code Gamer? Oh, that's right. That one goes here. Still figuring out my bar. <laughs> but your emotes are squared, so that's all that really matters. No, 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 those are still messed up too. Oh, okay. I just got necessary ones, because they're always necessary. <laughs> as long as the important stuff is covered, we're good. Yeah, you know, as long as I can just randomly do my start doing that, this that dance in the middle of a raid, I'm pretty content. <laughs> May not be for my teammates, but. Alas, you chose to play with me. <laughs> you were my hashtag friend. <laughs> wow. All right, this next one, I believe it has a part of it where there's two buildings, which are the bane of my existence. <laughs> Because they at some point like topple over and it hurts a lot. Okay. Yeah. Sounds like a good time. We'll find out. <laughs> just like real life. You ever just get buildings to fall on you? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's just like that actually. Yeah. How are you doing with the PC? Uh, most of your cables are like managed. Nice. I think that, uh, I think that Jeremy might be mad because I over managed them, but that's okay. It's just zip ties. <laughs> Hundreds of zip ties died in the making of this, uh, of, of the cleaning of this PC. Nice, nice. I can probably hear Jeremy coming up the stairs now because he's like, no! I'll let the cutscene roll just because I believe we have somebody new. Oh my! Oh, what a, wow! Oh, That's how you were supposed to play this game, remember? <laughs> oh, yeah. You thought I forgot. Luckily, the game reminded me. Oh, she's from the game. Yeah. Near so they, they get to integrate the main characters, which is really cool. Unfortunately, I don't get the references yet, but one day. But you're going to be playing the whole game through, through to through on May 22nd for your stream. <laughs> no. One tuned. can dream. But that's a Sunday. That game is actually really hot. That's a Sunday. I've heard. Actually, I heard that they're going to move May 22nd to a Monday just for... They fully shifted it. <laughs> they shifted no, the Sam, date. No, Sam, I've got the president on the line. <laughs> I want to talk about shifting May 22nd. It's National Sam Day. Oh, no. It's International Sam Day. No, that's December 4th. Oh. So, a little far off. Whoa. That's their name. <laughs> Look at those numbers. Okay. Who's going to be done first? Me with this raid or you? I'm, I'm actually being super anal here, so probably you. <laughs> Hey, 
No, don't follow me. Oh my gosh, my community is telling randoms to follow me for, to be oh, safe. Oh no. I'm going to lead everyone to their doom because of y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get reported for being a bad player. I'm already working on it. Oh no. Stern email. <laughs> I'm writing a sternly written email to Iwata. Actually, never mind, that's Nintendo, so he's not gonna do much about it. <laughs> <laughs> At this point, my emails just get sent to spam. I guess no better time to learn to teach people than doing it yourself. Are you giving out like good advice in the stream? No. Just do stuff like stand in the pink dots. So the, there's a symbol above me and my friend. Yeah, and the normally nachos. the symbol is above somebody who knows what they're doing so that you can visibly see them and follow them. So, you know, there's not insta death mechanics. Um, and that's what you're, they're, they're, but they're trolling, they're trolling Well, people. I think my friends put it on me so that they could see me, because uh, I was having trouble earlier. And uh, <laughs> it's still there. <laughs> so, at this point, I don't know if it looks good to have this on me. Like, yo, she's pro player. Or if they're like, oh, wow, <laughs> this game. Really, like, why did she get the nacho? <laughs> I want the danger Dorito. Doritos didn't work. I mean, I didn't die yet, so if you followed me properly, you'd still be uh, not unalived. You're doing great, sweeties. I like the name Danger Dorito. That's just like a good name. <laughs> There's also a sound that people will play whenever something is coming up for people to be aware of, and it's called Danger Bongos. That makes sense. I mean, you know... Bongos are usually a good sign of danger. Normally, yeah. Like, anytime I hear bongos, like Jumanji, you know, you're probably going to get called into Jumanji or, or you're getting ready to get into... You're getting ready to get your invite to Sam's anniversary. No. It's like one of those two <laughs> things. I don't even know how many years it's been. Is that my seventh? Since you've had, since you played bongos? Yeah, since I played danger bongos. <laughs> since you played danger bongos? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if you guys knew this, but she actually, uh, when you know, they were talking about the marching band with her name. That was oh actually the gosh. instrument that she started with. Was oh, yeah, danger yeah, yeah. bongos. You're not far off. I know, I know. I wasn't why would I lie? I don't there know no truthfully. In me doing that at I don't all. know why you would lie. <laughs> 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 today's making, episode you've of You've been making Marvel stuff Show. up all day, Roby. <laughs> this stuff isn't even real. You have people genuinely concerned about me. I'm getting an intervention when I get home. <laughs> My husband Eric's like, what have you not been telling me about your past? Why do I not know about the danger bongos? He's learned a lot today. <laughs> he learned that your stream anniversary is going to cost about $30 million. Right? <laughs> He's like, Sam, we can't even afford a house right now in this economy. <laughs> what, what makes you think we can invite, what makes you think we can do, have uh, uh, Stravalski make our, make your car? Oh, garment? no. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna go mute for like three minutes. And I'll be right back. All right. That means I'm in control. Listen up, everybody. On May 22nd, it's actually gonna be Roby who's gonna be having a party. <laughs> 
biggest party you've ever seen. There's gonna be cabanas. You're gonna have w l water with umbrellas. It's gonna be really great. And the password is gonna be hydrate. Not me somehow living. I feel like at this point it's just luck. <laughs> so I was actually talking to the team, and we were going to add cable extensions to your build. What color do you want? Do you want red, white, or purple? <gasps> this is a hard right. choice. Oh, my goodness. Um, definitely purple. Purple. Done. Okay. Purple it is. Now, understand, oh, guys, we're way. obviously adding some fancy cable extensions, which are not part of the regular cyber power Bill, but given that this is for something to look pretty and all that sort of stuff, we, we like to add a little bit of flair. So we're just Ooh, adding some flair. So. That's kind of fun, though. By the way, I heard that you and I are having combined stream anniversaries now, and oh. you're paying. That's awesome. Awesome. <laughs> Great. I'll talk to my lawyer. <laughs> I'll talk to my lawyer. So. <laughs> and I heard that your lawyer is the same lawyer who uh, also like represents. Uh, like uh, like uh, tons of Hollywood actors, like Brad Pitt, uh, Angelina Jolie. <laughs> so, I mean, that's got to be I thought nice. you were about to name things in the industry, and I was like, probably, pretty <laughs> much is the gaming industry lawyer. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> so this part I found out on accident. Whatever ring comes down, you have to like face that color toward it. So oh, black okay. and then white. It's a fun little puzzle game. It's like DDR Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> yeah, DDR, DDR FF14. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pro level strats. They also did a um, collab. DDR did? That would be pretty epic, actually. Yeah, that actually would be. <laughs> Like that would, I think all in all, like you would probably not be able to log in like when Asmongold was playing. You'd be like, DDR, oh my goodness. gone live. It'll be the way that it was before when everything broke. Okay, code Nimbus. eight is Nimbus. Oh my gosh. Is that the name of one of your 40 cats? Yeah. No, is it really? That's actually my husband's cat. Oh. So Link is my cat. Nimbus is my husband's cat. Zelda is my son's cat, and then Boo Boo is my brother's cat. Okay, so that's four. What about the other 36 cats? <laughs> I'm gonna beat you up, Kaylee! <laughs> she just pulled me to death. <laughs> okay, I was like, man, we're not okay with we're not okay <laughs> with physical violence here on the show. <laughs> like I'm still building your PC here. Wait till I'm done before you threaten to I'm, beat me I'm, up. I'm very uh, publicly getting bullied right now. I was by like, my I was like, I was just kidding about the cats. I mean I wasn't serious. You don't have to beat me up. <laughs> Beat you up, Ruffy. <laughs> Stop talking about my cats. <laughs> People think that I'm weird now. No, I'm just getting bullied over here. <laughs> so uh, what Kaylee just did is called a uh, trolling. <laughs> you got you got punted. I got straight up bullied. I was uh, very much moited. 
<laughs> I hope that people were looking at us, Kaylee, because we both have the symbols and like, who are these goons? <laughs> So this is, are you still on the same boss? I am, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe it's like another phase. It's like phase, and how many phases are there? Yes. Okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, 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 I hope that was clear. <laughs> that's, a good, that's a good answer. The answer is yes. Yes. It seems to be going pretty well. Based on what I'm seeing here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll find off. Oh, what? Full of I disagree. I wanted to check hey, out the isn't air. It, isn't black? Black's bad, right? No. No, okay, that's fine. I mean, it depends on the puzzle. <laughs> I'm really glad you're Red not going to beat me up. I was like <laughs> really nervous there for a little bit. Yeah, they're fine. I do not like getting physically harmed. It's not high on my bucket list. And like after you, like, I don't know if you guys know this, but she, uh, if I was reading her profile, we get these briefs beforehand from <laughs> Intel. And she uh, was a, she made it to the bronze medal round for <laughs> judo. Um, so I almost I mean, spit water on the keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that. <laughs> And I was just, I was like, man, that's not the person you want to hear somebody say, I'm going to beat you up. I'm going to beat you up. <laughs> in game, in game. I physically couldn't harm a fly. Oh, my word. What do these look like? <clears throat> so how many cats do you have for real? It's not 40. <laughs> I have four. <laughs> okay, four. So I was, like, way off. Um, I mean, it could be 40 if you want. Yeah, okay. Like, okay. Does that mean I just, like, I can just invite other cats to your house? Yeah, sure. Okay. You guys would take them in? Sure, Eric's fine. <laughs> yeah, it's like, hey, you know, after you've spent all our money on our party, it's, what else do I got? <laughs> just give it up on life. <gasps> Whoa, I got the other hairstyle. <sighs> Blessed be. Uh... Oh, These I purple can't cables see. Look, actually look very good. That was a good what choice. What did I roll? <gasps> I got both minions. Stop. What a what a good end. All right, I'm so glad that nobody died that entire raid. So nope. that's how you do it. Full uh, party. <laughs> full party. <laughs> full party. Wow. So that was the whole raid. Yeah, that was the third one. what did one. you win? Did you get anything out of it? So the I got a hairstyle. Okay. Um, which I'm using now. And then I got two of the minions. One called 9S Automaton and one called Smaller Stubby. <laughs> I like that name. <laughs> what does Smaller Stubby look like? Because it's not the most descriptive name. Yeah, let's, let's give it a gander, shall we? All right, smaller stubby. Ah, it's like a robot. It's like a little baby robot. Well, that's kind of cool. Oh, look at him. He's actually quite cute. I wonder what happens when you pet him. Nothing. You Nothing. don't even touch him. No, he's like... Just that Whoa, much too small. he hops! Oh, that's kind of cool. You know those like little wind-up frog kind of toys? That's yep. what he looks like. Oh, look. These are some of our neighbors in our neighborhood. <laughs> All right, so, so we're so where if you, you needed at? to repeat that, if you needed to repeat that raid, you could now. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And you could lead it. We could do it over and over until you get things that you want, because each raid will drop different like types of glamours. Um, so it depends on what interests you. Oh, but let me. What did I say I was going to show you? Uh. I don't remember. Oh, that's right. What was it? Oh, Lahi. Lahi. Okay, so you probably won't be able to hear it. No. But everyone else will. All right, I'll show you Lahi really quickly. And then, uh, those of you who are in my party, do you want to run my favorite trial with music? What did you say? We're going to do what? 
potentially Mark my favorite trial. All right. So, for those of you listening who can listen. Okay, this is. Uh, I might need to. Oh, I can it. hear. They made it come through my, my earpiece. Oh, did they? Hang on. It's not this part, though. They don't. Because what I hear right now is jer birds chirping. <laughs> Let me grab out a mount. Actually, to be super clear, they're, north we they're northeastern Sylvestian swallows is the sound that we're hearing right now. Yeah? Yeah. That's pretty impressive. All right, the music should change here in a moment. Or actually, I don't know, is it nighttime in the game? Okay, are you hearing? Is that a L O? Oh, no, it's like a... It's a chocobo. Oh, okay. okay. I'm convincing him to fly by offering cake. I do not believe the aerodynamics really work for that bird at all. <laughs> And then there's 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 lettuce on the ground, and then Mickey cake in the air. So is this the bird? Is this what you're trying to show me? No, there's music going. I can't really hear it right now because oh. I don't have the headset on. Oh, I can hear it. It's 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 pretty quiet, but yes, I can hear it. I like how we're all holding stuff up to our ears. Oh, maybe I don't hear it right now. Oh, I can maybe hear it. Maybe it's the time of day because music changes. If I do this, it's louder. Just looks like I'll have to show you another time. <laughs> At your party. Oh, wait, maybe I'm in. Oh, I'm in the music. Oh, hang on. Dang it. Can I? Oh, so what I heard was not. How do it. I dismount? <laughs> I don't have my bar up. Uh, uh, where is my pet bar? Oh, is this not? No, that's the wrong thing. I don't know how to play video games, evidently. Okay. Yeah, I heard the bird run off. Oh, I hear something. Yeah, but it's too late. It just means we'll have to come back. <laughs> okay. All right, but it's we're going to do late. a trial, which I really love. That's, we have too many healers. We need a, someone to not be a healer. <laughs> It's pretty cool that I actually get, uh, you know, huge shout out to our production team. Let me just say, like, these guys never, Im never seem to not impress me. They're, wait a minute, did I say that right? I don't know if I, if I did. I don't know. Point is, I am impressed. So if I did a date double negative and now I sound like I'm not impressed, I am actually <laughs> impressed. They blow me away, like, every time. Like, the show just continues to get better and better. So huge shout out to them for doing such an awesome job with this. They, they really yeah. do good work. Uh, and then there's Troy. But I mean, everything else is great. <laughs> You're all doing great. All right, so this one uh, has really excellent music. Thok asked Thok. Oh, wow, what is this? I like that, I like that horse. It's very, it's not, it's it doesn't mount. look comfortable to ride. <laughs> you mean you don't want to ride armor horses? Yeah, yeah, with, with I mean, Fully it just armored? feels like not well-placed pointy yeah, parts. Yeah, it doesn't even look like there's a place for a saddle. The music in this one is so fun. Oh, I like the sound. Yeah, I can hear it. Wow. Pretty fire. <laughs> so this is a trial? Wow, yeah. that is quite the outfit there. He looks like a bug. Yeah, he does. It's like a it's like a it's like if a like a hornet had a baby with a black knight. <laughs> You're not far off. It's like it's like General Grievous and like a hornet and Seth Rogan all together. Like nice. maybe a little, maybe a little Zach Galifernakis. <laughs> yeah, I can honestly see the resemblance. 
all people who are coming to your party. <laughs> yes, they're on the VIP. They're VIP. <laughs> All but Zach, who couldn't make VIP. But it's set up like a convention, so you have to come at a certain call time to get your badge. <laughs> uh, <so> <laughs> Sorry, sir. Uh, the A's through the M's were actually at 2 p.m. <laughs> Did you get your badge yet? No, I have. I, I heard mine got revoked. Thanks. Oof. Yeah, sorry. I'll talk to security about that. <laughs> no, she won't. No. <laughs> I'm not invited anymore. I know it. Lie to me. If you could throw a themed party, what kind of themed party would you throw? Ooh, that's a good question. I like this. That's deep. This like <laughs> tells me a lot about my psyche and stuff. You gotta think about it. I, I do have to think about it. If I could throw a theme party, what theme party would I throw? You know, honestly, I think it'd be kind of cool. I think if you did like a video game character theme party and let people dress as their favorite game character, that could be kind of cool. That could be fun. And then you just like, and then like everybody gets to kind of choose, you know, and you get to see like what people do. For true, for true. I would love to just throw a chocobo party. Oh, a chocobo party. Everyone has to dress up like a big old chocobo. I think I'd like to throw like a bubble waffle party and everybody just has to bring bubble waffles. All right. Bubble waffles are super good. Murder mystery parties. Have you ever done one of those? Oh, yes. Those are a lot of fun. In so fact, like 100 fun. Thieves is doing a murder mystery event. So I don't know. I don't know why that just made me think of that, but there you go. It's not an ad. <laughs> that is very niche knowledge. I love it. <laughs> Yeah, it is. By the way, when are you signing on with an org for uh, for Final Fantasy? An orc? Yeah, an org, you know? <laughs> well, it's not quite yet an option. Uh, no, not yet? No. Um, yeah, maybe, you have, maybe you have one some day. feelers out, though? Although, we are finally getting female Rothgars very soon, and so a lot of people are stoked because then they can have their Roth Girl Summer. Oh. Yeah, you know, instead of Hot Girl Summer. <laughs> So it's, we're ready for a good time. Do you think that'll help you sign with an eSport org? I hope so, you know? CLG, uh, <laughs> you know, any of you guys like, uh, anybody watching right now, we're looking for potential signing, and I get 10%. You only want 10%? Honestly, yeah, that's real nice. you know what, honestly, nice. I just met you, I felt like anything more than that seems kind of rude. <laughs> <laughs> I like how the Final Fantasy people were like, oh, I thought he said orc. Oh, wait, I thought you also said orc. No, org. <laughs> Sign up for an org. I was in the same mindset as them. <laughs> oh, no. I was like, I was like that, that now makes your answer make a whole lot more sense. I'm like, wait, what? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was confused. I was like, orcs? I thought you were just making a WoW reference into Final Fantasy. No, no. <laughs> we were on different pages. Yes, we, we definitely were. <laughs> as we have been most of the stream, but it's fun. No, it's been good. This has been a lot of fun. Thank you for coming. <laughs> I invited you. Now it sounds like pirate music. Some of you probably hear on a... Uh... Parts of the Caribbean. Do you say Caribbean or Caribbean? Uh, I say uh, I say Caribbean. I say Caribbean when it comes to the actual place, but the movie I say Caribbean because isn't that how they say it? Pirates of the Caribbean. Where? Okay, how did we get it. on this? Does this have to do with you joining an esport org too? <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, I don't, you know what, you're right. I think I do say, I say Pirates of the Caribbean. No, I say Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah, That's... I don't think I've heard it as Caribbean, Pirates of the Caribbean. But you know what, I'm gonna work on changing it for everybody. Guys, Pirates of the Caribbean. <laughs> you need to make a change.org? Yeah, change.org for Pirates of the Car Caribbean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fight for it. And do you know how many people we would trigger if we did that? Probably several. <laughs> That's why you should do it. Yeah, putting your power supply in. 
Mm -hmm. So now your PC has power. <laughs> that seems kind of important. How's the fight with uh, the Zach Galifernakis wasp thing going? You know, going. I like how this is prelude to slaughter. <laughs> the build up. I love how the enemies are so kind to tell you what they're going to do. I know. You know it's the worst. Prepare for it's like it. such a trope. So why is this your favorite? Just because of the music? The music, yeah. It was the first um, trial where the music really stuck to me. Uh, and I mean, there's many more after this that I really love, but this one just has that This one you like of... specifically just because the music was so... Yeah, a little bit of nostalgia. Ah, uh, come on, Lahi. Show me what you got. Do, 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 this place is so pretty. Do, 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 do. So what I like about like running around in Final Fantasy is that you get to have nighttime music along with daytime music. So it makes the area just that much more immersive. So you'd say it's less immersive if there was not both? Not necessarily, but since we do have it, it's quite nice. All right, it doesn't look like it's gonna switch anytime soon because in game, there's like in game time compared to your actual time. Yep. And yep. right now it's only 9 p.m. in game and it won't switch to Lahi till 6 a.m. So I don't know if we're just out of luck. You know, back, back, back in the original Final Fantasy, like you had to like, like that in game time. Oh man, you used to have to run like 10 websites to play that game. <laughs> really? Yes. Because, like, you'd have to, like, if you were going to grow plant, you had to, like, grow crystals, and that was a website. And then, like, you had to have a website open to know when the when the dang airships would show up because it was, like, different on different days. And Oh, my gosh. Oh, dang. I like that, though. And then, like, you, like, literally had to, like, you had no idea how to do quests. Like, who you would talk to was just random. Like, you'd be like, wait, why would I talk to this person? <laughs> it happens to be like in the third hallway in like a like a random cathedral, like nowhere near where you are. And you're like, it was like back when MMOs, like, I mean, WoW did so much for making MMOs so much more approachable. Back then it was just like, what? This makes zero <laughs> sense. Yeah. What was your first MMO? Uh, first one was a game, uh, Earth and Beyond. Oh, <gasps> really? Yeah. Oh, heck, I haven't heard that in forever. Oh, I mean, spaceships and, I mean, it was like, I was so bummed when that one died. Um, uh, and then I think, yeah, Earth and Beyond, I might have, maybe Final Fantasy was before that, but I just remember playing a lot of, that's the one I remember. And then, obviously, then, did you play WoW at all or no? I didn't play it, but I've heard of it. Well, that's good. That's good. Video games. Video games. Did you ever play Trickster? Which one? Trickster Online? No. But I once played, I have eaten tricks. The cereal. <laughs> <laughs> it's almost the same right now. Oh, I guess everyone's having a dance party. <clears throat> Little do they know they're doing the wrong dance. Somebody's asking what level you are in um, chat. It depends on, oh, what's this? Oh, <gasps> wait, is that from that trial? Did you just give me the music scroll? What? Is that Lahi? <laughs> Okay, wait, 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 wait. Back to the house. We can play the song now. Oh, you got it? <laughs> we can lahi <laughs> to okay. our heart's content. We can play the song now. <laughs> the world is complete. All is well. Um, but it depends on what character class I'm playing. Because I have a few at 90. This one's at 87. I have another sitting at 89. So it's kind of, it's a lot like, it's a lot like the original Final Fantasy. You level a class. Yeah. Yeah. All right, what would this be under? <laughs> oh my gosh, that is awesome. Oh, I like the other song. Wait, is why that did the it song? change? Oh, did I not select it? There we go. Oh, that's a good song. So, 
I can't pull up the... Oh, look, this is who I was talking about who does the dad dance. Look at him. Look at him go. <laughs> now that's the kind of dancing that everyone should do. So the person who sang this, who I believe is the composer, um, it's hard to explain, but it was very... Let me just say it's really meme <laughs> It's really what? Meme-y. Meaty? Like memes, bunnies. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and so whenever I eventually got to that place where you hear Lahi for the first time, I didn't understand why, but so many people kept asking me, do you know Lahi? And I was like, what? <laughs> um, and it's because the person who sang it he he asked it on stage. He was like, "Do you know Lahi?" And then he sang it. And it was it was an event, <laughs> to oh. say the least. <laughs> but yeah, look at look at our dad kings. Look at them. Oh my gosh. <laughs> like we even have uh, Captain Eorzea. Not to be confused with Captain America. <laughs> oh, everybody's dancing. I know. Well, this is our... Look, we even got chocobos. It's a good group. Can't wait to throw a dad party. Are you going to cosplay as a chocobo Sunday? Like IRL? Yeah. I can give you in-game. <laughs> 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 there you go. <laughs> wow. That's the kind of dance. <laughs> But, you know, I wouldn't be opposed to it. I actually have to do this Piccolo cosplay from okay. Dragon Ball. You have to? Why, why do you have to? Because I had a, my character who was a Lala. Um, same character, I just fantasia My username used to be Piccolo Oboe. And, um... Wow, but, that's a name. Yeah, well, I mean, it's two instruments. It also means little Piccolo. And, you know, so <laughs> since she was little. And then we just made it a deal that I would do it. And I have all the stuff. I just need to hunker down and cut up some fabric. <laughs> Cosplay, man, is a lot of work. Though. It is. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of monies. You know, all the good stuff. Also, how you doing over there? But now that you're signing with an eSport org next week. <laughs> an eSport orc? Org. Org. <laughs> Not the orcs. <laughs> Uh, I'm just sipping some tea. Oh wait, so this one, look at my little hedgehog. You pet it, and then it rolls on its belly. Ready? Oh, it's hard to see. My angles are very bad. There we go. Y'all, that's Sanic. Oh my gosh, look at all these gamers in chat. <laughs> Oh, wait, is this Nissan? <gasps> oh, wait, where's my ring hands? Oh, am I getting a drink? A triple cream coffee and a cookie? Wow. Thank you. What's your favorite type of cookie, Ruby? My favorite type of cookie? Ooh. I really like... Pecan Sandies. <gasps> that um, sounds delectable. Also, then, I love that um, you call it pecan. Especially with milk. But if like, if you ever talk about like go-to, like you're just like at any point in time, it's always like double store Oreos. Ooh. I like double stuff Oreos a lot. I also like vanilla wafers. What about you? I'm a, <laughs> I'm a oatmeal cookie kind of gal. <laughs> oh, I like a, like a good oatmeal raisin. Yeah. That can be legit But it has good. to be like soft. Yes, it does. Like the ones, have you ever had the grandma's ones? Like the ones that are like. Yes. Like, yeah, those ones are like the chewy ones. I and can't then, handle hard cookies unless it's absolutely drowning in the milk. Yeah. So that's what pecan sandies are like really good with. But um, have you, do you ever had the little Debbie like oatmeal with the, with the. They're oatmeal cookies, but they have like cream in the middle. <gasps> no. Oh yeah, see. But that those sounds are good. amazing. Yeah. I'm just saying, if you like oatmeal cookies, 
You may not want to do them because then you'll probably eat like 50 boxes of them. Oh, you know what? Never mind. I know what my favorite cookie is. I forgot. Hello Pandas. H who? Hello Pandas. And they keep promising them to me and then they never get them. <laughs> Have you gotten them? Oh yeah, they're amazing. They're like these, they're, if, if you've ever had, yes, there it is, Intel's laughing. Hello Pandas are, they're these little, they look like pandas and they're filled with little chocolate on the inside. And they're oh, like, they're super, super good. Um, and uh, so I love Hello Pandas. Um, I don't understand why they won't get them for us because they're supposed to be in the snack thing here, but they're never here. Never here. Disappointing. It is. And and uh, I think we just need to blame Alston. I've never heard of those. Actually, you need to try Hello Pandas. You can get them I, from Amazon. They are delish. Yes, people are talking about the Hello Pandas. Is that just the brand Pandas. or is that like... Look at it. All the people saying Hello Pandas. Yes. Oh my gosh. I need Hello. to get on this train. Okay, you what about, do need to get on this train. The Hello Panda Scout train. Cookies. Hello Panda train. What's your Girl Scout cookie of, of choice? What? Sorry? What's your Girl Scout cookie of choice? Oh, Girl Scout cookie. Okay, that's a toss up. Definitely, uh, I love Thin Mints in, in the refrigerator, like frozen <gasps> Thin Mints. Yeah, frozen Thin Mints. Second option is um, the, uh, the either, it's either gonna be a toss up between the shortbread or the peanut butter. Mmm. Did you have the new ones this year? There were new Girl Scout cookies? Yeah, Did they, have real they Girl were, um, uh, I don't know if they were called Adventure Fools or if I'm making that up, but basically they were brownie-like. Ooh. And they were delectable, so good that they sold out. Oh, really? It made me very sad. But, um, yeah. Oh, yeah, they are Adventure Fools. They're so delicious. 10 out of 10 recommend. I hope they bring them back next year. Um, but either that or I really like the lemon ones or Tagalogs. Oh, the lemon. I don't think I've ever had the lemon ones. Ooh, yeah. They have like um, like an iced bottom. But I'm the same. I have to have like my Thin Mints in the freezer. Uh, yeah, the, they the, just taste there's better. just not, there's just something so classic about the, um, the Thin Mints in the freezer. Yeah. Absolutely delicious. I don't and know nutrition. what to do in the game. No, what do you want to do? Nutrition. Have you ever had the like so like speaking of like what is your favorite kind of food like we were talking I, I was uh, I think you were talking about like you you're a really big fan of kimchi yeah I am but what are what are like what when you when you say your go-to like food what is your go-to food mashed potatoes mashed potatoes it is my favorite food really I know that it's such an obscure answer <laughs> but because you can do so much with mashed potatoes, you can load them up, you can put kimchi in them, you can put cheese in them, you can put bacon in them, you can do chives, or you can have them plain and nice and buttery, you can have garlic. Mashed potatoes is where it's at. Mashed potatoes, huh? Mashed potatoes. Also, this this lovely friend right here is my in-game wife. <laughs> I didn't think I was gonna get to see you. So uh, I'm at the I'm at the GPU portion of your build. So why don't you come on back and let's finish out your PC? Sounds good. And then we can go from there. All right, well, let's do that then. Thank you for joining, friends. Have fun in the house. Listening to Lahi. <laughs> All right, do you want me to just log out and come on over? So while we're while we have her, uh, Sam, uh, coming back, <coughs> let's just run through a parts graphic and just remind folks what are in what's inside the PC. So we've got a Core i7 12700KF. We've got that ASUS Prime Z690-P uh, motherboard. Uh, we've got that Gigabyte GeForce RTX 3070. Uh, we've got that one terabyte WD Blue Essence 570. We've got a 10 terabyte Seagate Iron Wolf Pro uh, hard drive. We've got a Corsair Dominator Platinum 32 gigs of RGB at DDR5. Uh, we've got the Lee and Lee uh, O11 Evo case uh, with, um, again, with cyber power fans, etc., filling it all out. Then we've got that Cooler Master Master Liquid ML240R uh, uh, AIO, and then finally the Corsair RM850X PSU that is currently plugged in. So that is uh, that is the parts that are in here. Now again, this is 
the uh, cyber power that you will be able to buy in a different case, but a lot of the parts in terms of the configuration and base parts will be very much the same. Um, so this is where that, so you will be able to purchase this, obviously minus some things like uh, uh, it'll be only 16 gigs of RAM. It won't have these beautiful purple cables, which look actually, I think look really, really good. Um, and uh, it won't have, um, it won't have, uh, it won't be in this case. So a lot of things that are very different, but at the same time, also uh, a lot of the same core uh, best in terms of uh, the PC brand. So here is your GPU. Okay. So we're gonna have you put this in. It's been kind of hard because I was gonna try and test fit it for other reasons. It was being a little challenging, but it's gonna go in this slot right here. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this. So just to give it some, ooh, okay. Apparently I had a screw on there already. <laughs> you remove this and let's see if we can get it in here. Um, it was being a little, being a little touchy and then we'll go from there. Okay, cool. So it's gonna go into this slot right here. And then it just kind of, yeah. For this, this bit? Yeah, so we'll get that just So like facing that. it this way? Yep. Okay. Just in, and then all the way up at the top. Yeah, there you go. Just kind of sits Oh, I in cannot there. see. No, no. You are probably a little too. Yeah, I'm too far. Short. There. Too short? Oh, I thought it was too far. No, no. Oh my goodness, hang on, where is yeah, it? Yeah, you're gonna go up a little bit. Let me, let's see if I can help you line it up. Okay, there, there it is. is. There it's lined up. And then you I just should just give push. it a good push, but. Mm. But it's not. It's this. Not it's quite. this edge. Yeah. So you got to get it in those little slots. Yeah. There, there it goes. Oh, there it goes. Oh, look at that. Do okay. I need to push it more, or is and that then good? And let's use the screws to actually have it go down. Okay. Mm, maybe. Wow, that's being weird. This is hitting. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna get rid of these. <laughs> Sometimes it's these. What are those? They're just to protect, keep, keep dust out of the, out of the connections. Sometimes it doesn't cause problems, but it's weird. It's like it's not wanting to go in. It gets the front in. Oh, no, it's in. Okay, cool. There we go. Okay. Oh, we're in. Okay. So okay. let's go ahead and screw this one in. So let's set that up. I'll have to screw the other one in once we... There we go. Okay, cool. Ooh. And then if you want to put the top one on. Sure. There you go. Where at? The, this one? Yep, right in there. Cool. Oh, look at you. <laughs> I was like, I was, I was like, camera on. I was like, wait. I was, uh, okay, let me just make sure that's actually clicked in. Looks like it's in. Looks like it's seated. Okay, yeah, that looks good. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna re-add this back in. It was like, I was just, in case this was causing an issue. I'm gonna put that back in that little slot there, perfect. Okay. And then I'm gonna have you take this screw and put that in there. Ha-ha. I need to get me one of these. You need, yeah. We, we've actually, uh, so everybody, we call it Excalibur, <laughs> and we continue to put the link. Wow, what's going on over there? Some sort of party. Um, we continue to put the link on my stream, and we've sold so many of those. These? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so many people bought Why? that screwdriver because of this show, because they just want to have part of history. It is good stuff. It is. It is good stuff. Okay, so now is the, this is the fun part cable. Well, I don't know. It's fun. Um, we're going to do some cable manage, uh, some adding some cable extensions, and this is just to kind of add a little bit more splash of color. So what you're going to do is you're going to take this and you're just going to basically put this on each one of these like that. Oh, so it's basically like whenever you go and get your pedicure and then they give you like those yep. little in-between toes. Yep. Things. I love those things. I mean, hey, it does the job. It does. Your and nail you polish is you, great. Well, I don't ever do nail polish, but it's still like it still feels good in between your toes too. It's a good stretch. Okay, um, so you want to make sure the horses are the same way. So horses. See, there's little horses on there. Oh, I do. Yeah, so there's like so you just want to put a number of them. You can just and you can clump them all because they can move up and down. So if you want to just do them up oh, near gotcha. the top, that's totally fine. All right. And while you're doing that one, I will do this one. This is the four pin. 
So what is this for? Just to keep them together? Yeah, it's, it, it's, it's like, to make them look nice. Not zip ties, they're, but... They're, yeah, they're, they're called cable combs, believe it or not. And they just basically keep it nice and separated, so it just makes it look even. Mm. And so you can see they're on here, and they just it, like it just gives a, an aesthetically pleasing look. And then they're going to go right here, right? So you're going to get a couple, a little bit purple right there um, as well, which should look nice. There we go. It's a satisfying click. Yeah, it is. And you get quite fast of these after a while. I can imagine your fingers start hurting oh, after yeah, a while, too. And I've had some of these where it's like where I've done like big, big sets and there's a lot of them. And you're like, okay, this is starting to hurt. And there's some of these are made out of different materials. So uh, you're like, some of them are like super stiff. And you're like, this is hurting. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Keep going. How many did I give you? I uh, think I have five. I like how you actually, did you actually just count in French? Yes. <laughs> That's funny. I learn to count in French, so I count it that way, and then I translate it to the English number. <laughs> was, you, was you surprised that I was like, why are you counting in French? I'm no, little... I get it all the time, because I don't speak French, I'm speaking English. <laughs> um, but growing up in Louisiana, which is a French state, I just got accustomed to it. There you <laughs> go. Okay. Okay, so you got all okay. yours? No, this one is giving me trouble. There it goes. Oh, wow. You, like, brute forced it. <laughs> okay, so what we're going to do now is you're going to take this, and you're just going to basically plug it in right like that on your side, and I'll have you plug in both of these. These are kind of like the fun, like, final touches. Where did you say? Sorry. Okay, so you're going to take this, and it mm -hmm. plugs in right there. Does it matter which way? Uh, or... So the clip is at the top, ah, so you're going to flip yes. it over. Yeah, yeah. And then I, that's why I had the cable combs placed the way that you are. Okay, and then you're going to take this one and do the same thing next to it. Oh, this one's... Yeah, it splits a little bit, so it's just like you just got to... And you, we definitely want the one on the left to go in first, and then the other one's... Oh, after. is it meant to be longer? Yeah. Ah, okay, I thought it was like a hiccup. It'll all click together. There you go. Okay, now... Very pretty. Yeah, it's like I like the purple. Mm -hmm. It's like a nice pop. Okay, so now what we're going to do... Lift this up. Ooh. And this is the fun part where I have to figure out how I want this to run off to the side here. So we're gonna run it through here. And then the same thing with this one, because this is probably what's gonna make it look the best. We'll push all these up for now. Okay, so we're gonna turn this to the back. Oops. Ugh. And this is the final part. There we go. Okay, so these are the last two cables, and these are the last two power cables. So everything else is all wound up and ready to go here. So what you're going to do is take this and plug that into that. Okay. Oh, yep. You'll have to grab, yeah. Yeah. Oh. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so that's that in. Okay, awesome. And then you're going to take this one, you're going to plug this one into here. All right. Okay, so that takes care of that. Now what I'm gonna do, I have to do the little bit, last little bit of cable management. And it's like, it's definitely going to be, every time we do this kind of, ex, these kind of extensions, it's mm -hmm. always gonna be a little bit thick. So you just gotta figure out where I'm gonna hide this. That is wild. Oh, just the... Just seeing how people make it look so nice. Yeah, and the good thing is, is like what you wanna do is because we're gonna put this top on it, mm -hmm. It will hide it, so you just want to make where where the where the prettiness really comes is off of the side. So we want this to be clean because when we put that little top on, it all of this will kind of be hidden. There we go. 
That'd be nice. There we go. Same thing with this. And we went ahead and doubled up, so if you ever add like a different GPU or whatever it was, you, you now have double power cable, so you're like, you have plenty of power. So if Eric or you guys decide at some point, they're like, hey, let's go ahead and add like a 3080 or 4080, you've got all the cables still in good shape to be able to do that. Though Eric might take, uh, sorry, Jeremy might take all of this apart when he, get, when he gets to cyber power. <laughs> it's part of the testing, but okay, there we go. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to hide this into the back here. So there's all of the zip ties. Okay, so if you want to grab this right here, this, yes. Now it's time to push this in. I'll give you the other screw. Okay, so see how now all you see is just this? Mm -hmm. So that's what we were trying to make sure. So basically it looks super clean and everything's hidden. So here's the other one. That's gonna yeah. go right there. Yay. Yep, should. I remember taking this off. Yeah, it was a long time ago. Long time. Long time ago. <laughs> What's the longest you've spent building a PC? 12 hours. Why? Full custom water cooled build. Just took a long time. I bet it was real pretty. It was pretty. It just took a long time. Okay, so now we just got to fix our cables here, which are kind of all fudgemicated at this point in time. This is where we just make this part look pretty. Huh. There we go. This is just the final make it look good stage. Even these out. They're all together. I hear Endwalker music. Oh, is that what you hear? <laughs> yeah, it's playing through the trailer. <laughs> I was like wondering what that was. I was like, what is that sound? It's whenever you idle in the menu. Okay, we're gonna do one more. I think that looks good. Okay, let's grab one more zip tie. This is just to keep me spaced right. When you're done, you can turn it on. Your PC's finished. What? What do you think? It looks really nice. It's so cool. I appreciate your knowledge. I'm looking for the day where somebody's like, it looks like garbage, Roby. <laughs> oh, crud. I'm well, to sorry. be fair, even if you showed me a bad PC interior, I wouldn't know if it was bad. <laughs> but if it has RGB, it and looks you're like, great. You're like, it's great. You're like, it's got pretty lights. That's all that really matters. That means it's working, yeah. right? Okay, so there we go, guys. The build is now done. The cable management is complete. It's going to get our little bits off, and then let's turn it on. We still have that one extra screw, though. I'm glad that we have it, though. It's like those extra Lego pieces. Exactly. We never uh, use them. <laughs> I do feel like we have, we do have extra screws that I haven't figured out where they go yet, but we'll, we'll figure it out as we put the case back together, I hope. Because you've got these two small screws, and I don't remember where we put them. Do you remember? No idea. No idea. I remember on the, the motherboard we took. Yeah, I remember, there's one, there's, we have two small screws, so we put the, we did these two, oh. They're for putting the glass in. Okay. There you go, you found out. I remembered. Okay, let's fix this placement real quick. Or mat. It's not straight. There we go. Clean up our little bit of mess. Man, you <laughs> made a mess. Oh my gosh. What are you doing? Oh man, the disorganization. Okay, now, let's, now we gotta put the case back together. Oh, oh, there's mat falling. Oh, okay. I'll fix that. Yep. Let's fix the uh, dust filter that fell off the bottom. 
It's just a magnet. Nice. There we go. And there we go. Build is done. Do we have approval? Jeremy, okay, he says it looks good. Okay, that's a good sign. Okay, so first one, put this back on. Madame, I'll hand this, this to you. This is the back one, right? Yep, back one. Does it just snap? Yeah, it should just, yeah, snap in on. Is this the right side? Uh, no, no, it goes this way. Yep, yeah. it's that way, yep, there you go. Good, good catch. Then just push it in. Give it a, there it goes. Nice. Okay, there we go. That looks good. Okay, now let's grab our, you remember this one? The side piece? No, oh, this one the, is. We put the top on. Yeah. Is it? Other side, flip it around. Aha. There, yep. Okay, and then just give it a push this way. It's push weird. Push it in. Yeah. Hang on. It's gonna, it's, yeah, it's kind of clips on. Oh, there we go. There Perfect. Here's our other screw for that. There we go. Nice. Okay, and let's rotate it to the right a little bit so you can see. There we go. Okay, now this one goes on the very, very top. This one also slides, right? Yep. Just like that. Yeah, perfect. It's kind of clear. There's like a, hang on. There you go. Let's give it a push. And then go ahead and screw those in. Okay. Okay. Now for the fun ones. Let's see if there is a one. Doesn't look like there is one in the center. Okay, cool. So you're just going to basically pop that onto the front. And we'll do the peels afterwards. We get two peels on this <gasps> one. What? Two big peels. We love an impressive peel. There we go. And then the other one. Oh, this one's got an interior one. Just to get rid of that. I guess there's still one on the outside, just making sure. Okay, cool. Nice. And I'll that have you put that one in. Yep. Might have to move around to the front to do it. Okay. While you're doing Before that, I we'll break everything. Plug it in. <laughs> Once I find the power cable. Nice. Okay, they did not give us a power cable, but luckily, your PC game won one, so that's a good thing. Okay. There it is, guys. All done. Still, it's all reflective-y right now because it's all sealed up. I'll let you plug that in down there. Okay, and then this plugs in right here. Nope. There you go. Perfect. Okay, go ahead and hit that, flip that switch. Okay, now there's a power button right over there. Which one? Right here. I see everything. Yay! Yay! It is on, guys. Fans are spinning. Looks good. She looks pretty. She does look pretty. Now we get two peels. You're gonna do two peels. <gasps> okay, so the first peel. one. Let's start with the first one right here. A side. You're gonna come right here. Yeah, you can just. Why don't you? Let's yeah. Do a side peel. Oh, do you want to pull from the oh, back? Let's, yeah, let's pull from the back. Okay. I think for this one. Just doing memory training. There you go. Ready? <laughs> Okay, this one right here we go. That camera, slowly, slowly, <laughs> slowly. Get that sad peel. They want the satisfaction. Oh, yeah, look at how clean that is. Oh, that Dust looks... free. There we go. Can't wait till my cats get their hair on it. Okay, hold on for one sec. Let's do something before we do the other peel. Because you chose purple. So hit the purple button. Let's see if this works. There's a little plastic tab you might have to pull off the back. I did. Mm. Yeah, maybe we have to do it from the inside. I definitely plugged them all in. Uh, Try powering off first. Okay. Oh, there it goes. And then purple. Oh, red works. Oh. Purple does not. Oh, there's no purple. It's like that is purple. Oh, I never uh, mind. That's, that is the color. We got the right color. Interesting. Okay. Okay. So now you can change your colors. Ooh. Is there a rainbow option? Code nine is, oh, there's purple. Code nine is Zelda. 
Oh, they say red. Oh, there you go. Oh, no, that's pink, but that looks really good with the purple. So yes. Code 9 is Zelda, by the way, guys. Zelda, which is uh, the name cat. of your son's cat. Yeah. Okay, so I got that right. Yeah. Yes, and cat number cat number four. No, cat number four is Boo Boo. Oh, okay, so maybe that's Code 10. <laughs> we'll find out. <laughs> okay, so last peel, guys. Let's go ahead and pull the last peel. So you're going to come out to the front. But we come got around? it all purple. Yeah, you're going to come around. And you're going to peel... You want, yeah, we'll do it this way. Yeah, start from here and then kind of peel okay. across. Here we go. Let me get the little lip. Oh, already yeah, yeah, the yeah, sound yeah. is so good. That's so nice. Oh my gosh, that is like quite the peel sound. All right. There it is. Wow, that looks really good. That does. That looks really good. So yeah, there so it is, pretty. a completed 011 build. Um, we have, and again, this is all very similar to the same spec that you would get from CyberPower with um, their fans. Uh, so that's what you're seeing there from their fans um, in the 011 Evo. Of course, you can get 011 uh, builds from them as well. So if you want to get this exact build in terms of a case, that is an option as well. But there it is right there, guys, the completed build and done. What do you think? I love it. Yeah? I think it's really pretty, yeah. That's what we want, right? Like, again, what we want is you to be happy. Yeah. And well, so thanks. next step for this PC is we ship it off to Jeremy, who takes it all apart, and then uh, it gets it goes to QC, uh, through uh, uh, quality control, which we get to see if Roby actually passes the quality control test. Um, and then from there, then it, it ships out to you. Sounds good. And then uh, apparently we should be able to, I don't know if it'll change here. Yeah, there it is. You can change the front. <gasps> Whoa. So you've got that button, too. So some, some fun things for you to play with. Wait, that is And that's so plugged cool. into the MOBO as well. So you'll be able to control all that sort of stuff. Now, what you could do is you could take the only, you could take all the RGB um, and he might do this and plug it all into the remote so you can actually have it all just sync with the remote. But you also have the option to plug it into the motherboard and have all the motherboard do it and it just gives you, so you have lots of options. That's cool. So, so we want you to be able to personalize and make it all about you. So, um, okay, what'd you think? That was fun. I actually really enjoyed myself and I learned a lot and I understand more <laughs> as, as why to, Eric enjoys why it. Why Eric enjoys it? Yeah. Now, so would if Eric were to say, "Hey, let's, honey, let's sit down, let's build a PC together," would you would you feel more confident doing it with him? Yeah, now? I yeah. think that I would. Um, I want to retry it, that thermal paste. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, so we did. We would. Yeah, again, lock to it and then do the yeah, play it out and get it get it correct and all that sort of stuff um, from there. Uh, code ten, last code, last code is Final Fantasy fourteen. Final Fantasy XIV, <laughs> which makes sense, right? It yeah, wasn't. Yeah. It wasn't Boo Boo. Was Boo Boo was the other one? Yeah, but he's not in my bio, so yeah. Oh, wouldn't that's have why even they didn't known. get it. They are really <laughs> doing a good job of snooping and learning all of your uh, code. Uh, Eleven is uh, five three two seven one. That's actually your social security number. Uh, <laughs> I didn't know that. <laughs> Go ahead, her keep birthday. Going. Her, her, <laughs> Here's our driver's license number. Yeah, uh, but there it is right there. Uh, and uh, thank you, everybody, again, for hanging out and being a part of this. Now, if people want to follow you, if people want to hang out with you, if people want to be a, a part of your world, part of your world, how, how do they go about How do they go about doing that? So I do stream on Twitch okay. at twitch.tv slash Sam, as you've seen the username, S-E-U-M. Okay. Uh, or you can follow me on Twitter or Instagram for lots of just shenanigans of behind the scenes stuff going on in my life at just Sam, J-U-S-T-S-E-U-M. Or you can catch me on several D&D streams. Okay, there it is. <laughs> so wherever, and then you can look around for those because I don't want to list them all. And remember, guys, biggest streams are on the weekends, so you're going to want to tune into those. I don't stream on the weekends. <laughs> <laughs> so don't tune into I'm going to have, like, offline people like, when is she starting? <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, also, guys, uh, I know there's not really going to be a massive stream on 522, but congratulations Thank coming you. up, of course, you know, as a, as a pre- Stream anniversary. Uh, congratulations Thank from you. us and Intel. Um, and then our gift to you is this PC. Beautiful. <laughs> we built this for your stream anniversary. So there it is, right there, guys. <laughs> anyway, guys, this has been Mod Workshop. Huge shout out to Intel, uh, to CyberPower, and to uh, obviously to the incredible team here uh, at Bento who runs all of this stuff mm -hmm. and is a production company. Except for Troy, uh, we're still working on him. Uh, but outside of that, guys, you guys have been absolutely awesome, incredible. And then Sam, you were an absolute delight. Thank you, you very. 
very much for hanging out. Uh, thanks for showing us awesome Final thanks Fantasy. For teaching me. And when not to uh, make sure that you have all your settings before you show up at the stream next yeah, time. Yeah, you know, it's time. <laughs> that's, that's what we're gonna. That's what we're gonna learn. Anyway, guys, this has been a lot of fun. I hope you guys have a great night, and we will see you guys on a future show. Friend of my fault, I'm a f exit draw. Yeah, she give me that claim as well. I remember back when.
When I was younger, I was happy. Now they feel like no one understand me. I'm good at all the silly, I'm about to bend me. Babies, yellow, text. Just wanna eat me like candy. Run up the racks, track me. I run up the racks like an athlete. Big facts, you're the dick. Six flags, bond like. Dick flags, told her I love her. I ain't really mean that, yeah. Now they just people like fun. Remember way back, she was love. This bitch is sneaky, can't cope. I got four hoops that went up. I remember, 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 I